Yes, I know it happened again. Hello there, everybody, and welcome to On Sport TV. We're gonna watch today the CFL squadrons, and we will see. Let's take company and going against the Sharks, the Sharks, in their first game out of a best of three series in the playoffs from the CFL squadrons season 13. Oh my god, I don't want to say hello to everybody. Cheesy K, hello there, sir, and welcome. Saipong, hello there, sir, and welcome, welcome. Yeah, interesting games yesterday. What can I say? First, the real war, a second, ah, it was good. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Clear thing, good enough in my hair. Um, also, willkommen. Monstrat, uh, hello there, sir, and welcome. Thank you so much for uh, writing first in the channel and also picking up that first promotion. Thank you so much, sir. Casimir Miller, hello, hello there, sir. Good evening. Also, I do uh, want to say hello to everybody on uh, YouTube. I did notice over here we uh, got uh, quite a few of you talking. Oh, so happy. Object, object. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bienvenue. Also, Victor, oh, hello there, sir, and uh, welcome. Uh, with much pleasure, of course. Um, I do hope um, I uh, explained it uh, properly. Uh, also, G, hello, there, sir, and welcome. Well, thank you for responding on behalf of YouTube. They are kind of silent, aren't they? It is what it is. Let's see, uh, what do we have over here? I do want to open up the screen so we can uh, take a look at the map draft. Because, oh, no, we do know the map. It, in the map. It is going to be Pangea Standard Ridges. And by the looks of it, we're also going to have uh, quite a few already pre-game bands. Man, I just started this and they went through all of the bands. They came prepared this is a plan we got over here after they picked Pangea standard ridges okay uh, we will have a, a much more seeming map than usual of course we usually uh, see a lot of uh, classic ridges Pangeas. Uh, these maps do tend uh, standard ridges Pangeas do tend to actually create a lot of um, uh, natural defenses for the players along with uh, the mountains we're going to need to see if this is going to be the case today the nitro hello there and welcome and salsu bonsoir monsieur bienvenue bienvenue i do want to point out that we got uh, mass on being taken out immediately by the sharks and i gotta say have you seen the the lobby have you seen the lobby there is an like there's an alexander in almost everybody here they definitely feel the field alexander feel the macedon today so yeah they took it out first now we do have genghis khan also being taken out by uh, the sharks and Cynthia got taken out by the sharks we, on the other side we do have for cleopatra ptolemy they started banning um civilization with uh, quite a few seeming bonuses not really war bonuses also they did take out uh, rome which definitely makes sense we've seen rome uh, shine multiple times uh, theodora over here also byzantine uh, nation is going to be taken down and i do know the sumeria from the sharks is now going to be allowed to play in the game uh, zulu also gonna be oh so many words if they're going so for so many words is, are they actually gonna oh my god they're gonna fight with sticks and stones man they're, they're not gonna get units what is this and um, no i'm kidding i'm pretty sure there are still gonna be enough civilizations with war bonuses and if they're not i mean you still need to go those abcs you know to get the general get enough production in camels and so on and so forth it is what it is and the stats now we do uh, still have the Persians in the game neither neither Shah or uh, Cyrus has been taken down while uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Vietnam over here might be a high value pick for um, Malm I believe he is playing in the game and it uh, looks like Chandra Gupta is actually gonna be taken down in the fifth choice I think Malm is in the game and actually playing yeah there we go we got Malm over here we got Apology we got Chuck and LDK playing today for the state company wait a second isn't Apology playing on the other team I think it's Xplee. Xplee it's uh, playing on um uh, yeah, Xplee I think it's uh, playing on uh, the other on um how to say on elastic company while uh, yeah, so it's going to be Xplee Chuck LDK and uh, Malm while we do have uh, floppy over here people with uh, Josie an apology is that uh, is that correct let me actually check uh yeah that is correct there we go yeah 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 yeah. we got him we got him yeah xp over here on uh, state company okay so let me actually put back up uh, the screen with the draft here because uh, it looks like they have been thinking we just talked about and they have been thinking about their last choice here and the uh, last state company is gonna need to figure it out soon enough can you imagine if the sharks actually take vietnam uh, here as a first pick they take vietnam can you imagine as in okay last thing company is not going to want to ban it and then poof it magically appears on the sharks oh alex 2005 hello there send the welcome coming back to our uh, old usual content i hope you uh, enjoyed the games yesterday uh, what map is it it's uh pangea standard ridges sir let me actually put it up over here on the screen you reminded me that i uh, didn't mm -mm -mm. so we're gonna have the the mountains spawning across those uh, continent splits 
Okay, so Vietnam, there we go. La State Company doesn't want to take the risk of Vietnam ending up on the Sharks and they will ban it themselves. Ooh, that is, oh my God, man, man is not, he's not going to be happy about this. He's definitely not going to be happy about this. I guess he got ruled out, out ruled over there, three to one. It is unfortunate. Or maybe he actually gave up on it, um, you know, sacrificed it for the good of the team. Well, Gandhi is going to be picked up by the Sharks here and definitely there's a lot of face potential with uh, quite a bit of uh, seeming. He still has the Varus as a unique unit and definitely can do the damage. But we uh, rarely see actually um, uh, India go for war early on later yeah sure but not early on we do have uh, also last day company going for immediate attack damage over here civilizations we got montezuma we got lotaro there's a lot of mischief that can happen on this map with these uh, two civilizations in there well the sharks will need to follow up with something and i don't think Gandhi is actually made to withstand all of those um units from la state company they definitely need to pick up their own civilizations with uh, good bonuses when it comes to warring and um, keeping up with everybody else in a war position uh, we after this ban is going to be well, after this pick is going to be uh, chosen we're going to have another four bands and uh, we're going to need to see how and what civilization they're going to actually take out to be honest, even if I'm thinking damage, something I wouldn't be surprised if they're gonna pick something like Hammurabi, for example. Like, you know. Okay, there we go. Nader Shah, Nader Shah. Well, Nader Shah does have its extra plus five uh, against uh, full health units, right? And uh, still has quite a bit of science from those trade routes. Pretty good. Uh, good evening, sir. It's kind of best in both. Uh, it's uh, good from both cases, right? From both sides. It has a little bit of seeming abilities and it has uh, quite a few of those um, you know, war. Oh, damage points well now we're gonna see the next bands and we do have a last take company needing to pick it first and then we're gonna see the sharks pick another one and this is basically one 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 and uh, i do need to take a look over here and while the, t the time is ticking down 23 seconds it doesn't seem like we have a pick they slow down considerably compared to the first uh, part where uh, they kind of seem to know what civilizations that are gonna pick it looks like uh, after the uh, quite a few picks have been chosen by the players they're starting to switch their um, strategy towards a much more adaptive one they're looking at their uh, op um, opponents and trying to figure out how it oh babylon yeah they, were, they took out babylon wow ldk ldk takes out babylon okay well uh, and sharks respond and take out spain We do have uh, two more bands to go and then boom we're gonna see the teams actually uh, needing to uh, get that stuff going needing to actually uh, get the picks going so we finally get into the first game <laughs> Oh, I didn't mention actually. We do, I did make uh, the next episode for uh, the um, score show. If you want to take a look at it, give me a second so I can uh, put it up over here on uh, both platforms. Just give me a second. Hello there, Urek, by the way. Good evening, sir. Also, Drag, good evening, sir. Is it possible to watch matches that were not broadcast? Um, not really. Not really. Uh, there is, I mean, the CVFR squadrons have um, a channel dedicated to, for example, like uh, saves for uh, save replay. If you know that uh, they actually developed a program, an application that can read the saves and uh, basically gives you the information about the map it's not the game itself it's another application that just uh, reads and has like a lower graphic and so on and so forth but it does uh, give you the opportunity to open up the games and take a look at them not in the same sense as uh, civilization 6 no. um let me actually put this up over here let's go show latest okay Bam and bam, and I need to do this. Whoa, what? What? No, oh my God.
For some reason, it doesn't let me uh, pin the last message. Can you imagine? Okay, there we go. Okay, we got that going, and I need to put it up over here as well. Uh, is this uh, with the Gandhi war exhaustion nerf? Uh, I, no, this is uh, the previous one. This is uh, not the beta. We're not playing on the beta. We're actually playing with the main uh, BBG version. Okay, what did they pick? What did they pick? They, uh, they actually took out Inca and they took out uh, Hungary. Messiah Scorvinus is not going to be let in and now LSC is going to need to set the tone for the next one. And it is going to be a seeming civilization. I mean, they definitely needed uh, quite a bit more gold than they had right there. And while I do notice the Sharks are going to need to finish up uh, the roster on the left side. Uh, give me a second. Oh, I did actually get that going and I need to do this. Okay, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Now, oh, man, Rage streamed FFA for 10 hours. Now he playing FFA. <laughs> oh, he's playing Teamers. Okay. Yeah, I'm in here. Well, now the Sharks are going to take a little bit more time to think about their options after they did actually get the picks quite quickly and they did go through the bands quite quickly. It looks like right now they're running down the clock. With Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen has been chosen. Looks like they are also going to put Coupe on the board here. On the other side, Last Take Open is going to need to finish their uh, draft here and I do see they have their fourth option available. Let's go. What are they going to do against Coupe, against Catherine de Medici, Nader Shah and the Gandhi at the same time? I gotta say Gandhi if he does have its uh, war awareness against the opponents over there it is quite dangerous now first coupe I get to see uh, since the rework yeah no, they don't play uh, Gorgo anymore they don't uh, that is quite sad actually we don't have uh, the greases we had some Pericles games but I wouldn't really call them many right uh, like what two of them or something like that in the previous three months and I would definitely like to see more Gorgo I would definitely like to see more greases I think the players are going through like a, you know kind of a phase right now they're trying out other civilizations they want to see you know, what's going on before the actual CWC we're going to need to uh, see when that's it is gonna start what's gonna happen uh goal here on lsc is gonna be picked up okay well that's the f um eighth civilization being picked up in the games of course fourth from lsc and uh, we got the alexander starting to ready up over here this is gonna be an all alexander challenge by the looks of it and uh yeah hopefully uh, alexander will win it is what it is. I'm just rejoining really quickly. Uh, first coup, uh, there were like three religious Pericles games. Yeah, exactly, right? Oh my god, I really wish I could actually join the Macedon train. <laughs> we, we all pick Macedon. Yeah? Okay. Okay, we all pick Macedon. Let's go. We, we all got a little Macedon in us. Wait, I can actually change my... Oh. I just realized this. Ooh, and then I switch back and it's going to stay like that. Yeah, it is going to stay like that. There we go. There we go. I got my special icon. Okay, I got my special icon. Yeah, they should just play all Alexandras. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's, let's go. Imagine imagine the fight for actually a single general when we ha you have like eight sieves starting off with encampments at the beginning of the game. <laughs> who's gonna get the generals boy who's gonna get the generals probably the one that's gonna get the builder chops yeah probably the one that's gonna get those builder chops huh or i should say the builders in the first place you may you know you put all the gold on one uh, player and it is what it is uh, buy builders buy monuments let's go It looks like um, they are. They keep on putting this um, low C level over here. By the looks of it, mm -hmm. this is starting to be uh, quite a thing in the games. Low C level. Okay. Well, each new. Anyway, we got all of the settings as uh, we usually have them, and uh, I guess we're not gonna get the opportunity to talk about that much uh, the changes in the beta, but at least um, we will get to see how they're gonna use this. Let's go, let's go. Wait, who actually picked up? Uh, oh my God, somebody actually picked up my blue. 
Oh, it was XP on Lotaro. I see. I mean, you know, you gotta make way, man. Lotaro in the game, that blue in the game, it's definitely putting uh, the fear of God in their opponents. Okay, just explain why I need to ready up. Do wanna take a look quickly on the zero MS? No, it's fine. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Hello there, Papas. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Ah, I see. He wasn't uh, seeing somebody from what I do notice. People need uh, to reconnect. So we do have Apology going for Gandhi. Chuck is going to go for Ambiorix. Uh, goal. We got Malmo on Poundmaker. Floppy Flongi on Nader Shah. Expli on Lotaro. People on uh, Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen. Uh, Joe C06 is going to go for Coupe. And we do have LDK on Montezuma. Just about to start up. We still need uh, the players to ready up over here. And I'm pretty sure the Sharks are going to want to eat some steak tonight. We're going to need to see if the steak actually uh, bites back. Oh, explain uh, AFK. <laughs> oh no, no. Why are you te oh no oh, my god. This is uh, usually kind of a weird idea, but it is what it is. It never went. He read it up. It's fine. The, I don't really want to spread it around, but there is a weird command over there that you can use. Or there was, actually. I don't think it is anymore. Is it anymore? Uh, object also saying on YouTube, I think both drafts are a little interesting. Hard um, to say which one I like more. Yeah, true. They both actually have uh, pretty good civilizations here. I would say, I don't know why, but I feel like Kree over here is kind of a weak link. Like, I... Weak link, right? I um, haven't seen him in quite some time doing amazingly well in the competitive scene. I have seen him, of course, in FFAs and other things. But it's been quite sometimes since we've seen him uh, just overwhelm his opponents with uh, sheer seeming gold and uh, power uh, while we're going to see if that's going to happen this game around well, i guess um we need to keep an open mind open heart and see how this goes yeah uh, also they should just play on uh, yeah 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 and sasu really likes that idea i see really likes that idea i'm imagining yeah yeah okay so uh, montezuma over here let's see monty 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 where is uh, monty we're gonna take it from the left to the right Oh, and we didn't put up uh, the oh. Really? Star protection. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, we got quite a few yesterday. How many remaps? Zero, one, two. There we go. Bam. That was uh, time sensitive, unfortunately. Uh, where is Monty? And why don't we see Monty? We went through. Oh, there is Monty. So, okay, we got LDK here with the continent split. The mountains are kind of blocking him from getting to the right uh, red continent, the right one, but it's fine. He will get there. I do see a cotton tile. He's uh, well smirking at him from the other side of the mountain. Nee, 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 nee. You'll never catch me. Well, we do have LDK here that is definitely going to catch that cotton, and we do need to see how is he going to expand uh, all over the place here to benefit from from those extra amenities he is not that close uh, to his neighbors here i do see chuck of course as an ally to the southwest and i do notice to the south it's gonna be france oh i see well this is an opponent and i do notice uh, france has the the oh my god it's one of the worst continent splits i've seen by the way he has his own continent and it's only nader shah his ally on his continent that, that's it there's like look at this and this continent just goes around for like half the map and he only has an ally on it unfortunate it is what it is well he is gonna have uh cocotiles bananas over here to work so uh you know we shouldn't be uh crying over there that he is uh gonna get a lot of stats and we do have um and then Ochitran getting uh, one of these Eagle Warriors in four turns. I do notice he has the City of Fanza to the west side that he could go and take out uh, or bully it uh, into giving him more builders. While I do notice uh, he's going to have a pretty good settles to the northeast and the southwest. A lot less food in the southwest though. Uh, we might see him just uh, settle on the Dead Sea quite quickly here on that uh, cattle town. Oh no, not the cattle. Not the cattle town because he doesn't have any other tutus. I'm sorry, I uh, misspoke over there. Probably this one is going to be the better one. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to want to get the city across the mountains to the southeast so he can get these amenities worked, especially on the gypsum and the incense tile. Not to mention he might actually get the... Um 
uh, spy stand with a single city. Well, and moving forward, we do see also Lotaro to the west of Gaul here. He's going to have uh, relative close proximity to Malm, which is going to be, I think, an opponent, isn't it? No, 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 they, they're allies. Never mind. Xpli is an ally with uh, Chris. Okay, uh, we're going to have uh, co coastal trade routes over here, either, either in the north or the south. I'm pretty sure the north, because uh, Josie is with Kupe on the west side, and that is going to cause a bit of a ruckus over here. Mapuche, what is this fertile? What, what, what is this land? Look at his bananas. He has the fertiles everywhere. Oh my god. The one thing that he doesn't have is appeal. And that's why I open up the lens here. Because I saw a lot of rainforest. And you've seen how much appeal actually matters when it comes to Mapuche. Getting those extra culture points are amazing. Uh, and unfortunately, well, we don't see that appeal right here. We might, well, we might see a little bit better appeal later when he's going to get to um, chop quite a few of these tiles over over here in the meantime it is what it is a lot of food a lot of uh, gold potential also from those uh, camps and i do see he has some bananas in the, uh, some uh, cocoa tiles in the southwest as well to improve there not bad double continent split for him for his amenities well malm over here to the northwest is gonna have a one and a two and a three and a four and uh, that's it four four no five five i do see there's a sheep tile here that's a five that's it well, I mean, he would have had a nice uh, Temple of Artemis, but that's not happening. He doesn't have a camp. He's definitely going to have uh, the extra gold and the food that he's going to get towards the trade routes uh, in towards that city that does have a lot of pressures improved. And I am thinking the capital might be exactly that city. We do have him uh, with a mountain range to the northwest towards Preslav, and I do notice he's uh, gonna have quite a few rivers over here in the southeast. That's a pretty good settle over here next to those uh, two, three, one fertiles. Uh, cotton tile. I mean, he has a cotton settle, he has a citrus settle if he wants to. Unbelievable, easy to get amenities here. Pyramids also, easy pyramid tile that, you know, the speck of dust on the map here is gonna be uh, next to Cree. Not bad. Yeah, looking at Ambiorix, that's going to be in the middle over here between Montezuma and Nader Shah. By the looks of it, he is uh, going to have some strategic resources, but a severe lack of stone tiles. Wow. Okay, I do see some stone tiles in the northwest, but on the west side, the scattered ones. On the east, no, no stone at all. And in the south, oh, I see a stone tile here. Okay, he has some. He has one. I guess. Uh, Kree can even get uh, pyramids in the capital? Wait, wait, wait. Can he? Wait. Uh, oh, good luck. Have fun, by the way. Wait, is this it? Is this... Are they actually not going to remap or something? Is this it? Okay. Wait, Kree... Oh, yeah. He does have a random tile of uh, desert in the capital. He does. This probably was Terraform. Okay, <laughs> double. Terraform desert over here showing up on Kree. Anyway, now moving forward, let's see Kupe this time around. Tehonyanga Noya Kupe. We got him uh, getting his scout out in three turns. And I do notice he has a lot of rainforest chops on the hills. Not to mention some... Um, yeah, of course, he's not going to chop them. Don't get me wrong. This is uh, He's going to be very happy to get that extra production. And uh, keep going. When does he get it? Political philosophy. No, early empire. Right? Early empire. And then uh, they moved uh, something else. The extra food on the fish tiles. He's going to get on... Is it the fish tiles or all improvements on the coast? He's going to get it at Celestial Navigation. Right? Okay. So, early empire and Celestial Navigation for the early food. Oh, wait. This is not the beta. So, he gets it immediately. Oh, no in the beta it got actually uh, slowed down a little bit um, and I was thinking of yeah, picking or not picking it yesterday that was uh, quite a subject anyway we do have him with uh, some uh, awesome tiles over here this is a very good spawn I, I gotta say out of a lot of the spawns that I've seen of Maori this is uh, this is a pretty good spawn Biolominous Bay to the northeast can settle citrus if he wants to no problem there has quite a few tiles to get I mean wow just wow yeah high rollers in no remap wait really they went in i mean they saw they saw malm over here saying have fun and everybody was like Woo, let's go <laughs> you know yeah one four deer tiles so that are gonna turn into one five deer tiles noise 
Uh, looking at Catherine de Medici, we do have him uh, between the mountains with uh, his cocotas, the bananas over here. He's going to have some uh, horses next to, and I do see he's also going to have some amazing campuses next to the mountains. Uh, plus five, uh, two plus fives, actually another plus four to the uh, south of this on the two, two. And uh, by the looks of it, he will have a lot of uh, rivers, fresh water from these rivers to um, expand his cities. I guess the biggest question is, where is he going to go first? Is he, if, if he is going to go towards the northeast over here, towards the bananas and the uh, uh, spy styles <clears throat> or he's gonna want to settle all around like west east south which is a much more defensive posture uh, overall well the north over here is gonna be another continent so i'm not sure if he is gonna be happy to just go over there in, in the beginning i do notice he's getting his scouts out and he definitely is gonna delay his settle because of it another two turns and we do have him growing into these cocoa tiles which is uh, well, i'm pretty sure is not really ideal but at least he did choose to work another two two he the last turn and of course we do have him uh, working the banana and the tutu for uh, the extra food and production and looking at the floppy flongi on neither shah he's going to be to the southeast of expli and this is probably going to be a possible conflict zone and i'm pretty sure floppy is going to want to get cities on both sides of this mato tipila wonder like i'm i would see a city here and i would definitely see a city over here i'm not sure if on the sugar town but around there somewhere that's a lot of stones over here all over the place man i think persia just got gold spawn this is gold spawn ideal gold spawn no l look at all of those amazing opidums everywhere whoa 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 yeah well it is what it is well i wouldn't say ideal but it is much better than we've seen um on gold this time around now we do have uh, floppy also getting his uh, set out in five turns and of course i do see he has a scout right next to mato tipila getting the faith uh, for free is gonna be uh, quite impactful on his uh, early tempo especially since he's gonna get to work uh, the production card instead of the gut king card for the extra food and the extra um, uh, gold we do have uh, also apology apology is going to be gandhi and gandhi is going to be to the west side of uh, maori right uh, in a corner of the map with uh, anshan to the northeast and quite a few mountains gobustan settle in the south that's pretty pog and he can uh, easily settle that uh, honey tile and get the gobustan tiles uh, at the same time to work very nice very nice now i do notice he's getting that settled out in four turns and i wouldn't be surprised if he's going to go directly south for the production and the culture and we do have him also, also quite a few chops here to the east side a decent amount of cities on the coast which he can uh, connect his uh, routes on the water with maori this is going to be a, a lot of economy being generated between them i'm not that convinced they're actually going to want to keep this i don't really see problems uh, or anywhere on the map to be honest like aztec is safe he can sim uh, goal is relatively safe yes he does have persia here but i wouldn't really see a major attack happening anytime soon from um, the floppy flongi towards the northeast they're probably he's probably gonna keep uh explay as much as he can under siege or at least on his toes i should say on his toes mm -mm -mm. hello there mad beats hello there sir josie is cooper again yes he did it uh, spice and banana first no i mean it's uh, two great times right at the start i think so i mean that's my uh, opinion of it as well but i don't, I don't know where he's gonna go and we're gonna see next turn he does have uh, his setter coming out next turn it does take him also quite uh, little time to get that right one two three four to settle that's very quick that is a very quick city i guess alternatively he could go for the cocoa to the southeast and just settle the cocoa tile if he wanted a, a quick amenity and some gold but oh well no i'm pretty sure he, he does see over here aztec from the north ldk is gonna back settle he's gonna go for uh, that uh honey or next to honey settled and i do notice he's gonna also um, uh, get another settler coming up in five times he did not meet the dead sea to the west side or did he no he does not know he does not know what's happening over here to the west side and I, i'm actually quite curious if uh, later on in the game uh, in the post game we're gonna ask him if he actually would have settled the dead sea first if he would respond yes or no if he would have known about it first you know oh well it is what it is uh persia and mapuche will be at war but uh, yeah yeah this, this kind of looks like uh, it is happening and we do have uh, the game post we're gonna see the players uh, starting to uh, get their votes on the remap token and uh we're gonna need to see if they're gonna keep this map use a token or uh well get a thing i don't think a technical is uh use a token you use the token there was no aura over there it is what it is 
Yeah, why would you settle Dead Sea early? It's not exactly good tiles. That's true. That's also true. That's why I was uh, curious if you would have uh, wanted to go there or not. Extra faith, for example. Extra faith in culture. No production, though. Ugh. Not a lot of food either. Ugh. Okay, just a few seconds to go and uh, I do notice the last day company did vote and they did choose to remap this. They didn't have uh, one thing that I can uh, say over here. They only had a single way of uh, getting their commercials out or I should say their trade routes on the northern seas. It was, what was it, over here, Chuck? Wait a second, they were like in a ring. Look at this, they were in a ring and this uh, Northern Sea would have connected them all, but it would have taken so far to, for Aztec to get a city there, not to mention uh, even Gaul. I will take quite a bit of time to get there to the Northwest. Anyway, that's a remap token used and we're going to need to see when um, we're going to get a new map, if uh, it is going to be better or not. Why remap if they uh, said, uh, good luck, have fun? I know, right? Oh my God, is this... Uh, um, taking his first um how steps. to say yeah are you one of the high ro rollers over there in the prediction <laughs> it was a fake out yes it was a fake out no uh, was this the last remap token used? No, this is the first. This is the first remap. Does this mean this map will definitely be the one? It does not. It does not. There is still one remap token uh, left. Uh, hello there, sir. Uh, one remap token left for um, uh, the sharks. For the sharks. Last day company chose to use the remap tokens. And we're going to do what we did earlier. Just uh, go through uh, the motions over here and see who is uh, doing what on the map. And by the looks of it, uh, I don't want to start off from the left. I want to start off with uh, Apology. For, uh, this time around on uh, gandhi can we see gandhi somewhere hello gandhi oh my god is he going on an island is is gandhi on an island gandhi's island okay it's not that big of an island but it's an island look look at this gandhi free simming on his own island well i mean i guess he installed tropical last night and uh, now uh, the ai of civilization 6 is thinking i mean apology over here might be better suited to actually get all simming all game long and go for that victory we do have uh, delhi if getting the benefits or if, uh, already some uh, coco tiles here in the capital city of um, De well, delhi and he does have a scout coming up in three turns we do notice he's gonna have some coastal resources like turtles uh, for the extra amenities while uh, i do see quite a bit of um, fresh water from the lakes i don't really see that many rivers though and that might be a bit of an issue but it should be fine at some point now we do need to see also if he's going to want to actually explore the western coast to settle a city right in ldk's face that is one of his opponents and yes he could actually um, hide behind these two tile chokes that are gonna be uh, towards him but we're gonna need to see what his strategy is gonna be to do something against aztec to the west side or just i guess you know leave him be we do have another guardian and here on the peninsula XP is gonna have the opportunity to try to get some units towards uh, india through the one tile chokes and we're going to need to see if uh, those uh, mano raiders are gonna take a dip are gonna take a dive or not now what is that uh, pangea sr it's pangea standard ridges it, and it is basically um the normal pangea so standard ridges means the, con the mountains will spawn on the continent splits you see you see they're in the majority over here basically all all over the continent splits you have mountains on a classic ridges you don't have this they're just randomly all over the map uh, you will win remap vote based on gandhi spawn <laughs> i mean you think you think they're actually gonna remap for gandhi i don't know if they're gonna remap for gandhi because he kind of feels comfortable there let's see the others let's see what's happening on nader Shah, for example okay he's uh close to goal that's gonna be his uh, first opponent kupes to the south that's gonna be an ally they do have trade routes in the seas here uh to the north of valeta he can settle a city and i'm pretty sure he can couple his um series together with apology uh while i do notice uh 
Kote Honiang and Kupe is also going to be available for the trades. Uh, we do have um, builders coming up in five turns here from Josie. While Mashad is going to get his scout out in three turns, I do notice he's going to get his um, warrior soon to expand uh, his vision towards the east side. While he does have some plus three campuses here and a plus uh, four to the north. While I do notice a possible tobacco settle or an ivory settle here to the northwest. Uh, again, amenity settles for them. I don't really like his southeast or east side actually for that matter when it comes to the tiles the quality of the tiles does seem like um um i would say um below average while i do notice the southwest it's a much better choice much better choice over here with um, geothermal fissures between the mountains extra adjacency towards campuses and of course um, some resources in quite a few hills anyway now looking moving forward to catherine de medici this is the moment we gotta see let's press two and see he's gone oh my god he he did it again he, he did it again boys what is this tip bro what is this little mountain for paris to climb and get nowhere what what, what is this what is this no guard imperial gameplay over here i mean if this was a reason the last time they remapped i guess uh, they dropped uh oh no wait they didn't remap they didn't remap they might remap for this this is another exactly this is another uh, reason for a possible remap actually okay let's see Scout, another scout coming up in two turns from uh, Paris. He does have his um, river networks here, southwest, southeast, no problem. Um, extra resources here. Oh, sorry, no, city possible on the geothermal fissure that he can use extra resources. And I do notice he's uh, gonna have quite a few amenities sprinkled all around. Not bad, not bad. Um, mm -hmm. Next up, we do have uh, Coupe to take a look at. Tehonyanga Nuya Kupe, Josie gonna discover his north, uh, also has uh, reefs and geothermals around him, will never get these turtles by the way, they're too far away to be actually worked, I think only a single city here could get one turtle and that's it, a bit unfortunate though they're so far away from uh, the coast, and we do have him with a lot of uh, salt mines to the southwest that he can get to improve and I do notice he has significantly less forest and rainforest than the previous uh, map we've seen, but it's still a good decent amount of uh, getting all of this going, of course his fish tiles are going to give him the food to grow quickly and uh, we do have that builder coming out next turn this turn actually so he can uh, start improving i don't think he has fish yet yeah he doesn't have sailing yet it's next turn it's always delayed one turn unfortunately uh lansdor hello there sir and uh, welcome deep easily did i say hello sir good evening sir and welcome can gandhi win before france dies i guess we're gonna need to see i don't think france dies as quickly as you think over here especially if he has this uh, pyramid style of uh, defense i'm pretty sure he's very bunkered down here yeah, even though I voted for two maps, I want to see France defending on her own continent. Yeah, 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 yeah. France is surrounded on four sides. Well, I guess it is what it is. And they poked a bear and they got France exactly in the middle. Uh, people over here, it is what it is. Man, people yesterday saved us from uh, not getting a golden age. Oh my god, yes. Yes, perfect. Anyway, now we do have uh, Ambioris to take a look at. Does he have the stones? He still doesn't have stones. Uh, can, can we get the stone police uh, uh, over here? Because, I mean, Aduatuka would definitely need some stones, man. Where are his stones? Somebody took his stones. It is what it is. Anyway, I do see Chuck is going to get uh, quite a few mountains to work with, uh, even though a goal is not really, you know, um, necessary to have a lot of mountains. He definitely would have preferred more stone tiles than those mountains. I do notice uh, he's also going to have a decent food generation with the bananas coming around. Not a lot of uh, strategic resources either, like a horse tile sprinkled on the right side, some uh, iron sprinkled on the left side, you know, a little bit of salt and pepper in the middle. And we got uh, only a few tiles. Oh, at least he's going to get a plus for Opinum, plus for Opinum. Okay, there, are, there is some something over here that might actually develop after this uh, low stone roll. Oof. I think at some point they took goal out, right? From uh, having stone adjacency or something, like stone uh, priority and from the generation. Oh my god, through BBG probably. And they just... Well, he went down. Well, I guess uh, Chuck is going to be here uh, showing us the way with uh, goal. I'm pretty sure he's going to surprise us with what he's going to do. Uh, looking at the uh, pound maker, we do have him. Let's see, he's uh, much better. One, two, three, four, and a five, and a six. Six, 
six possible points in his um, trade routes, each trade route. Wait, why is he going southeast? Did he not discover this tile? He knows. Okay, he knows. Okay. Interesting. He didn't go for the geothermal 2 to 1 settle. Aha. Uh -huh. He's going to go southeast. Is this going to be a. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, excuse me, monsieur. I mean, monsieur. Uh, yeah, I, I, I see what it is. I see what it is. I mean, he definitely needed to get a city on the Mount Kilimanjaro. Getting those uh, extra food points over there in your cities is going to be amazing. He could even uh, just settle the diamonds if he wanted to and buy out some tiles or even go the extra mile and settle here. Anyway, we're going to need to see how Malpin is going to play this. We do have um, him with uh, quite a bit of potential and only a few seconds to go until uh, we're going to see this uh, changed. Or, I mean, we're not, not sure if it's going to be changed or not, but we're going to see a change uh, in tempo. They slow down so they can get a pause. That works as a change. Uh, mountains should count as stones. <laughs> he must be a Polynesian. He traded them for bananas. <laughs> Battle Cruiser, good evening, sir. We are hoping today for Montezuma's plus 12 bonus. Yes, yes. Okay, so we need to wait for the sharks to actually make up their mind. They do have uh, 23 more seconds to go. And by the looks of it, they're discussing this uh, between themselves. They did not click any button here yet. Let's see what they're going to go for. Did they meet? I don't I don't think they met. Yeah, they didn't meet uh, Mapuche, nor did they meet uh, LDK, nor do they know anything about this coast. Yeah, this is it. This is it, boys. Okay, so I got a few things that I need to do quickly here. First, uh, finish up the prediction on Twitch so we get uh, the points for the higher rollers. Let's see. One remap it is. Oh, these are not. I say, I say the safe people, you know, the honest people actually say were safe today. Day one. It was option one that won. It is what it is. Exactly the most uh, great one. You nailed that, guys. Yeah, Yorkshire bit pull France, yeah, he didn't know, he doesn't know. Don't forget betting this France is something to see, yeah, rest in peace indeed. Well, I guess we're gonna need to put up the team labels so we do know who's left, who's right. On the left side, we do have LSC, on the right side, we're gonna have the Sharks. Uh, wow, I actually wrote B Sharks, Check. anyway, uh, this, 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 hello, this, okay. And uh, that should be fine. Okay, so let's take it uh, one by one. We got uh, to the northwest. Uh, the, 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 that will be floppy, right? Floppy is from uh, Disha. So let's okay. Let's uh, let's start with Gandhi. Uh, Gandhi is gonna get his settler first settler going uh, towards the amber tiles on the west side, and of course where he does have quite a bit of uh, gold from the cocos. Not to mention a lot of amenities that he could trade with his allies. Wouldn't be surprised if he's gonna go for um, uh, irrigation quite quickly over here, getting another settler in five tens. He he would want uh, I'm actually curious if he wants to get the religion or not you can delay it quite a bit since there aren't that many religious civilizations in the game there isn't that much competition for the beliefs now also you should make a pool to see if uh, people want to uh, want uh, who wins the game prediction or for how long France will uh, survive prediction uh, okay okay yeah sure okay let's let's do that let's do that uh, what would you want uh, or uh prediction for who will win oh i can or uh, how long france will okay this is not english wait how long will france hold there we go <laughs> I uh, inversed a few uh, 
Oh my god, anyway, it is what it is. There we go, we're starting the poll. Uh, we do have uh, Apology getting that second set of Mysore between the two amenities. Of course, he's gonna need the builder if he wants to improve them. And right now, he's still busy getting his settlers going. I do see him switching to Astrology. He definitely wouldn't want to get a builder to uh, get the boost for irrigation or get somebody else to actually get it for him because otherwise, well, that's gonna be a lot of wasted science. Now, we do uh, see he put down his first uh, holy site next to the city of uh, Delhi. And I do notice and, and right now on my side, he's thinking about how to approach this uh, we do have to move uh, to take a look at his strategics iron to the southwest horses northwest both in uh, his immediate vicinity easy to improve neither on the left side we do have the city of Mashar getting a set out in three times and yes I do uh, notice he got uh, Tarsus to the southeast where uh, he does only have a single 2-2 two -two over here uh, next to his city center while he's gonna have a pretty okay campus that is a plus three he's gonna need to destroy the forest if he wants to get it there well um i guess he does he did manage to get uh, some position over here towards the south the east on the east side where there is uh, ambiorix ambiorix uh, already is getting uh oh uh oh oh i see what's going on i see what's going on so we got we got floppy here with a scout another scout coming in that's going to be uh, joining in two turns uh, next to Noviodunum and another warrior coming next towards Noviodunum. There is a Gesate here that uh, can definitely do quite a bit of damage to the scout if he gets uh, next to it. And of course, if the scout just moves on the honey tile, he's going to have the protection of the river. An extra plus five will mean um, attacking this scout with uh, 21 against 15 instead of the 10 that he has right now. Definitely a lot, <coughs> a lot less damage uh, dealt. Uh, there is also a Kree scout here and as you can see they are trying to uh, take it down immediately the Persian one uh, move it away from their territory while uh, it's the same move Floppy is going to need to move across the river so he can uh, defend that scout a little bit better it does seem like he's still dying mm, anyway yeah I don't think it's gonna get uh, it's gonna get triple hit and that just will die anyway this scout can also attack and as you can see it's 10 versus 7 anyway uh, we do uh, need to move away from this it was an interesting plan it's not working right here so it looks like you wonder who will win yorkshire brit actually uh, contributed a little bit on this just a little just a tiny bit you know he moved in i think he'll 1v1 montezuma other just ignore to keep pacing yeah uh mashad is gonna get his horses out uh, from the northeast in the second ring i do notice his iron is gonna be southwest and that's uh, gonna be quite expensive for him that's a third ring tile then we do need to see if he's uh, gonna manage to get it so he can upgrade stuff that is gonna be a bit sad in the iron generation well by the looks of it this scout is dead i ah there is a, again a chance he moves to the tutu forest yeah that's the only chance that's the only chance and it gave him enough defense so he can actually withstand another scout attack i know it's kind of you know <laughs> it, it, that that guy is almost dead it's only his last legs over there it is what it is breathing heavily it is what it is anyway we got the goal over here already with three settlers i'm pretty sure he's happy about this did he get a settler from somebody or that's actually built settlers three built settlers wow did they buy him a settler that's, that kind of looks like buying timing, buying a settler timing on chat. Anyway, uh, looking next, we do need to take a look at Catherine de Medici, right? The Catherine de Medici, we do have, uh, no, this is not, this is Catherine de Medici. The city of Rennes is getting attacked by uh, Aztec and I do see Mapuche there. Uh, well, Mapuche doesn't have its extra plus five activated, uh, not in the Golden Age territory. We do have Paris getting another settler out uh, next turn. And I do notice more scouts from Mapuche are getting into this territory. They're trying to take down the city of Rennes, even with uh, warrior inside of it. This eagle warrior needs to be there we go taken down quickly enough so he doesn't get its extra promotion that would have uh, made him uh, get his health back and it uh, would have put more pressure on france well now people is dealing uh, very elegantly here with his opponent he's gonna be left alone to fight uh, france while uh, montezuma is gonna need to get another unit there isn't kind of montezuma in a tight space like it doesn't seem like montezuma has any other direction to go against than ren but anyway it is what it is i do see horses here next to the city of ren bananas for the extra food uh, his other city is gonna go towards the northwest here towards malm and i think this is a bit of a strategic mistake actually opening up uh, another front line against an opponent man is gonna put units against him and it's not gonna be pretty to uh, fight on both um on both 
We got Coupe also. West side. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Strategics, strategics. Horses. Iron. Where is Iron? Third ring tile for, from Paris. That, or he can get another one here in the south that he can get another city next to his uh, forest fire anyway. Okay, this is a much better way, by the way. Going to the west side, getting uh, that city next to the bananas and uh, having the ability to get the campus there. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, okay. That's, that's much better, much safer, much safer. Did he actually wait? Did he see the warrior? Did he? I don't think he saw the warrior, right? He only moved on the two one. He never moved on the two two or the hills there. Yeah, okay, okay. He never saw the warrior. Uh, anyway, we do have uh, France improving his uh, horses, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for the horse by riding quite quickly. Now he's uh, gonna open up writing first, and I do see also monuments coming out for the extra culture. He definitely needs a lot more. Uh, well, looking at the uh, coupe on the western side, we already have him with uh, Pantheon. God of the Sea is gonna be his choice, and he's gonna go for a builder from Kayapoi. He already got one. He got three of these fish tiles improved, getting those uh, extra food points uh, for his population growth. We do have him, of course, uh, getting that uh, trader. And I guess a big question is, is he going to go for an internal or external here for the gold? We already have him uh, getting his third settle to the west side. And I do notice he's going to settle next to turtles here and uh, salt mine so he can get uh, two amenities quite easy. Uh, going for another settle from his capital. He does have uh, Moksha, uh, Moksha, Magnus as his first choice as a governor in his capital city and i do see of course he keeps on getting his builder he also has an item tile here to the northwest of kaya point that's going to be two tiles out and i do notice his horses are going to be right next to his capital on a flat tile over there so i would assume he kind of well knows about this i don't think he discovered animal husbandry but i'm pretty sure one of his allies uh, told him about it uh, these sharks do have a good position, it's just France that's kind of a sacrifice to the free sim gods. Yeah, true, but at the same time, France is kind of in a perfect position for France. Like, it usually does very well when it comes to uh, defending. Uh, tactical French normal age? <laughs> tactical normal age of French? Oh my god, that would be a problem. Did France uh, settle outside her continent? Uh, no, it's actually right on the edge of uh, his continent. Yeah, he he's uh, just getting on the edge of this continent, that's it. Uh, I like Coupe spawn better than India. I mean, it's a pretty good spawn. It's uh, And I do see he just bought a builder in the city of Opango, by the way. Definitely wanted to get those uh, extra turtles. Amenities, two amenities uh, here. Um, and one extra turtle for his allies is going to be quite uh, fruitful. Uh, we do have a lot of gold on Chuck. And I guess I'm uh, thinking what's going on. Oh, this is what's going on. The city of Samaro Briva is being put under siege. And is getting hit every time here. Slowly dwindling the health down. While uh, gold keeps buying out units. We do have him either working eight turns. It's going to take a while until he can, you know, actually buy a swordsman. Uh, but I don't think he's going to want to buy a swordsman. Uh, you can't upgrade these gaze satins though into swordsman. Mm, that's a bit of an issue for uh, Chuck. It is what it is. Well, Chuck is going to get an army of builders. And I do see his fourth settler is already going to the northeast for that ship tile. Uh, we don't really have an option for France to move away from this tile. But I think he can kill a scout. Can he kill a scout? Double tap it. I think he should be able to double tap it. Right? This, this one does have um, heals popping off every time. So I'm not sure. Uh, does he have uh, experience? No. Not enough experience to actually uh, be. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, the warrior. Wait, the damage still counts from uh, like um, the combat for the whole uh, full health units from Nader shower against the city center. I don't think it counts, right? I don't think it counts. Um, it just shows up here, but I don't think it counts. Or maybe it's just me having this impression. Yeah, I don't think it counts, because look, uh, look at these. They're both um, close to uh, damage. And they do uh, they do take about the same. Actually, this warrior takes uh, less than this. The Persian warrior should have uh, taken less damage. Anyway, do you guys know where there is uh, an achievement in Civ 6 where you need to kill an enemy tank with a guessate? Really? It is? I didn't know. In districts, in districts, you say, okay. Well, it only says uh, full health units, by the way, and uh, that's not a full health district, is it? Oh, 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 
we got another yeah there we go we got that one that one and that one and they got a serious summer of Riva before chuck could actually react wow 10 23 bam down goes the city wow 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 they did sacrifice three units for this but it was worth it that is big that is big there is also one for uh, lifting a three promotion slinger <laughs> amazing it's uh it counts less damage because it's uh city was uh, 25 strength instead of the 20 cause across the river i see i see i see i see okay i see the across the river thank you thank you across the river that was the extra um, information i needed thank you you can check uh Civpedia to see it Oh yeah, now uh, let's see what do we have here. Next up, uh, his uh, strategics. He already improved his iron tile. He's gonna get his horses up, and I do see uh, he's still gonna be on three cities. But that is quite a wah -wah that he lost his city at the beginning over here. That is quite a problem for him. We're gonna need to see if Nader is uh, gonna try to be uh, quite aggressive here. Floppy is right now switching towards animal husbandry and going towards uh, his horseback riding. So it's gonna take a while. Uh, we do have also Kree to take a look at with his uh, multiple pastures and camps i do notice he's starting off with uh, commercials he's not putting them uh, on the river so he doesn't get flooded and i do notice he's gonna get some uh, traders here from the other cities so he can start working on that extra production and food uh, getting uh, magnus in the capital makes him watch it and uh, does already have one of these of two of these pastures improved i'm not sure if uh, pashkov ashik is actually using that horse style but i would imagine it is on makes him watch to use it mount hili majaro tiles in the southeastern city and uh, of course he's uh, finishing up his commercials quite quickly he did choose to go for city patreon goddess getting the 40 percent was the first district in a city uh, okay uh, strategics he has horses improved and on the iron tile that's two tiles off from pito hahana p win and he still didn't settle that geothermal uh, fissure to the northwest well, I guess uh, he's going to get there when he gets there. That is uh, less food. I, I got to say that is a lot less food in the other series. Definitely a lot less food than uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, looking at next. Where is next? Where is next? We got uh, Lotaro, right? Lotaro. Did we see Lotaro before? No, we don't. Uh, we do have him with God of Craftsman already getting the extra production and the faith on uh, all of these. Wait, the extra production? Yeah, and the faith. The little tile of faith here um, on these improved uh, strategic resource tiles. He does have more. Um, multiple builders coming around and this time he actually has much better appeal look at this appeal he can actually put down quite a few shema moves and benefit from that extra culture giving him a big boost to the beginning of the game i don't notice he's actually uh, making a wait why, oh he's making a trip towards the northeast to actually close off uh, india to his own little island there and i wouldn't be surprised if uh, xp is just gonna settle that uh, stone tile and be done with it you know we do have uh, magnus establishing his capital as the first governor and uh, we do have him with uh, some traders building up the roads we're going to need to come back to see what his plans are to actually deal with uh, india after the mountains uh, he does have uh, horses improved iron tiles west side southwest side of his capital quite far away uh, it doesn't look like he's gonna get them uh, quickly or uh, be in a rush to actually get that bronze working going i'm pretty sure whoever is gonna get bronze working first is gonna scream hey your iron is kind of uh, you know expensive now we do have montezuma to take a look at montezuma is one big continent yeah and this game is going to be super short or very long wait really how is that in extremes why is it in two extremes uh, two players from uh, last day copy getting a fourth settler early on what is the reason for this yeah uh, i think um, <clears throat> they do not believe they're gonna be in danger and they want to get that uh, extra city quickly instead of uh, builders or other units or uh, for example like uh, Persia over di did over here to get his um, improvements going <clears throat> uh, Montezuma right let's actually take a look he's getting his eagle warriors out he did try to make an attack on uh, the city of Ren could not get there and I do notice he's getting some galleys out uh, to explore his east side well he's gonna find out quickly that he doesn't really have where to go we do have him uh, with uh, Magnus established in Trochitlan getting uh, an army of builders uh, going for city going towards the northwest and uh, I do see him improving his styles for celestial navigation which, which he already got earlier I, I would assume or for somebody else maybe 
I don't know, maybe somebody else. Now, we do have him putting down his uh, harbors here. Maybe he just got it when he improved it. It is what it is. That was fast. That was very fast. Now, we do have him with uh, also these uh, amber mines improved. And uh, he can give away those resources uh, to his allies. I'm pretty sure they're going to be happy sharing those amenities with their allies. So, they can keep them uh, their people happy. Yeah, we do have him with an iron tile to the southeastern Tenochtitlan, and I do notice his horses are going to be in the top of uh, Tenochtitlan here on the um, peninsula, or I sh should say the coastal edge here. Yeah, easy resources to improve, and of course he still has uh, two charges on his builder. I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to get the horse tile improved. Uh, looking at his pantheon, he went for fertility rights, and uh, yes, he's going to get more food from his, uh, what is it, pastures, uh, rice tiles, wheat tiles. And May styles, I believe. Not gonna be bad. A lot of food. A lot of food. It is what it is. Okay, let's uh, bounce around the map while uh, we take a look at the uh, pantheons here. Lady of the Razor Marshes on Persia. Looks like uh, he's gonna get his army of builders and gonna start up on his warriors. We do have him uh, needing to take out an Okchitao that is uh, gonna be dangerously close to one of his uh, traders. And as you can see, we do have him. Ooh! getting the moves man oh man floppy countering man like a boss over here unbelievable put that slinger to sacrifice himself to save the trader and then he attacked back with the scout with the slinger and the warrior just as looking around from the city of mashad well we do have uh, magnus establishing there in 110 and he's gonna start improving his styles here i'm pretty sure uh, there won't be a problem when it comes to the golden age we do have uh, XP here uh, 18 out of 19 people is gonna be no uh, sorry floppy is gonna also be 18 out of 19 but again shouldn't be a problem uh state workforce next turn animal hospital next turn we do have him settling hamatana here as a third city and not going for his fifth one he's getting armies out he's getting some more slingers and of course turn them into archers so he can uh, do something about gold to the east side he is gonna go for commercials not putting down encampments yet or uh, campuses Well, uh, looking at uh, initiation rights uh, goal here, we do have him putting down his Opidum. That's going to be a plus uh, 6 to the west of Novio Dunum. We do have uh, Adu Atuka to the east side getting a plus 2. While uh, he's going to get another plus 2 here uh, from uh, Dura Cortor. And he's going to need to improve that horse style. It is what it is. And get some more mines around these Opidums. Try to make them better. Well, uh, starting to get the culture from the mines. Uh, this is going to be quite important for him to uh, keep on improving. Uh, looking at Coupe, he still didn't get his fourth city, by the way. Still didn't get his... Oh, he, yeah, he's going for it. He's going somewhere over here. I see. It's going to be the copper tile. He can settle another city on the tip. On the tip of Valletta, he can settle a city. Uh, Coupe went God of the Sea, right? Put the extra production on his uh, coastal resources. Yes, he did. Uh, do we have Catherine de Medici getting one? Gar Goddess of Festivals. And I do notice he's uh, pushing back slowly but surely Mapuche from the city of uh, Ren. While he's getting the builders, uh, he needs to get access to the banana tile so he can start getting that uh, extra culture going. He did uh, start with a campus. That's a plus four in the capital with another plus uh, two next to La Rochelle. And I do see the city of Ren did not put one down yet. Uh, oh, he did. He did. Never mind. It's a plus three to the uh, plus four to the south. Yes. What is this? Uh, people is gonna go bronze working in two turns, and I do notice a state workforce uh, coming up in next turn. While uh, they still have three more turns until the next golden age. Moksha in the capital for the extra cult uh, for yeah culture and a little bit of faith. While uh, let's see the other empires here. Three. City Patreon Goddess, we talked about it. Uh, fertility rights here on uh, people. We talked about on people on uh, sorry LDK. We talked about it. We got the Sacred Path on Apology. He's gonna get as much faith adjacency as possible from these forest and rainforest tiles. And I do notice Moksha opener in uh, Delhi with uh, of course going for his monument, so he gets a lot more culture. I'm a bit surprised about how quickly he's going for this culture though. Uh, usually players do uh, tend to do other stuff if they have uh, the culture coming up from somewhere else, but I guess. Uh, he does need as much as he can okay getting his great prophet right now we're gonna see his religion in just a few seconds uh who lost the city monkey was all good evening sir yeah it was goal goal lost the city this city summer of brief i believe it was called right Oof. we got a religion here establishing in apologies empire 
and we're waiting to see what that religion will mean for everybody else. What is this production on Josie? By the way, 56 production on like four cities. Well, I guess, uh, you know, Coupe doing Coupe things over here. Uh, Pipo definitely has quite a bit less production than the others. Uh, Floppy the same, 29 production over here. Only 29 production. Getting a lot of these uh, slingers out by the looks of it. And does have the opportunity to get an iron mine, uh, iron mine next to Hamatana. Putting down his commercials. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, finally, religion. Eastern Orthodoxy, choral music, eternal preachers, and cross-culture dialogue. Oh my god, he's actually gonna rip the science away from his opponents. He's gonna convert his opponent's cities slowly but surely, and he's actually gonna get more science from those converted citizens. Lol. Ah, that's gonna be fun. I would actually be so curious uh, later on in the game. Uh, two players from LC getting a fourth set or medium or hello who lost the set? wait wait medium what, what do you mean medium oh oh average you mean the spawn we were talking about spawn yeah okay in terms of city states we do have Geneva, Mitla, Fez and Nalanda coming up for the science city states while Hunza and Mogadishu are going to be providing the trade bonuses we do have Ayutthaya and um, Antaranarivo for the culture and Gazagamu with Valeta will be providing the military bonuses and I do notice Chinguet is going to be available here for India to benefit uh, to feast on those faith points uh, while uh, there will only be a single industrial city state in the game that's Cardiff here I think I did not get the settings correct on my uh... Uh, Nukes 1080 India. Well, let's see if he's gonna he's gonna put that to the test, you know. Let's get the prediction going. I see uh, people did vote to actually go for uh, the prediction to uh, for who will win. Let's get it going. Who will win? This is the first uh, game out of a best of three series between uh, these two teams, uh, Lusty Company and the Sharks. Uh, Gandhi doesn't just uh, win a demonization uh, victory, Gandhi wins an annihilation victory. <laughs> Good enough. And hello there, ma'am. Okay, okay. Now, what do we have here? Government Plaza, Miki Sivuachi. Man, I'm gonna get those uh, upgraded. Uh, upgraded the tiles i do notice he got a camp he got uh, two three pastures here in the capital definitely quite a bit more gold he's already on 44 gold at 10 with 54 production getting his uh, campus uh, while i do notice that's gonna be um, getting the government plaza bonuses when we're going to need to see him uh, setting up everything else i uh, still didn't go for a possible temple of artemis and i do notice he got flooded in uh, his capital i wouldn't be surprised if he's going to need to repair a few tiles here and there uh, he didn't get any units towards his opponent. Looks like France is going to bunker down and uh, use his one touch chokes to uh, try to deny his opponents from getting in there. And, uh, well, doing quite uh, good at that. Uh, look, uh, we do need to take a look at goal here. To see how has uh, he been faring in camel training projects coming out from the western city. He's going to get uh, one of those generals, I'm pretty sure. But with uh, nobody actually making general points, it's not like um, anybody's going to deny Persia. Unless uh, we're going to see Gaul over here trying to deny all of the generals. Anyway, he does have three um, settlers coming around. I do see uh, quite a few builders starting to improve his tiles. While uh, Persia is putting warriors in the face of Gaul here and some scouts, he wants to actually see what's going on. Maybe actually deny him uh, the opportunity to keep that iron tile. Uh, Gaul does have three iron tiles, so I really don't think that's uh, going to stop him from doing amazing things here. Well, and there are uh, more of these commercials free, um, finishing up on uh, Floppy Flongi's side. And I do notice uh, he's uh, starting to get those traders uh, in between his cities. While uh, he will have the opportunity later on to trade with maori 
Uh, looks like uh, we're also 1032, so we can talk about that uh, Golden Ages on Montezuma. We do have uh, Penbrush and Voice Golden Age here, and of course, uh, he's getting multiple harbors out for the extra gold. Um, not to mention the ability to get those trade routes, uh, getting the culture alongside all of those bonuses. Uh, getting also, staying on four cities, uh, getting um, his lighthouses for the trade routes first, uh, before he's going to settle some more. He did uh, start off with internals using Magnus. Uh, looking at Lotaro, Penbash and Voice Golden Age on four series uh, Mapuche, God of Cransman and his Pantheon, uh, getting his uh, campuses out, and of course using his Gavron Plaza to boost the uh, commercial and the campus at the same time. And we do have uh, Mapuche here with um, builders uh, running around everywhere, improving his tiles, while he still did not get a Shemamul for the extra culture. I'm a bit uh, surprised he didn't actually choose to do so, but I guess it is what it is. He's probably keeping this tile for uh, plus five from Engulu Mapu, that's um, gonna be a little bit later, isn't it? Uh, man, per Russian voice, uh, Golden Age, she does have 13 signs with 18 culture on uh, Kree and choosing to go for Ancestral Hall and at the same time getting Hanging Gardens from the city of uh, Pashka of Ashik. We do have uh, Pito Kahana Piwin with a setter coming up importance as well. He wants to keep on expanding while he's uh, getting his upgrades. There is a scout here from Floppy that might actually uh, do some damage against Kree depending on what's uh, gonna happen you know he could just stand there until uh, there's a, a settler trying to go to the north and then pff, jumps on him anyway now we do have also ambiorix here goal getting those uh, things going looks like uh, i'm not sure what floppy wanted to achieve here uh, but i guess uh, we're gonna need to see if he's gonna get out alive these uh, guess that is, uh, still do have two movements so we do need to see if they're gonna be fast enough uh, to uh, run away after these uh, warriors anyway i don't i don't think so these archers are gonna come clean this up slowly uh, I'm pretty sure Chuck did have Swordsman, right? He already had so he already has Swordsman. It's just the fact that he can't upgrade from Gesates, holding him back. Anyway, uh, Josie, 16 signs with 26 culture. Pembrush and Voice Golden Age. We do have him uh, four series. And I do notice he's getting uh, to 210 settles here from his capital. That's a lot of production there. He already put down a campus, a plus two, got his Gavron Plaza, and I do notice he got two harbors next to it. Uh, that is on a horse style also, giving him immediately that resource whenever he's going to discover animal husbandry. While uh, Audience Chamber is going to give him more food and more uh, amenities in his city centers. Uh, I do think India will struggle with Malon Raiders in this game. It might be. I guess it all depends on um, the chokes. If, uh, if they're gonna close the chokes or not. Hey, hey, hey! I do see we got uh, quite a few uh, newcomers over here on YouTube. Hello there, everybody. Welcome! Uh, wait, I think both drafts are in. They need money, though. I think the scouting can be nice. Yes, yes, indeed. I like how this shot is using two sieves uh, nerfed in the beta, getting the last bit of enjoyment with them. Yes, I like, I like! Uh, Daniel B, also good evening. Uh, good day. Oh, man. Okay, good day, sir, on uh, YouTube as well. Um, good remap. I think that this shark uh, have a better spawn. Yes, sir. Legendary Llama also said spawn generation and team games is so uh, effed up. Uh, wait a second. Legendary. We are actually using uh, BBS and um, uh, or even new versions. We're working on new versions uh, for this algorithm of uh, placing saves and everything. And um, we actually have good results with it. Oh, there is an archer here that will start uh, to do the damage, the damage. He does need to move because these Persian warriors ran as quick as their little feet can carry them. But it was just this, just until here. And then their big brothers, the archers with the big muscles, will need to come and save them. I tried to keep both shots going on. Woohoo! Let's go, let's go. Uh, also, Rush, hello there, sir. Close is uh, Cloud. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Catching it live. Let's go. How is the Galaxy City under siege? Not enough units uh, around it. The Galaxy City, you're talking about the Galaxy City here in Aduatuka. He had uh, three units, right? He had one unit here, one uh, one unit here, and one unit here. It was. Uh, it's all about zone of control around those units. So this one uh, put pressure on this tile and this tile. It actually uh, closed off the western side of uh, the city center this one to the northeast that was here was applying pressure on this single tile here and uh, it was under siege and this one on the other on this side on the southeast on the city of uh, on the city side uh, he applied pressure of zone of control on the uranium tile so it, they closed off all of the tiles of the city center that's why it was under siege 
you know, every time I think of Mellow Raiders and now I want fruits, <laughs> is he going to place a seed in the same spot? Yes, yes, he is probably going to put a seed in the same spot. It, it is what it is, you know, it's Chuck, it is what it is. Uh, looks like the Gesate actually uh, did come out uh, without a scar from this. He did manage to... Oh, wait. No, no, no. He didn't. Actually, he died. The first Gesate died. The, there was a scout that also died from Persia, but I don't think that's a good... Uh, how to say... Um, I don't think that's a good trade, no? That's not a good trade. Not a good trade. Anyway, now uh, we do need to take a look at uh, all of the other stuff. So uh, we went through Chuck, we got to Josie, Josie getting those cities out, and uh, finally some uh, uh, some AC going on here. We got 23 uh, science and uh, 32 culture with 43 uh, gold at 10. And yes, I do notice he's getting a lot of food and the production from his tiles. He still did not upgrade his uh, iron tiles, and he did manage to get a holy site down from the city of Kayapoi. Is it just me that wants to see more preserves on Maori? Let, let, let's start up some uh, chat drama over here. Is it just me that wants to see preserves on Maori? Oh my god, it is. I'm gonna slowly um, drink my coffee and uh, rest in peace. Everyone wants that. Wait, no, but the basically says it is just me. And then you say it, everybody wants it. I'm so confused. Anyway, now we do need to take a look at uh, what's going on between the two uh, warring nations. Perja getting his um, other settlers out and quite a few builders going. I would imagine he might actually want to chop some things here. He has masonry coming up next. And, and I do not know if he actually has uh, horses or not, to be honest. I did not see if he did get uh, horseback riding. What I do know, he does not have any camel down. Well... Uh, we got to Josie. We need people. We need to talk about people here. Uh, people, Pen Passion Voice Golden. She is getting his encampments, two of them at the count with uh, an audience chamber coming up from the city of Pari. He is uh, not going to get to settle that many cities over here in the southwest, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't like the quality of them. Uh, we do have him with Pingala established already in the city of Ren. He is not going for Magnus Internals, which is a bit of a surprise. Usually, um, in this kind of situation, you kind of want to go for that production, but at the same time, you kind of want to get the stats also. So, you know, it's uh, um, it is tricky. And we do have um, Goddess of Festivals also appearing for him. He's getting the extra culture from all of these improved plantations. At the moment, he has three of them, and he can definitely get some more. He has some dye styles to improve, some olive tiles, some more bananas, and uh, he has quite a few more cities that he could go for. At the moment, his fifth settler is going to the south, and he is going to equal uh, the number of cities his opponents have. Yeah, 22 science and 30 culture at this point in the game. Definitely not too shabby. Uh, did we get gold to... Yeah, there we go. He's putting a source money in production. And by the looks of it, uh, we don't yet have any units, uh, any classical units coming up from Floppy. Floppy on 12 science and 25 culture. He uh, is not going to have... I should say Chuck is not going to have that big of an advantage when it comes to this uh, culture again, uh, and the science against him. And I do notice uh, Floppy is uh, managing to get his government plaza. But without any improvement in it like something like Wallace throne for example he did choose to go for lady of the reeds and marshes and uh, only getting an extra point of uh, production on these marsh tiles doesn't seem like it's gonna be majorly worth it but i guess we're gonna need to see he definitely has for example another city to the northeast of Marshan to settle and that is gonna get a lot of uh, production points there yeah, we do have uh, also a fl a Floppy getting a bronze working next turn, while uh, I'm pretty sure the goal is um, going to get his units. I'm not that convinced he's going to go on the offensive here. I think he's just going to try to be defensive, make it as hard as possible for Persia to do anything. Uh, getting a settler right here, right in his face, it is kind of... It is kind of disrespectful, not going to lie. This is... I mean, I think Chuck is mad. It, do you get the same vibe, guys? Urek, hello there, sir. Uh, that Coupe uh, build so troll. Wait, what? Like, Harbor Theater is so much better for uh, fast merchant chicken pizza. Preserve Maori never happens due to resources. Yeah, true. Uh, Perja could go for a Temenanki in that uh, river. Yes, yes, he could. Uh, let's take a look at the apology here. He's the last one, and I guess uh, the one that's going for 
entertainment complex into Colosseum here in the city of Mysore does already have Magnus established and he does have uh, quite a few chops one two three four uh, in his borders well he can get some more actually six if you take this one into account now we do have him bring them some uh, some of these uh, step wells well unfortunately they don't have a lot of food nor production at this point in the game uh, we do need to see how many cities he's going to manage to actually get down on this island but it looks like he is populating it everywhere and also putting down uh, cities in the choke point so he can uh, actually hold on uh, the horde of Aztec and uh, Mapuche at the borders here now we didn't have the first horse actually of the map coming out from Mapuche and going towards uh, the cities of France we're going to see where is he going to want to go and how is he going to want to take an attack or do some pillages while I do notice uh, India is also going to get the horse out from Delhi I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to send it first in the choke point so he's not going to be surprised by a Lotaro attack Feudalism coming up in six turns. That should be fine for him to get all of those uh, builders in the meantime. I'm pretty sure with a uh, monumentality golden age that he's in and his um, 37 faith attempt that just keeps on getting better with uh, new holy sites and new shrines and temples that are gonna get out. I'm pretty sure he's gonna want. He gonna want a lot of builders and feudalism builders uh, for that matter. Now, first uh, investing into Mysore so he can uh, secure Colosseum. This is 1038. This is kind of a late Colosseum, but I guess it is what it is. Ancestor Hall, also the choice for Mapuche to get here. As a specializing uh, building of choice in his capital, we do have uh, encampment training projects coming up from LDK. I think there were already two generals that got picked up, no? Yeah, yeah, two of them. Gold got to track, and I do see uh, Maori on Artemisia, while uh, Zankian uh, also got picked up by Mapuche. That's uh, gonna be one of the merchants for the extra trade route capacity. That's very valuable. Uh, Kree is getting horses, he's getting settlers out. We do have him uh, getting his Temple of Artemis, and it looks like uh, he did push out that scout to, from the northwest. And while I do notice there's a role being uh, created between them, looks like Gold did choose to go for an external here at the beginning of the game. Uh, finishing up another encampment training project and it looks like it is going to be people without a general. That, uh, floppy, floppy without a general, sorry. That is unfortunate, that is unfortunate. We got, uh, we got people with a general. Only one general though. I think if there is a nation here that would have required two generals, it is people. Like it is uh, France, right? North of Paris, he needs to close up the choke. East of Par uh, Ren, he needs to close up the choke. I don't think India goes over uh, six cities or eight, eight cities. I yeah, it might be. Also, Gnochen, Gnochen. Etemenaki is just creating cities with lots of floodplains. Since it gives uh, production and science to those tiles. Well, it does give the production, but uh, you kind of need to work for the science. You need farms there. Uh, you don't want to chop rainforest and you can't chop rainforest therefore preserves are not uh, worth it mm -hmm. because of the lack of appeal you mean hf i'm really not a preserve specialist but i do uh, rely on uh, people's uh, opinion here uh preserves don't work well on maori literally no tasks for uh, districts yeah okay i see i see how it is well the one says no tasks the other one says uh you don't wanna you don't get them they don't just work well it is what it is i guess we'll see i mean uh, we're not gonna see basically right we're not gonna see it mm. Okay, well, we do have a settler coming up in uh, three turns here from the capital city of Maori. He already got his sixth one down. Uh, Wakara Warewa, uh, 246. I do see seventh uh, next to Lysen Fjord. And uh, he is getting his holy site prayer project so he can uh, get a religion of his own. Uh, that is going to be two religions on the same team, right? Apology and Gandhi. And I guess they will get the opportunity. Oh my God, he will get the opportunity to actually get it on the other side. Check this out. This is the plan, right? They're going to actually get a religion here on Maori and send it to Gandhi so he can benefit from uh, the the belief, the follower belief. Or, uh, why would Mapuche go uh, coastal here or is it the top city not coastal? Uh, Mapuche, Mapuche, Mapuche. This uh, is not coastal. No, it's not coastal. It's actually very close to the coast. I'm pretty sure they just wanted to um, uh, close up the choke for India. And uh, I think Aztec can settle another city right on the sheep tile and uh, get uh, connected. Like they could connect their um, economies through those cities. Yeah, yeah. Reina Tate City, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be, could be.
Uh, that's very smart by the sharks. Uh, Supercharge the Gandhi. Exactly. Oh my god, if we got a, a third... Um, a third holy site somewhere it would be pog anyway persia by the looks of it is not going to manage to get enough uh, points for another general and i would imagine a uh, goal is going to pick it next and that's going to be the third and fourth uh, the fourth general of the game what is the, the third one two three yeah it's the fourth that's it no more generals until the next era that's going to be 75 uh, 75 points a pop and of course it won't uh, give bonuses to uh, classical units anymore that's it uh, well it is what it is floppy here gonna get his encampment training project but uh, even with his army of builders can't get there that fast you know we do need to see what kind of technology he's gonna have and we do still have him on 19 science with 41 culture choosing to put some uh, campuses down i would imagine he's gonna catch up in the science screen uh, relatively quickly we do have him uh, using his builders for the chops to increase uh, as quickly as possible the production towards these uh, campuses and i do notice gold has started building more and more of these uh, swordsmen i would imagine he's looking to do something with them and um, i guess the only thing that he could do is actually go against persia to the west uh, let's look forward if uh, he's actually gonna get some yeah there we go men at arms soon military tactics coming up in seven while uh, floppy is still getting construction you know it, it takes some time it takes some time here for floppy to get there uh, we do have Chuck with 20 science versus Floppy's 19. So, I mean, there's not that much of a difference between them when it comes to the uh, raw science. It's just a matter of who's choosing what in the uh, screen. Wait, am I actually seeing this right? We do have people over here with the biggest science and the biggest culture in the game. Well, not the biggest culture, but he's one point off from having the biggest culture in the game. This is people between all of his opponents, by the way all of them are here and oh my god look at look at that one two three four anyway now we got the uh, hanging gardens finish here in uh, Kree's territory we do have him uh, getting his temple of artemis in three turns and i do notice he's gonna settle a city on the coast that will lock in aztec unfortunately uh, he's not gonna get that many more cities uh, on that coast it is what it is and i do see stonehenge is uh, getting out from malinanko in uh, four tens we do have an entertainment complex also put down from Pachva ashik i would have imagined he might have uh, wanted to go for temple of artemis but that's gonna be too late india is gonna get it they don't have vision over what's going on in the lands of india and i don't notice the city of mysore is eight turns out from getting a colosseum i would imagine he might actually want to uh, get enough faith for a builder he's on 164 he should have enough faith for a builder or is he just waiting for the one in delhi no he switched off is, does he have does he not finish feudalism oh he's finishing next and that's why he's not buying it got it and they're moving away the other builders uh, pyramids have been put has been put down in the city of agra and he's getting the extra gold i do notice uh, he's uh, also gonna have some amber tiles there that's about it mm, that's about it did we have wait a second yeah, yeah, the cross culture dive. Um, I am so sad we can't actually see how many of these uh, cities uh, do we actually uh, get to convert here. How, how many citizens do we get it? Like, is it three here, right? Whenever it's going to hit the three followers here, he's going to get a point of science, right? So we can actually check that out. We can actually count this out. He's right now on one. Or is it, do these, um, um, are these cumulative? So, for example, if you have one citizen in Tenochtitlan and one in Tlacopan and then uh, another one in Puen Mapu, uh, are they actually going to add together to a point of science? Or do you have to have three in Tenochtitlan separately, three in Tlacopan separately, three? Uh, enraged Mr. Potato incoming. Wait, 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 where do you see Netherlands coming up? Where do you see Netherlands? Where, where is Netherlands? Yeah, it must be one city, right? I was thinking uh, that myself. That was the impression I got always about this. Cool. Thank you, Kulwi, for confirming. Uh, Sergey Lakislov, uh, also good evening, sir. Maybe people isn't stuck with the uh, last day company. They are stuck with him. It kind of looks like, sir. It kind of looks like they're stuck with him. And he's going to get castles in three turns. That is way faster than Malm is going to get uh, something useful over here. He does have uh, horses coming around from his capital city and putting down in camels there to, uh, to the north. We might see a coarser attack. Will India cross the river with the missionaries? Otherwise, how does he uh, make use of a cross culture dialogue? Aztec will deny him passive spread with uh, Stonehenge. Uh, well, he will. He will. 
I don't know if I don't think he will deny all of the passive st spread. It's still gonna spread over here unless uh, we're gonna see a Mapuche getting something. Okay, we do have a possible attack from India. He's um, well getting a few units here against his opponent. Wouldn't really say this is a massive invasion of the Mapuche Empire, but we do have two horses with a few scouts and a um, warrior going towards Puen Mapu with no general in tow. You know, it is what it is. They didn't have the time to get a general. Uh, okay, so now we do have India starting to spend that faith into his builders. And we still have Colosseum that needs to be finished in seven turns. Uh, these campuses are disgusting, but it's Pingala, Moksha, Opener. Yeah, yes, it is. It is uh, much higher stats, less production, less food, less development, basically. Uh, passive spread is blocked by uh, Moksha. Yes, yes. Passive spread is uh, also blocked by Moksha. Yes. Uh, people sacrifice his production a lot, though. That is true. Did France uh, get a jar? Yes, he did. Yes, he did get a jar. And it looks like, oh my God, what is this? There is so there are so many points being dumped right now into the shacks. We just passed two hundred thousand points on Twitch. Put on the sharks. 200,000. Wow. A Stonehenge guy just finished, by the way. We got Aztec here that needs to pick up a religion. I think we should have a religion also here on Maori. Uh, but he's not picking it. He's just keeping it there. He's just keeping the Great Prophet uh, on that tile. Maybe he does want to... No, that's too, wait. too long to wait. Uh, I guess uh, he's going to get it this time. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, there's a level 2. Also, Occitao here next to the city of uh, Tehonianga, Nuya Kupe. While uh, Maori does have arches to uh, shoot at it, well, he does need another one to secure the kill there. Well, a throne coming up next turn from Flo Floppy. We do have uh, him also getting his uh, 6 city, 2 for 6 city. And I do notice he did start to upgrade a few immortals. These are very good units if you do get uh, them in numbers. Uh, and we do need to see when Gaul is going to get his um, men at arms if uh, he is actually going to want to go on the offensive or not. Looking at the goal part, and it's uh, quite a good situation on both teams. A little bit better on Lastic Company than on the Sharks. Since we do have uh, Josie here with 66 gold at 10 well on the other side malm is 78 and i guess uh, the biggest question who is people gonna attack with uh, the castle timing because he's getting very very close to it and uh, of course with uh, so many builders coming along with feudalism points he's gonna get a lot of chops into possible horses and uh, we're gonna need to see if he's gonna upgrade the courses get that um, extra diplomatic visibility from his um, general again uh, from his spy against his opponents or not I do notice uh, Xpli is uh, getting a few horses with a settler towards there, towards the northwest. Uh, but I, well, he's only on 27 science and 38 culture at the moment, and barely getting his engineering in four turns here with recorded history in one. Five turns Colosseum. We got boats uh, moving around, more campuses, a wave of campuses actually coming up from India. While over here, looks like Chuck built a wall of units of uh, swordsmen. And I do notice Floppy is putting a few of those horses to scout out what's going on. While he's going to get an army of builders with feudalism bonuses. He's uh, also going to need to... Ooh! Okay, he got 7 city. He got 7 city, actually. That's going to be one more city than the goal has. 2, 4, 6. Yeah, one more city than the goal has. Uh, there are a few units here from Chuck as well on Ratumakos. Uh, Chuck uh, has the opportunity to uh, do some... Uh, damage over here against la rochelle we'll see we'll see if uh, that is gonna happen or not uh, looking at the general side we do have france on four great general points india is on zero goal is on one Persia is on one we're gonna ask on one and that's about it i would imagine people here put the card for the generals no he's actually four to ten like here right now he has only wait a second he has uh, three of these with our oh, i see he had actually two barracks built already he has uh, one here and one here and he's getting the third one in the city of paris okay okay well he's gonna be six points uh per turn not bad yeah continent split is this 
So France doesn't really have anywhere to go other than just defend himself on his own continent if he wants to use the guard imperials. But if he does want to go on the offense, well, I guess he can get any one of these nations to attack. Basically, it's just a matter of uh, who is gonna make the who is uh, he gonna choose to go against. One tile to the side, and it's another continent. Yes, basically, basically. Uh, well, if one person puts a hundred thousand points, where there was somebody that actually dropped a hundred thousand points on this, oh, we got a big fan, big fan, big trust over here for uh, D Shark. Big, 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 big. Okay, let's see if uh, we're gonna have Floppy here getting his general. Looks like he's gonna finish escorting that settler towards the north of his capital. And yes, the builders are still coming out of his city. He's getting these uh, immortals out also, moving towards the east side. And still doesn't have crossbows or a better unit. We do have uh, people right now getting apprenticeship while Floppy is uh, getting his castles in seven turns. The people did boost that for him. We do have uh, feudalism finishing up also for um, people here next time. For Floppy next time. I don't know why I keep saying uh, Nader and people the same in the same sentence i'm sorry we got uh, 26 science and 46 culture from floppy while check is on 30 and 42 doesn't seem to be that big of a difference uh, between them the goal per 10 is definitely much better on uh, nader shaft 50 at 10 versus chucks 18 with about the same size military I could actually argue that uh, Goal has more military when it comes to stronger units, right? 347, 257, yeah, he has about 90 points over. Now, we do have him with uh, quite a few swordsmen and a general being deployed towards the city of La Rochelle. I do have to say this is a one-tile choke. If he actually wants to attack La Rochelle, it's going to be from that one single tile and that's it. And uh, unless uh, we're going to see France chop that rainforest, he's not going to get to use the stone tile to attack into La Rochelle. Uh, Steph, hello there, sir, and welcome. Uh, drink water. Oh my god, I wait. My water is. Give me a second. I need to drink water, but I don't have a cup. Oh my god, yes. I know I dropped the bottle. It is what it is. I had a bottle next to my feet and just went all over the place over here. Yeah, that's what happens when you're uh, focused on too many things. Uh, stream on gone. Quick break. The game. Yeah. Jam it. Jam the game. I mean, we need to find out from La Confiture Tirel how do they jam the game like that. That's a uh, proper jamming. Yeah, although if it comes to a late game push, he might always settle a few cities next to his allies just for luxes. Yeah, true. I mean, late game uh, Aztec, I'm pretty sure he will get uh, multiple continents worth of amenities. It's just a matter of uh, distance, right, to get. Uh, Fez has been taken down. Man is going to benefit from another city here. He's right now on two, four, six, eight, nine cities. And he opened up the connections on the coast with Aztec so he can trade with him. Uh, Colosseum finishing up next turn. I don't see actually an easy choice for him <laughs> yeah but i do notice apology is gonna get a significant amount of uh, science boost over here from his uh, campuses yes yeah, so one two three of them coming out in the span of two turns <clears throat> not very good ones are they it's just this is a plus two uh calcutta is gonna get a plus three okay that's good uh jabalpur it's a plus two uh, that could turn into a plus four where he's gonna get a holy side next to it i would imagine uh, plus three sorry plus three not plus four okay now and i do see uh, pyramids is coming out from agra in 10 turns wasn't somebody else building it no not here D didn't somebody else oh it was on the previous map right we had somebody with a like random uh, wasn't it kree with a random pyramid tile you know, great path also coming out from people getting his uh, terracotta army in five he's um, synchronizing as much as possible getting uh, the spy and terracotta at the same time well he already got did he get no he didn't get castles check this out he's getting uh, his pre-builds right now a lot of them like with uh, two horses one more archer coming around from la rochelle he sees the swordsman and he sent uh, he deployed one of his horses over there i'm pretty sure he's just gonna put it on the 2-2 base style and that's it forget about it which to be honest i think he should set up a trap like try to get the horse on the on the um, campus style so he doesn't let it get pillaged and actually let the unit get onto the 2-2 base so he can shoot it with archers 
Free experience is free experience, bro. I mean, there's not nothing that that unit can do against the city center, right? It's gonna take like forever to actually breach the city center with that damage. So you just keep peppering it. Nom 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 nom. Every ten more experience, plus two, plus three, plus four experience. Dun, 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 dun. And that's it. You know, like you get plus four uh, ranger immediately. Or I should say, plus four um, ranged unit immediately. Well, we do have uh, Floppy here getting uh, multiple commercials out and I do still see that he didn't manage to recruit, uh, get enough points for the general. He is uh, 13 out of 75 points and making only one great person point at 10, one great general point at 10. That is very low, very low. Um, <clears throat> nothing really happening from apology. We didn't really have a, this as an invasion. We he just put some horses to uh, try to stop any kind of Mapuche attack or get a heads up over here. It doesn't seem like apology at the moment is interested in getting his manors to do anything. We do have him opening up uh, great merchants, and I do I did see Coleus there. While uh, in the engineer screen, Gold did manage to pick up the first one. Uh, we do have Mapuche, Zankian, we did uh, see it earlier, and that's it, actually. Uh, Pierre or the Bard is going to be the next merchant, and we do need to see... Well, I guess somebody um, pass it. I think Kree is going to get to pass it, right, next time? It is what it is. Uh, I would love a military science rush, but not a guard push instead of uh, tunnels with a uh, calf in all directions. Oh my god, yes. Just, just get 30 calves and just run, uh, run around the map, no? Uh, Persia had the pyramid last game. Okay, Persia had the pyramid last game. Yes. Okay. So not three, Persia. Okay, okay, okay. Random pyramid tile it is. Okay, we do have uh, quite a bit more science coming up from Man 43 right now with 64 culture. Looks like um, Josie still is above him on 69 culture with a bit more science with so many cities. I'm pretty sure we're going to see a Maori here switch towards uh, one of those uh, free inquiry golden ages in the next one. He's trying to get the great library in Opango and uh, finishing up his temples in Kayapoi. He did get the religion and it will be Zen meditation and holy order. Okay, well, I guess he is going to get that uh, spread into... Uh, um, into his ally soon we do need him uh, buying out quite a few missionaries and apostles and that's exactly what he's doing first converting his cities and then sending them probably on the way towards uh, india wait the religious spread is not spreading that far right is there a chance to passively spread the religion on this side of the coast is there a chance chat is there a chance to get here Also, MS Doll, hello there, sir, and welcome. Why do you say uh, Casimir Miller ruined the odds, D. Beasley? What's going on there? Uh, looking at the fight on the city state screen, we do have Chuck uh, keeping Geneva. Looks like uh, Nalanda and Mitla are not uh, yet contested, while I do notice. Actually, only one other city is contested. It's outside. It's being kept by people over here on uh, Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen. Uh, we do need to see how quickly he's actually going to manage to get everything going because this is a point of no return here. He's getting his terracotta. He will get his. Uh, he will need castles right uh, before terracotta. So I would imagine he's either going to delay castles or he's going to delay terracotta. He can't do both, right? So we do need to see what's going to happen here. Horses getting out uh, so he can uh, defend that northwestern choke of a lot of shell and he definitely doesn't want to give uh, goal the experience on his uh, archers so uh, that uh, slinger can actually upgrade into a um, crossbow and keep on shooting if he wanted to move it on this 2-2 uh, base style and what we do have um yeah people also grading printing in five turns and his army of builder just is chopping everything he can all around uh, we do have an army of uh, spearmen coming around from uh, multiple Aztec cities and uh, from uh, um, Malm from the north. So they are putting uh, one of these spearmen on every tile so they can block those uh, Malm raiders. They're creating... Look at this fence. I, I, I can't even call it. This is like a unit fence 
against the man or, uh, against the courser sorry from uh, not man or it was against courses from france he has um one two three four five six seven eight uh, okay combined eight right now spearmen all around and uh, they did manage to close up the chokes uh, towards um, mapuche also i do see he has uh, two of these horses uh, next to willy mapu and uh, mamul mapu also has uh, quite a few units here not really uh, where france would want to stick his uh, units anyway it is what it is Uh, no way you can see no religious pressure yeah yeah i know i know i saw it is what it is it is unfortunate there's no uh no pressure no pressure maybe when uh, everything is getting bigger you know you never know maybe the religious pressure swims it is what it is anyway now looking at the era score here because we're not that far away from getting a golden age four more turns for this to take in um, for them to affect this we do have uh, ldk with 49 points out of 57 just needs eight more points to get their ldk here with uh, montezuma getting those spearmen out to defend against a possible courser attack from uh, france we do have him also getting a wave of uh, campuses and whatever happens is probably gonna still gonna be slowed down by france here being next to him we do have him with uh, 64 signs 59 culture at the moment 47 gold at 10 and he just popped over 100 production he's managing to get um, the trader admiral not bad an extra trade out all is good that's also puts him at 50 out of 57 points now looking at x play we do need to see six more points uh, for him six more error score points and he has in camon put down doesn't seem like he's gonna get them well he did uh, choose to go for parks here liang parks and i do notice he's putting down uh, quite a few good com uh, campuses that's gonna be a plus five here and gulumapu did uh, not go for a campus wait did not go for a campus it's just commercial and uh government plaza that's it now he's getting some uh, granaries and he never actually wait a second you see yeah he's probably using this he just started using the food so he can grow his um, city center faster he definitely needs a lot of food there that's it he's just not growing man anyway now we do have uh, f b b b b malm over here with um, 64 out of 58 points he's securing his golden age and also getting his uh, production capabilities higher um, industrial zones coming in wait do i see this correctly did he put his industrial zone from pito kahana piwin here okay that's a plus four not bad so when he's gonna need to put one from mixive watching is he just gonna give up on the rice tiles and the wheat tiles i guess so right he doesn't really have anywhere else well i guess he could get a mining triangle on the east directly over here like actually it's four tiles of uh, farms farm thing yeah farm thing anyway uh we do have uh chuck 38 science 45 culture moving in for the kill persia is taking damage we do have uh, all of those men at times of chuck uh, going in towards the persian territory in camon training projects in four turns here from floppy and we'll need to scramble to get stronger units but it looks like the gallic units are oh my god overwhelming the immortals floppy is gonna need help serious help here even if he does have 35 cents with 40 uh, 49 culture it doesn't seem like his units are gonna be tough enough to to, uh, withstand the damage of all of these uh, check-in units now we do have uh, him also lacking a general for the extra plus five while he still needs at least one of these um to go uh, one of the th things that is missing here but check is gonna get is um, archers or crossbows or something like a unit from a ranged unit to keep on pressuring his opponent from afar but oh well don't get me wrong he's still gonna get in by the looks of it and these archers of floppy are barely scratching the men at arms the king of the bonus threat the military alliance the combat from a general the oligarchy bonus makes this these units one shot immortals 74 strength men at arms one shining immortals well that's also with a plus uh, seven battle cry promotion don't get me wrong but that's insane that's musket men strength over here that's insane amazing amazing well we do have a lot of gold being uh, put in uh, floppy he's going to need to start defending himself uh, a lot better and yes i guess uh, we're gonna see a wave of a lot of immortals coming out soon he's uh, gonna get his castles next turn and the courses are also gonna get uh, upgraded they should have the gold if they need me 
Pipo is also a negative gold. Wait, I just noticed he got his full upgrades going against his opponent. Who is going to be his opponent, though? Who's going to be on the receiving end of all of this? Uh, France getting another intelligence agency. He got a level 2 spy. He's not sh showing up anywhere, though. I'm pretty sure with the level 2 spy, France can actually uh, take out Aztec, Spearman, and even Pikeman with his Corsairs. Uh, where is, uh, where is um, LDK? 110 away from Pikeman. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Surprise, yeah. Well, we do have uh, commercials uh, or a, bit, a bigger economy coming up on India. It looks like uh, France is not going to waste any time and push in. He does have uh, the moment only plus three uh, Intel on opponent's uh, movements. And of course, the spies are going to need to get uh, plugged in. He does have the level two just standing around the city of Pari. Uh, Josie did get his golden age. Pipo is uh, getting his golden age. Floppy is going to be eight points out from getting a golden age. And Apology is uh, going to get his golden age. <clears throat> Okay, we can see the damage on the Pikeman. Pikeman right now are 67. The courses are 57 and that's uh, damaged. Let's see, not damaged. 61 versus 67. Six points uh, difference between them. With um, the extra plus six that people's going to get. Well, that's going to be more damage or equal damage against the Pikeman. Woo woo. Woo woo. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we're going to need to see that spy uh, arrive in his opponent's cities. He's getting another spy here from Pani. And uh, wasn't he building an intelligence agency? Did he finish it? Well, I thought it's like two turns out. Maybe he chopped it or something. Because I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, well. Uh, let's see over here what's going on. Looks like Gold did manage to get uh, another wave of tiles. Uh, first of all, he couldn't actually push through the tiles of uh, Tarsus, uh, this uh, Corsair got to replace the banged up Immortal, which is going to need to take a position to keep on shooting against the Men at Arms uh, with his rain shots. While I'm pretty sure uh, Floppy just upgraded his Corsairs, he also need to get, needs to get them in a line, in a defensive line. If he does start to defend behind the forest, uh, this is going to be quite painful for Chuck to get the ranged units on those tiles to shoot. So I guess we're going to need to see what's going to happen here. But it does look like at the moment we might actually have uh, Chuck stagnate in this attack against Floppy. And Floppy definitely putting a stop on. And we're going to need to see if he's going to be fully successful here to uh, push him back or not. Those are quite strong units to deal with. These men at arms. Very strong units to deal with. Yeah, when is he getting crossbows? Uh, Floppy gonna get sailing, not crossbows. So I guess he does want a boat or something. Doesn't he have... Oh, he doesn't have a golden age. So they will probably buy him a boat this turn. That's the... Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, he just needs one point. He just needs one point. And I did manage to take out the uh, course, uh, one of these uh, at arms down. And I do notice he's upgrading more of his immortals. And uh, getting walls up next turn. It doesn't seem like uh, Chuck will manage to take down that Hammond before that happens. With uh, General Ethelfred also appearing here. He's going to get the bonus points on the courses, the extra movement and the extra damage. Making them uh, quite valuable. Uh, let's see here right let's see what's going on here we got france going against the pikeman of creed with more damage 64 against 61 wait there is a level 2 spy so i guess uh, france found his uh target it's not aztec it's not ldk it is actually Cree. And it doesn't seem like Kree at the moment is going to withstand this. Well, there is a plus 9 Intel on opponent's movement damage here. And we do have some of the French Corsairs uh, getting that general bonus. Some of them not because they're much faster than the general can move. Uh, Burika is only 4 movement points while uh, the Corsairs are 5 and 6 in the in the adjacency of uh, the general. Oh, he's just casually taking down an encampment here from uh, Xplay. I mean, I guess why not? 
Uh, after Colosseum did finish on India, we did have him jump up quite a bit in the culture. 66 science and 92 culture at the moment before the next golden age. He's also 95 uh, faith at 10 and getting 142 production to work for him. Only 20 gold at 10 though. This is not that good of an economy. Did manage to finish the pyramids in Agra. Did get commercials uh, out from multiple cities, putting down harbors on the east. And uh, probably will need to get to uh, cartography so he can uh, trade with, and of course, first of all, breach the fog of war second of all trade with maori on the other side getting a few more theater squares for a good measure if um, Bipo is successful in keeping as much as possible aztec and uh Cree down low i'm pretty sure uh, india later on in the game will come and clean up yeah we do have him with uh well not the best science in the game at the moment it's uh, ldk actually with 84 okay who did manage to get hypatia who did manage to get something we got uh hypatia on maori okay we got uh, also gold managing to get emotep and i did notice uh, marco polo did get uh, picked up by Cree. Uh, that's all good from france where like only man uh, matches cooper right now yeah yeah well, let's see how he's going to choose to breach this. Wait, he has plus 12 on Malm. Wait, Malm doesn't have printing? Oh my god, Malm doesn't have printing. Oh my god, this is not a good time to not have printing. Uh-oh. Well, that's going to be a few turns. He's just getting machinery into. And by the looks of it, these uh, coursers are definitely strong enough to punch through uh, the pikemen. Can he take down two of them? I think he can. No. There's not enough movement on the last one, though. What is it? No, it's not. It's not getting there. This one is not getting there either. Hmm. Anyway, it looks like Bam is uh, adding a lot more science and uh, quite a bit more production to his empire. 217 points of production with 100 science. The first one to get over 100 science mark and 110 gold at 10. Still not matching the gold that Josie is making. And since uh, we are one turn away from the next uh, World Congress, we can see that um, Chuck, for example, did not get a golden age. He went normal age. He's trying to take out the city of Tushpa, being very mad that he lost the city at the beginning, he, doing as much damage as he can against floppy flown g well we do have a courser in there and of course uh, the city of tushpa is gonna take quite a few hits before these uh, many times are gonna run out of steam well we do need to see if uh, floppy is gonna have the production capabilities and also the strength to push back a uh, goal while well, i'm pretty sure check behind all of this is trying to uh, get better bigger sooner he did get a statue of Zeus also in Novio Doom. We're going to have a pause of two minutes during the World Congress uh, while we're going to need to give them the time to make their choices. We're going to talk about their choices right after the pause. Let me actually uh, get uh, over here on the same page as Leech. There we go. Preserve you, 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 you. Two minutes and we're coming back. Oh my god, I really hope, like, the cat is here and I really hope uh, she's actually gonna be uh, okay. As in, uh, not gonna start meowing and stuff like that because I'm gonna need to uh, start calming her down. But anyway, um, okay, let's see. France uh, getting in with the units into the borders of um, both Cree, and it looks like Aztec is trying to uh, get in there also. He lost one of his courses. We're gonna have a pause. Okay, I guess I got a 10 minute pause. Let me put it up on the screen. Uh, Okay, uh, they still have a promotion too. Yes, from Terracotta Army, which is amazing here on the courses. Okay, I'm gonna need to calm the little one down. She started meowing. What is the pause? There. There we go. Eight minutes. Let's put it up for eight minutes. Uh, this one. Okay.
Okay, I'm gonna keep the princess a little bit while we uh, talk here. I need to actually keep her uh, as, uh, how to say, as careful as possible. Unfortunately, she did break her leg um, a week and uh, something ago, like a few days ago. We have no idea how, and it is still a mystery, which we hope uh, we can avoid, we can find out and avoid next time. Because uh, uh, right now she has a hell of a problem. But anyway, it's gonna be another, wow, I think six weeks six weeks that she needs to actually uh, be in recovery and uh, we're trying to be as uh, careful as possible with her like uh, getting her down from sofas putting her on sofas uh, even like um, i'll say um, um, and getting her clean and stuff like that wait is that a random toa <laughs> it's a random toa going into the borders of uh, a purge over here i mean don't get me wrong this toa does apply a minus five uh, on the units around him so that's pretty good that's pretty good. She really wants uh, something to uh, someone uh, to be next to her whenever she's, of course, she's probably in quite a bit of pain right here. And she's much more calmer when somebody just uh, sits uh, next to her or she's uh, being kept in a lap or something, which I know I can't always do on the stream because I need to pay attention to what's going on, click buttons, move uh, my. Uh... Yes, 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 yes. Opa. Okay, I put her back in the other room. She... I hope she just wanted to come and inspect stuff because she has this. Uh, you uh, like she starts meowing at the door. She wants to see what's behind it, and you just uh, let her in a little bit, and she expects everything, and everything is fine. It gets her stamp of approval, and it, uh, she forgets about the room. Wow! If you don't do it, it just keeps meowing. Unbelievable. Extremely. Um... What do you call it? Hard-headed, I think it's called. Hard-headed. <laughs> anyway. Uh, does Elastic Company have a chance? I I think so. I think they do have a chance. I mean, we're going to need to see the play that Montezuma is going to do here in Lotaro. But at the same time, I do have to say, France is doing a major push here against Malm. And it is going to be a problem. Malm is going to slow down significantly. While um, Maori needs to get higher. You know, we do have him uh, jumping up to 112 signs. While Malm is on 105. And that is with a pen brush and voice. A second pen brush and voice for a Malm. Uh, while uh, Josie did switch to a free inquiry golden age this time around. Well, he's getting his Maris down. He's also getting Mahabori Temple and uh, did start to send the units towards the other side i'm pretty sure he's gonna start converting some of the indian cities to his uh, religion yeah there we go missionaries uh, starting to uh, finish converting his own cities here we got three minutes from the pause but it might uh, actually happen fa uh, faster i bet solely on odds from uh, for lse okay okay uh by the way guys did you see the new website that uh, man put out by on um, like civ bets did you see the civ bets website Still waiting for the pause to be over.
Okay, that's a team plus from both teams. I'm gonna turn off the countdown. I'm gonna need to uh, watch when the game actually starts. We should be starting in just a few seconds here. Yeah, there we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. Let's see what's gonna happen here with the courses already getting into the borders uh, from Malm. And Malm uh, taking so much damage with the plus 12 Intel on these uh, French units against uh, his uh, lonely pikemen. He's trying to bring some co uh, crossbows to bear, but I gotta say this will be weaker than actually the pikemen. Uh, significantly weaker than the pikemen. Maybe he gets them fast enough, but that's a problem. Uh, well, we do have uh, ancient walls coming up from multiple cities. Uh, these uh, mines will just feed more armies uh, for france or for his allies now uh, getting the pillages uh, is going to be quite important here i am finding it doubtful that he's going to take out cities especially with the uh, walls around them but i guess we're going to need to see how strong these courses will be against the city center when the walls go up and we can actually see it with the unit inside now we do have uh, also a bit of trouble for Mapuche while uh, he is getting a few more horses. He's getting pushed on the city of uh, Piwen Mapu where he does only have a galley inside of it. He's gonna get a horse there and I do notice of course uh, India doesn't have that many units to wrap around the city but this is just a push to keep uh, Mapuche on his toes and I don't really see new units coming up from India. Still Grandmaster Chapel needs to finish in two turns for uh, him and he's gonna get to uh, start buying units here from uh, Mysore Madurai to put them on the southwest and coast well let's see what happened here we did have city centers 100 production towards districts okay uh, faster wars i guess so we do have montezuma trade routes uh, sent to the chosen player minus four that's a lot of gold problems on uh, last day company and uh, gaining two deeper victory points on montezuma well i guess he's not gonna get that many victory points throughout the game uh, another unit down for Beepo. He's gonna lose uh, at least uh, two more uh, pikemen by the end of this turn. Just lost another one, uh, and I do notice uh, the moment actually. Beepo, wait, is he gonna lose? Uh, yeah, he can attack this one. Yeah, there we go. He can do this. Bam, slam, wham, bam, slam on this uh, lonely pikeman getting those uh, courses in to pillage the mines and of course uh, relieve malm of all of those riches now he is gonna try to get closer to Moscow too and it looks like the courses will have 63 damage uh, going against that city center it's not bad damage and uh, ooh, that city is gonna get ancient walls next and putting it uh, much harder making it much harder to actually punch through uh, well, let's see the Golden Ages from the left to the right. LDK, Penbrush and Voice Golden Age in the second one. We do have him uh, getting a few more libraries and uh, yes, deploying uh, significant pikemen support here against, uh, against the armies of France. But he can't deal the damage properly against France. Uh, plus luxury attack bonus is going to help him out quite a bit and I do notice these pikemen uh, can do 75 against the Corsa 74 but still needs to tone down that uh, extra damage from... Uh, I would say uh, from the Diplo visibility, France actually has uh, plus nine over Aztec. That means uh, Aztec is missing a spy and is missing printing. Wait, really? Or he's just missing a spy? No, he's missing printing too. I don't think. Wait a second. X please on. Uh, oh, sorry, LDK. Yeah, he's missing printing too. Okay. It is what it is. Uh, we do have XP also with a pen brush and voice golden age, 77 science and 67 culture with uh, 32 gold a turn, not that many funds and of course uh, his Malo Raiders pre-builds, the horsemen, are uh, deployed to the northwest and to the northeast. Might have a few of them that could go uh, towards the city of Calais uh, from Mawul Mapu but it doesn't look like he's gonna have a whole army nor do I think he will have um, enough gold for everything. Well by the looks of it they have around uh, 260 gold per turn, that's definitely not bad. With, with the amount of gold that France is going to make going against these um, these styles of uh, Cree, and well, this is going to be a different matter altogether. You now we do have uh, also Malm with 113 science, 91 culture. They choose to go for Pembrush and Voice, and he's getting pillaged in multiple cities. Uh, by the looks of it, France it just keeps on going with the Corsairs, and uh, whoa, he just lost one to just walls and a crossbow. Uh, that was uh, a hit from a pikeman here from LDK dealing the initial damage. Well, I guess uh, people is just going to make use of those uh, promotions and keep on going to see what's going on here. What can he do, and how much damage is he going to do on Malm? How much of a slow down how much of a pain is he gonna be you know we did have uh, the courser 
here um, between the mountains between montezuma and aztec being taken and uh, montezuma and um, lotaro being taken down i do see a uh, chuck on the other side is uh Still having an army, but he can't push anymore into these men at arms from uh, Persia. He couldn't actually take uh, Tushpa down. And now we know why uh, we never actually saw Floppy put a city on the river here. Not only it wasn't that easy to uh, make it work, but he didn't uh, have that much of a defense for it. And the, right now, he is amassing an army. Floppy only on four, 79 science and 46 culture next to Chucks 57, 52. It does seem like, uh, well, he has an advantage right now with his uh, golden age. Let's see if he's going to secure a significant advantage against Chuck. Uh, Chuck doesn't have an economy to speak of. Only two gold at 10, but he does have 151 production. Getting his uh, foreign ministry and uh, getting uh, another wave of settlers here okay looking at josie 171 science with 72 culture you can imagine uh, that it puts the fear of god in his opponents getting multiple libraries uh, out and the uh, universities from his campuses he is starting to get that extra culture from his um, theater squares plus the mares inside of them his unique building replacing the amphitheater and giving him the extra faith and culture on each of these uh, tiles unimproved tiles in the city center um we do have him finished uh great library here from the city of Otango and by the looks of it he's uh, getting his production capabilities ready with aqueducts and uh, some more industrial zones while I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to discover there we go shipyards mass production in two turns coming out okay let's see what's going on here oh he's getting into the meat into the traders people oh my god these traders are gonna be so valuable we can actually watch the gold of man go down if uh, he's gonna lose his uh, traders but no, he lost his aqueduct here. Okay, he lost. Uh, he's probably gonna lose his commercials. What's that? What's that pillaged? Entertainment complex got pillaged. Another commercial probably. Yeah, the market and the commercial got pillaged. Oof, that's like five gold pillages here for France. That's a lot of pillages. Ooh. Thou Casey shall be lifted. Primer. Clifton thirty four. Cliftons, thank you so much for uh, the prime, sir. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Yeah, we do have uh, people also with drums of war and uh, plant, oh, well, drums of war, golden age, 77 science, 51 culture. Uh, still uh, attacking his opponent and putting the pressure on uh, the north on Cree. A little pressure on Aztec. I wouldn't really call it a lot of pressure. But he, Cree, uh, Aztec is definitely deploying his units to try to help out. Um, Cree get away and get these courses out of his territory while uh, Cree did manage to get his printing now he toned down the damage of these um, French courses to uh, well only 70 and yes I know I said that only 70 um Floppy Flongi, Frinkuri Golden Age, 91 Science, 48 Culture, and uh, yes, he does have two, four, six, seven cities with Pingala establishing in Gordian. He's gonna get uh, significantly more science soon. Uh, we do need to see what is he gonna use that science, and of course, how is he gonna try to uh, balance out his uh, empire. By the looks of it, he's going for quite a bit of gold. He does have 115 gold at 10, while Josie is on 292. That is a lot of gold per 10 available for the Sharks to uh, make use of, not to mention the pillages that people did. Does amount to thousands of gold points at this point in time uh we do have people also trying to get around these uh creep pikemen trying to uh, get around them so he can pillage more mines uh, to maybe even do the damage against the city center or two these courses are quite quick on their feet and if they do manage to get uh, next to a city center i'm pretty sure it is gonna go down quickly now we do have also um, apology with 106 science and 107 culture slowly getting up in both aspects of the game uh, getting his kill back in eight turns and i do notice he's getting more harbors out in the south for the trade routes and the gold we got mumbai there seven turns uh, to get the campus and uh, well at the moment he did not get converted by maori but he's not far away from doing so okay let's see people get out of this people we gotta move the courses okay two uh, more tiles got pillaged three more tiles got pillaged okay looks like uh, another courser got taken down and uh, people is running out of units to use but he forced man to do so many units here well now we do have uh, quite a few universities helping out man uh, keep up with uh, his uh, science per turn and it's not like we ha do have uh, france with a lot of units here left he's uh, gonna get uh, pushed back by the manual raiders of um 
Lotaro, but I do see courses coming around to try to stop this from happening. They're not going to stop the Manor Raiders for pledging the first mine, though. That is unstoppable. There are a few courses deployed to the south, so they can stop any kind of push from uh, XP also there in the south. We did mention it might happen from there. Anyway, uh, Apology. Let's come back to Apology. Uh, getting his campus research projects. We probably will see Newton coming up soon. Yeah, there we go. In uh, just a few turns, we're going to see it be, be, being picked up. And uh, I do see Gandhi is only making 10 great scientist points at 10, and he still needs 130 to get it. 133, actually. That's a long time. Oh, whoa, Chingweti has been defeated. Where was Chingweti and why was it defeated? Hmm, do we know? Yeah, there we go. It was the goal that uh, took it with a uh, few units from Malm. Okay. Apology did manage to get a healthy amount of gold per turn, not to mention 100 faith a turn. He, uh, he did manage to push Mapuche and force him to upgrade some units in the northeast as well. And now uh, looks like he's uh, getting knights out. Wait, did he, where did he get a knight out? Oh, he did upgrade one in Agra? Interesting. Is he gonna try to kill Mogadishu? By the positioning of these units, he might actually want to try to kill Mogadishu. That's the only thing that he can do there with the knights. Or is he fearing a disembarkment attack from Aztec? I mean, Aztec did deploy so many units here to defend himself. I don't think he had enough production to do anything else, to, to be fair. Wait, can uh, people actually double slam PVC Vavasis next turn? He should be able to, right? Two, four, and another attack. That's two, three, and another attack. He might even get a third one there. No, one, two. Uh, yeah, he might have actually get this one. No, wrong way. Oh man, maybe he doesn't see this to the north. Yeah, he just spotted BBC Vavasis, and now he knows. Now he knows. Yeah, there we go. Well, that city might get uh, walls up, might not. We'll, we'll see. But he definitely could have used the, the three courses to attack into it and maybe even take it down. That is the condition on the water of Kree. And that would have been extremely valuable to actually get rid of. Later on, not right now, later on. Because, well, right now it doesn't look like anybody's trading on the, on the coast. I do have to say here, even if... Um, Aztec did put that city in the south, unfortunately, because he didn't put it on the sheep tiles. There aren't that many water tiles that those uh, trade routes are going to pass through. And uh, looking at the gold situation, it definitely feels like the Sharks are way ahead of their opponents with NDK making only 100 points, XP is on 36 and Malm is on 74. Uh, Krieg GPD dropped from 130 to 80. Yeah, there we go. And now he's down to 74 and keeps on dropping. Yeah, that's a, that is a problem. While on the other side, the Sharks are actually getting more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, France was kind of dead at spawn, so making it hard for the last state company was the best choice. I totally agree. I totally agree, yes. Okay, intelligence agency coming up also next turn for uh, XP. We do need to see how uh, and what Mapuche is going to do next. He did manage to get to 90 science and 82 culture. Not very good stats at this point in time, especially since um, um, we do have both Apology and Josie starting to get uh, very, very good numbers here. 230 on one side, 151 on the other side. Uh, Maori can still settle quite a few cities in between the mountains to the southeast, but of course he does want to keep on the coast and get his production capabilities up as quickly as possible. The shipyards have been discovered and we will see them built very, very quickly here. Getting those um, double points from the shipyards and uh, the production and of course the gold and the science at the same time does make it for an extremely valuable double harbor card. Yeah, we do have him putting down a few of these uh, industrial zones. That's going to be a plus three here. Well, it's going to be a plus four when he's going to find out about the coal, but not right now. And I do notice Mapuche's uh, Malon Raiders are not going to get the return on investment. I don't think he actually managed to pillage a single tile. Wait, is this city going to be taken down? No. Actually, wait, people, you have a promotion, sir. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he's not going to tap the city. Doesn't trust, doesn't trust. Is Nalanda a pocket CS? No. XP has it. Uh, Mitra did get taken over by Malm. There's a fight for Geneva. It looks like Apology and Chak are both fighting for supremacy here in Geneva. And I do see both of them putting um, Amani in 
Apology is gonna get it way later than Chuck though. Two turns later than Chuck. So Chuck is gonna get uh, the initial one. He's gonna boot out our money from there. Unless uh, we're gonna see India managing to get um, a few more points in there. Uh, Chuck is only on 60 culture. We do have Apology basically double those numbers. While I do notice him uh, getting his campus research projects. Uh, they definitely they definitely put a lot of importance on Isaac Newton. Well, we did have uh, Hildegard of Bingen also acquired here by India. And I do want to remind you that uh, we do have India with... Um, Quite a good holy sites here. Wait, he lost them. Kek, he chopped everything, guys. Never mind. He had, I wanted to remind that he has sacred path and he should have good campuses. Good holy sites, sorry, it's good holy sites. Well, he chopped everything. Oh, there is nothing left, guys. There is nothing left. I guess it is what it is. This is how it's uh, efficient, no? Did India convert any other cities? Let's see. No, but he's getting one science from this city, one science from this city, uh, no science from this one, one science from this one. Look at that, three science points. And then uh, one science from this one. No, not no zero science from that one. Sorry, no science from this one. Didn't get as far as these, no? Yeah, but he's getting there. He's getting there. Look at that. He's uh, spreading them everywhere. Yeah, getting that science uh, from his allies, uh, from his opponents. Very nice. He's also going to get the meditation here from uh, Maori. And he's uh, right now, I don't know exactly. How, oh, he's plus six. He's plus six already. I mean, no surprise. He has very good stats, man. Anyway, now let's see. Courses, courses, courses. Going towards Nalanda. They're going to keep on pillaging. Okay, not bad. Uh, France getting new units. And it looks like he blocked out uh, Malorators from doing any damage. One in the north uh, doesn't seem like he needed to spend that much time. West side didn't really care about goal attack. Gold did retreat from the borders of uh, Persia. Couldn't do anything anymore against them. And uh, I do notice that Persia is putting quite a few units towards the southeast. And uh, looks like he might be looking to breach this... Uh, against goal he doesn't have a military engineer so i was thinking maybe he wants to tunnel or something but he doesn't have a military engineer and that's still a one tile choke point that is going to be very tough to uh, go through especially since goal does have that um, defense the extra damage on the defense anyway um ba -ba 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 -ba. man did jump up to 208 points and we do have him successfully fending off attacks from his south so we do have him also working on a lot of campus research projects uh that will probably make him a competitive to get ip Khaldun. that is a scientist that you definitely want to actually stop your opponent from getting especially gandhi if gandhi gets uh, ip Khaldun, this is going to be massive and uh, this is exactly why he's getting his uh, campus research projects over here if he keeps up uh, his plan Plus six he's gonna get so many more bonuses right he gets it up to like what 20 percent i believe it should be um, a lot less lower but he's getting 20 Woo. okay uh more campus research projects also coming up from uh, goal and while i do notice uh, maori after he picked up Newton, he doesn't really care that much anymore. He still has quite a few miners to put down. And of course, finishing up his uh, shipyards from uh, all of his uh, harbors is going to significantly increase his production capabilities. Right now, on um, 287, he actually has only five more production uh, than Malm with uh, quite a bit more science and uh, definitely good enough uh, culture. Malm is not in a free inquiry. That is his science. Josie is. And we're going to need to see what's going to happen here at the end part of this um of this chapter uh nature is overestimated who needs trees when you can have barren wasteland Ooh. barren wasteland that doesn't sound good that really doesn't sound good oh we do have mapuja actually getting in with a few malo leaders against uh, india india did manage to get knights uh, right on time so he's gonna plug the chokes no problem uh, did they manage to pick up pick the next one up no okay what's that going on here we got Cree and india that are fighting for galileo looks like uh, they might be passing here mapuche is going to be the next one on the list i don't think they passed already i don't think they got to pass because it should have been cheaper than 155 points okay those were a lot of projects 
Uh, who was the other one making projects? Was it uh, not Maori, France, uh, India, and no, India, and India, and who was that one? Oh, Persia? No, Persia is not making any. Maori is not uh, making any, so only India wants to be competitive. Okay. And he's not making projects. He's not making any more projects. He's getting new campuses and by the looks of it, uh, more science with them. But uh, I guess uh, he's going to need a few more tests. He's feeling confident. There we go. He's passing. They're passing. 124 points now. Uh, Mapuche has will have the opportunity to uh, pick or pass here. We're going to need to see if he's going to spend those points to pass it. It's a disaster now. Uh, these two courses will pillage cap. Wait, these two coursers? No, they went. Uh, they went further. Yeah. Or uh, you're talking about other courses? You're, no, no. Okay, these are not going anywhere anyway. Uh, these are not going anywhere. France actually did rebuild his army, and he keeps on rebuilding. Okay, did we have? Oh, they picked it up. They picked it up, and it was Cree that did manage to get Ip Kaldun. Big, actually, big win over here for Man, and getting those. Um, uh, housing points, amenity points, and increasing the known happiness yields of uh, those uh, yields. That's going to be nice. But he doesn't have plus three anywhere. He's not getting anything from that uh, scientist. Well, at least not right now. It's going to need. Didn't he have? He had an entertainment complex here, right? So I guess he just got it for adjacency or something. It doesn't seem like uh, it gives him that many amenities or helps him out. Hmm. Oh, well, that's a lot of population on the, the man. You know, it is what it is. 12 pop cities, 13 pop cities are definitely going to hold you down when it comes to amenities. We do have a uh, goal getting a few new cities. Uh, it looks like he did actually uh, let the rainforest be between him and his opponent here in the choke point. While uh, Floppy did get uh, Ethel fled, I do see he did get an army of men at arms everywhere. Uh, getting also a spy out in four turns. While he is going to get a bit more science from his uh, libraries and universities, it will take him some time to uh, keep on building his advantages. Well, at the moment, Chuck is actually um, lagging behind. And in the stats but not in the production capabilities of his empire of course the opidums there are helping him out quite a bit and we do have uh, Josie also on uh, 242 uh, science while it looks like Malm at the moment we will still need a few more turns to get over 200 science uh, properly and they do see uh, Josie is managing to get more production than Malm and I do have to say LDK right now is not really able to scale and he's never going to be able to fully scale because of the lack of cities he's only on two four six cities you with a word nation you can't really scale with that amount but anyway I do see courses in the water and this is uh, probably his only play over here to try to go against uh, India and uh, try to take down some cities uh, while he's going to do the pillages we're going to need to see if LDK calves I would assume calves is going to be the answer here um whoa no it's not it's going for um He's going for cartography to get uh, the ocean ability to move the units through the ocean. I do have to say India is watching the coast where they could he could actually see units uh, disembark. Like here, like here, like here or northwards in the tundra. He, uh, in the tundra actually he doesn't have vision. But anyway he does have this one over here. It would be nice to see the sum of uh, food and production in each team. Yeah, I guess we can take a look. Like if you take a look at the yields tab here, you can actually do the math. Yeah, Joe and Thunder, good, evening, good day, sir. Hello. Hello. Well, we do have uh, RBCMs coming up in Calcutta, and uh, I do notice finally an encampment from uh, Jabalpur. Uh, we kill by is going to finish in three turns, and we do need to see if LDK is going to manage to push this. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still going to wait for the uh, calves. Calves do seem like it's, they're going to be a much better unit against a much higher strength opponent, right? We're going to see military science discovered by Apology. He is going to get the tank, get the upgrade for these courses into calves, and they're going to be definitely strong, more than strong enough against the Manor Raiders. Uh, Mitla has been uh, taken down. Where was Mitla? Where was the great city of Mitla? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, it's, it was here. France took it down. That means we do have uh, quite a bit of gold, uh, quite a bit of uh, science shaved off from uh, their opponents, from Last Day Company. 
Okay, yeah, 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 slowing them down. Uh, people is managing to get his caps, and these are going to be strong enough to attack their opponents. I don't think he has a general for them yet, though. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a general for them. And this is a massive gold investment that they're doing. I guess uh, we might see him actually uh, oof, do critical damage. We'll see. He's getting into... Oh my god, he's doing what uh, Mapuche tried to do to him. He got into the trader line of um, Mapuche and by the looks of it, thanks play, we'll lose uh, one, two, maybe three traders here. Not to mention uh, quite a few mines around that volcano. And of course, he's giving a few free med packs for this uh, courser to just keep on healing and keep on healing. It is what it is. How does the Gavron Plaza affect an encampment? No effect. Really no effect. Uh, Octaviani, uh, holy 20, 250 science on 1066. Yeah, bro. Uh, Josie over here is uh, quite big. His muscles are starting to come out of his um, arm, arms, you know. It is one of this. His t shirt you see it like in the Hulk. He's, you know, the, the pressure is starting to rip apart that uh, material there. Uh, it doesn't. Yes, the Beasley. Yes. Uh, Joanne Tender is saying that he's too lazy to do the math. Okay, I see. Well, 160 plus uh, 210 is 370. We do have, uh, what, man getting uh, 303. That's 673. And then we do have uh, Chuck on 217. That would put it uh, like... Uh, oh my god, I forgot what's the first one. Uh, 70, right? Uh, so that would put it Chuck 980 something. 89 or something. No, 90 actually. 990 production on the last thing company on the other side is significantly less actually significantly uh, actually is it 356 plus 239 it's 590 actually 90 more 94 and then we do have uh, people with 136 uh, 700 uh, I'm losing the numbers in my head 590 okay 760 uh, sorry 40 and then we do have a uh, floppy with 140 and it's gonna be uh, and it's not gonna be significantly higher it's only gonna be like a few tens of points dozens of points higher floppy is gonna put it at uh, 960 or 70 here it's fine this has like 900 it's more than 900 actually uh, shipyard coupe or auckland coupe it's shipyard coupe it's shipyard coupe all over the place and look at he's still getting them and now he's getting his coal power plants this uh, this production is just the, the beginning i would imagine he's gonna jump up to 600 700 quite easily uh this production is higher okay well it's uh, higher on a few ones remember malm is 321 just as Josie is 358 Okay, this one uh, keeps on pillaging the mines, getting the gold, and of course he's getting the upgrades with the gold. People is going to get this next wave of attack soon against um, he, one of his opponents. We don't know yet uh, who is going to be his opponent. And uh, I do notice in the south, it doesn't seem like uh, XP is caring that much about this Corsair. Uh-oh, we got the calves coming in and the city of Hansa might be actually on the chopping block here. Hansa is the LDK cities, or of course Montezuma city here. Uh, we don't really have them one. <clears throat> we have them with a bit of a problem. Last Day Company doesn't really have a lot of gold per turn. They're barely on 250, 280 gold a turn. Wait, did half of the army of gold just die or reposition? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there were a lot more units here. Did they die to the crossbows? I think they died to the crossbows. Because look at look how much damage these crossbows do. They are basically like three shotting men at arms here. Oops. That's a problem. Uh, Josie and India has uh, 610 from the other two, uh, 900, uh, then 150 from the other two, 900. Well, yeah, but it's not only 100. There are a few more numbers there to add, but anyway, yes, we can, uh, if you want uh, to be sure, we can actually use a calculator and not to use our uh, minds. It is what it is. But to be honest, I did um, try in the last period to do these a uh, lot more in my head so I can uh, get some more experience. You know, it makes the, the more you put the brain to work, the easier it is to do the next one and so on. Okay, uh, two, 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 two. people going in. 
I do see a created match to get to, uh, to pack in shots. That's not really going to be helpful for France uh, to push in. Uh, that is uh, going to be a problem. Uh, we do have all of the army of uh, DK going on the coast towards Apology. All of those uh, courses with a settler trying to get in there. He's probably going to want to upgrade here on the coast uh, to um, get the caps going. He's want to annoy from getting military science, but he just didn't have the time to wait anymore. Apology is going to get metal casting in one turn. Nationalism, core ability also in two turns while um he is get benefiting from 100 faith per turn he does have 160 science 125 culture a lot more culture a lot more science soon coming up for him he's getting his production capabilities up and i do see this is an india that is going to try to get uh, to stomp the map here if he's putting so many um, encampments down he's definitely going to be looking for a fight later on down the road he does have a much better sim than ldk much uh, okay ish economy much better production capabilities and uh, it doesn't look like XP at the moment is gonna be uh, able to withstand him either we do need to see how much damage people is gonna do here against uh, Mapuche I do notice the calves will get to triple hit the manual reader is probably take it down LC is there but that's only wait that's a renaissance that doesn't give the bonus to calves right calves are uh, industrial if I remember correctly yeah, calves are uh, industrial alongside the cuirassiers. And we got Forbidden City coming up in Athens from Malm. He's getting the Angor Watt for an extra pop everywhere. And uh, by the looks of it, we do have uh, Persia managing to uh, pick out, pick off uh, Gallic units from across the map and from all over the map here. And uh, will probably start to push into the Gallic territory quite soon. He has a massive army to do so and probably going ballistics first. I would imagine he's going to want to get the upgrades uh, on these units. No, he's not. He's going scientific theory in four turns here. Wait a second. He's going AD crews and uh, other stuff uh, other messy stuff okay well it is one of this boys i assume naval domination isn't going to happen only uh yeah no no that's not gonna they're, they're not gonna they're actually allies here joint tender the ones that are on the eastern con um, oceans like on this one they're allies they're sending trade routes to each other they're sending missionaries they're converting their own cities yeah It's for the internals, you mean, on uh, Nader Shah? Okay. Wait, what bonus was he getting? The extra science he was getting at um, on the trade routes? He was getting from scientific theory? What is it? Two extra science points for per each trader? Well, he does have quite a few traders, so I would imagine that would be quite valuable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. More chinceries. Uh, Chuck uh, and Pikeman coming up from Aduatuka. He did manage to recruit the Isodor. I don't really see uh, people punching through Aztec and Kree defenses. But again, he forced his opponent to do so many units. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. He gonna get in through the water into a tunnel. Oh my god. He's actually gonna get through a one-tile tunnel here. Well, he's gonna get in Chuck's territory right behind all of this. Oh my god, he's gonna be knocking down that swordsman on his border and then he's gonna be knocking down the, the musket next turn and so on. Let's see. Let's see if the musket can actually plug that one one choke. I guess we'll see. We'll see next turn. <clears throat> oh, okay, kick W. Uh he doesn't see this, right? He doesn't see the cap there. Thou shall be knighted primer. Marty oh, Condi. thank you so much. Let's thank go. You so Thank you so much, sir. Let's go indeed. Good evening. We do have uh, to see at the end of the next turn, actually, what this military engineer will do. Or maybe at the first um, uh, beginning of the turn, we do have uh, people with the cap that can definitely uh, slam that swordsman last second of the turn here to uh, get the damage going on him. And uh, able to attack next turn with the double slam to take it down. Of course, Chuck is... Yeah, there we go. That's the move. Chuck is going to reposition and put a full strength swordsman over there so he can uh, keep up with uh, the defense. Yeah, I do see Chuck also getting a few pikemen down and i guess this is the issue is he gonna preemptively block this cattle tile or not i think this is the yeah there we go there we go he preemptively blocked it does make sense uh, we got uh, aztec discovered uh, getting discovered here looks like india is uh, sending those knights uh, 
on the shores to see if he's gonna get this embarked apology is gonna have vision and he's starting to buy out and upgrade the units in the city of agra so he has a defense against uh, that opponent there and there's so many coursers coming in he's gonna need to deny the settler this is gonna be this is such an investment for uh, uh, ldk that at the moment doesn't look like he's gonna come to fruition come to fruition as in he's gonna put down the settler upgrade the calves get into uh, the borders of india pillage all of those tiles and so on so much production so much gold needs to be spent way before uh, india can be hurt here i do notice josie is about to hit 300 science with uh, 96 culture he does have uh, 609 oh, wait no no that's not right 356 gold per 10 i mean it's fine guys he's doing you know a lot more 30 percent more than uh, all of the opponent team combined he's not double yet you know it's fine we still have some time it is what it is until he gets there uh <clears throat> we do have uh, over here also more universities coming up from apology to get those extra science points and anonymous gifter just walks in like that and drops five subs thank you so much anonymous gifter thank you sir Woo, remedy man 420 welcome back german scene 23 we got the uh, panseret uh, my russo and the hurricane h34 welcome size and welcome welcome thank you so much anonymous gifter starting off uh, the month right okay uh looks like uh, we do have floppy starting in Woo! 100 bitties thank you thank you sir maybe he just wanted to let ldk feel like he was helping <laughs> yeah yeah i guess so i guess so well i mean he needs to do something he definitely stopped the attack on france and uh, oh my god thank you so much sir we got a level two hype thing going on i love uh, i leave uh, for like uh, 20 minutes and cooper doubles in production science and gold how uh he's very big he's very big he's very big yeah let, let's go well we do have a uh, forbidden city coming up in six times here from malm and uh, looking at the west side here it doesn't seem like there are uh, that many units available for you know, persia to take down all of the gaelic defenses we do need to see if uh, he's gonna get that ballistic that is actually uh, quite necessary for him but now he's actually metal casting in one turn while uh, we did have people managing to get in with the mountain tunnel he's actually bypassing uh, the musket over there and will probably just ignore it he's uh, gonna get into the tiles of uh, gold and gonna start pillaging there are a few uh, finds over here that he could feast on also looking at the moves here it looks like uh, ldk is just sitting in the middle of the water are these like units stuck here are they locked or are they actually going to try to get in? Because they, they need like three turns to get on the shores. Whoa. Uh, you think it's broken? I mean, it did get uh, nerfed, right? Are you sure that Coupe isn't being played by Fish instead of Josie? Uh, Fish is the biggest, yeah. yeah. Uh, Francis cosplaying uh, Mapuche. <laughs> Yeah, Francis was playing Mapuche. I mean, France being France, you know, he's using his coarser timing just as Mapuche would use his um, uh, Malon timing. But he's managing to do so much damage against multiple civilizations. He's keeping Aztec in check. He's keeping Kree slowed down. He's keeping uh, Gaul slowed down. He's uh, putting Mapuche over here on his uh, back foot. I mean, there are so many problems here. Created by just one nation, by people. Uh, we do have a significant amount of science actually on uh, quite a few players of LSC. Um, well, people is lagging behind with only 86. Hmm. Maybe uh, they can do something about Chuck here. Uh, Chuck did manage to get quite a few cities, by the way. If he is left to develop, he's going to be uh, quite big. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 cities with uh, Chinguetti to the north. He does need to uh, defend himself from the attack of uh, Persia. And of course, we're going to see those crossbows um, trying to get in there and do the damage. Doesn't look like he's actually eating the um, health of these uh, musket men fast enough. Okay. We're also only four turns away from the next World Congress. And the next in World Con the next um, era will not have these uh, Golden Ages, or I should say uh, the Free Inquiry Golden Age or um, the Penbrush and Voice Golden Age. Octavian is already calling it out. The Shires have it in the bag. Yeah, maybe. Uh, your Shire uh, Gold Brit already calling out MVP people. Yeah, probably onto the cotton for the bonus. 
Okay, so we do have Apology getting his uh, field cannons, getting his Curaciers, and uh, by the looks of it, Aztec is two turns, no, one turn away from setting that city. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I mean, I think he got spotted. LDK, I think he got caught with his uh, hand in the cookie jar. It was there. And we do have uh, Pagodas in uh, two turns also coming up from Apology, wanting to get those extra influence points, not bad. Uh, we do uh, need to see here if he's going to manage to keep his science up, 189 science with 139 culture, while Josie is still on 300. Mount did jump up to 290. Uh, Mount still is not in a free inquiry. That is a pen brush and voice golden age with uh, 290 science. And that is a lot of science on Mount. That is big. That is very big. And it does look like Josie is going to drop uh, significantly in the science uh, because he did have the double harbors and uh, quite a few good harbors over here helping him out. He's also trying to get the Forbidden City in Nopango in four tens, which I'm pretty sure he's not going to get. Well, is he going to get? Wait a second. You see, he's not the first one, right? Josie, it's Malm above him. Malm is third slot, while uh, Josie is like seventh. Okay, Quira... Uh, Quirasier core available for India with a field cannon also next to it. It should actually... Uh, double tap that Corsair, right? Fear can attack uh, should take uh, the majority of the Corsair health down, and, or at least like half of it, 40%, and then the Quirasir core just finishes the job. Uh, he had one foot on the beach. Yeah. You can't really uh, disembark against that. Right? Yeah, you can't. You can't. Like the second you disembark, uh, that settler is dead. Okay, and ask where. And we have Josie, 10 points out from getting a third golden age. I do see Apology is uh, also 9 points away, but it doesn't look like he's going to make it. And also, I gotta say, LDK here is gonna try to disembark regardless of uh, what's going on. And uh, it looks like he's gonna put a city right in the face of his opponent without steel and getting his military science next turn. So he's gonna get a higher strength city here. But let's see if Apology, yeah, he's not getting in there to attack the city center. He is gonna do the damage against the Corsair, but not take down the city. Uh, well, not yet. Next turn is gonna be, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> It is what it is. He's going to get a few upgrades here. One, two, three, four, five. At least he got those, right? At least he got those. And these are still not going to be strong enough to uh, deal the necessary damage against the Indian troops. Uh, by the looks of it, uh, first of all, India will have his production uh, next to him and will be able to reinforce this uh, quite quickly. While we do have enough damage from the Squirasiers coupled with the field cannons to uh, deal a significant uh, to shave off significant health from these uh, calf cores. We do need to see how many units uh, we will have over here bought by Apology. Only 143 faith at them. That's not that big. It cost him like, what, 280 with uh, Theocracy to get one single cuirass here? Uh-uh. That's not, not that uh, cheap. Okay, looks like uh, calves from... France do have a bit of a problem against Gaul. Gaul definitely massive muscles here. He's uh, managing to uh, keep away these French camps from his territory. I don't think France has a spy on him. So uh, that's definitely less damage from France on those uh, units. I was uh, thinking, why is, he, why is this musket man so strong, man? That That's an 87 strength unit. 87 strength unit from uh, Gaul. Whoa. Uh, does India have GMC? Yes. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. We saw it building earlier. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, I didn't see exactly it built, but yeah, we did see him popping off some units. Yeah, there we go. It's here next to Delhi. Monkey was that also good evening, sir. Uh, one team has slot uh, 145 and 8, and the other team has 2, 3, 6, and 7. Yes. Also, as to give India a city, I mean, you know, that's a free city. It's all good. It's all fine. And that's uh, going to be taken down here. I do think India definitely needs a lot more of these uh, field cannons. The, well, I guess he's going to need more units overall, but the field cannons are quite important. 
without the field cannons he cannot uh, push back the Aztec units and I think there's gonna be quite a rude awakening here in the next um, part of the game where Malm is gonna keep that science and uh, Josie is gonna go significantly lower as, uh, that might be quite a bit of a change in the mindset of uh, D Shark. Well, looks like Apology is just gonna let that city flip. It's uh, flipping in five turns anyway. We do have a Frigate Armada getting onto the shorts, and it looks like uh, it can deal significant damage against the Cuirassiers of Apology. He's not gonna, he's not gonna wanna do anything about that. Uh, we do have him uh, needing to put more production in the queues, and he's definitely getting more science in the meantime. He's still trying to get bigger. While uh, France is still uh, wrecking ball here, he's forcing his opponents to use as much gold as they uh, produce. Now, while I do notice uh, Floppy Floji cannot push against goal, he tried, not for a lack of trying, he did try, but without field cannons, that's not happening. He did choose to go for uh, something else uh, before the field cannons, and right now he did manage to jump up to 191 science and 67 culture. Well, he's doing quite well compared to Chuck's 133 and 86. Uh, production, though, is not that good. And I gotta say, production capabilities here do look nice on the last day company, but when I see this Josie with 539, it feels like I need to uh, actually uh, take off my hat. Uh, we got Rural Valley also coming up in 5 turns from um, Josie. He's getting his uh, Potala Palace in 5. He did manage to get Mahabari Temple earlier, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna have a good timing for the civil engineering, so he can actually get the points for um, from Statue of Liberty. Wait, Forbidden City is going to finish here, no? Yeah, there we go. He just chopped it. He just chopped it. He didn't want to take the risk. He just chopped it. Uh, we do have Alhambra coming up in three turns. Uh, looks like uh, the French Corsair did actually come back from Nalanda from the north. And is pillaging uh, the cattle. Man, cool we called it. Look at that. Cool we called it. Um, people this game be like, I came in like a wrecking ball. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, quite a few Curassiers are uh, reaction here to what's going on. Aztec is uh, pushing in and he's actually doing a lot of damage against the Curassiers of India. It doesn't seem like India is uh, going to be fond of this. Oh my god, he's going to... The five turns to get the Curassier is not enough production. Even three turns is too much to get the Curassier. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. We got Apology here, getting another field cannon to bear, but that uh, is going to need to do the damage against Cav Course, and these Cav Course can two-tap the field cannons quite easily. They just need to get in there. We got Pike issues coming in, and we do need to check out their damage. Okay, they're stronger than the Cav Course, well, some Cav Course are fast tech, and not the full strength ones. And with only 148 faith a turn, he's not gonna have apology, he's not gonna have that much uh, to buy, that much faith in the bank to buy. Okay, France kinda ran out of pillages, he's retreating from the borders of Gaul, actually lost a few units there, he's fine, he got back uh, behind his mountains. Of course, uh, mountain tunnels do work both ways, and uh, that will give also Gaul the opportunity to go against this. And look at that, oh my god, people actually closed down his own tunnel with Chicken Itza, guys. He actually leveled his own tunnel with Chicken Itza. No, uh, Chicken Itza, wow, Machu Picchu, sorry, Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu! Oh, wow. Yeah, looks like France is trying to get another attack going against Creed this time around. He does have only plus six, but the calf cores are definitely stronger than the piking shots. And uh, this time around, Aztec units are still there, faster on their hoofs. Um, let me see. Just putting my uh, stuff in order here, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this, this, okay. There we go. Uh, they still have a, okay. 
Uh, YouTube has been a bit quieter over here with their uh, comments. I guess uh, we don't know exactly who's doing what in the game here. Uh, wait, you can do that? Yes. Yes, it's the only way, actually. The only way in the game that you can uh, kill one of these tunnels. Putting, um, putting Machu Picchu on it. Anyway, we're going to have a pause of uh, two minutes here. Let me actually vote on this and uh, we're going to come back after the pause. Wake up! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, we ten, ten. Uh, how to say? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh my God! If they actually uh, ask for a pause again, oops. I want to go in. It is what it is. Let me get some more coffee. I don't know coffee. Okay. Now let's see the moves in the next part of the game since we do have um, quite a bit of science on both on Malm, Chuck and Explay. Looks like Malm also dropped down um, quite a bit here. Uh, he to, uh, 268 while we do have Josie on 258. The difference between them is not that big right now. You know, while uh, we do need to see what's going to happen. Maybe he lost uh, the cards. Did he lose the cards? Oh, he did lose the cards. Yeah, there we go. He's going to come back to 300. I was wondering, like, how did he lose that much science? I'm pretty sure he wasn't in a free inquiry. Where was those, Where were those bonuses taken away? Uh, we did have anti calves getting plus 5 combat strength. Merchant Republic loses a wildcard policy slot. This is very bad for Malm. Uh, Coupe to deploy points. I say very bad for Malm because... Uh, wait, wasn't he... Did he switch? He's, he was in a monarchy and... Uh, so, no, no, it's fine. He's gonna stay in the monarchy. Okay, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I thought I was under the impression that he's already in um, Merchant Republic, but he wasn't, so it's all good. Wait, am I seeing this qu uh, correctly? People is my minus 119 gold a turn, but we do have enough gold from the others to just uh, totally fund this war. This, uh, this all in bullying from uh, France? I guess so. I guess it is what it is. LDK is um, on 190 science. He's uh, managing to put quite a bit of pressure here on India, and it does seem like he's going to get a significant amount of pillages with his uh, calves. There are multiple cuirassiers coming out from the cities of India, but it, by the looks of it, uh, is uh, well, we gotta we're gonna have a pause here. Okay, probably gonna be a two minute pause or something. Okay. Factories, workshops coming around from Mapuche. We do have uh, more builders from Mapuche to repair his territory, then, especially in the south. Uh, the end gonna get him an extra point. Uh, looks like XP keeps on trying to sim here. He did manage to get his uh, industrial zones down properly with his aqueducts by the looks of it, prioritizing the production over uh, much of everything else. While uh, France did put down a lot of uh, encampments and got uh, the buildings in them, not in all of them, but in the majority of them, he uh, would definitely need his military academies if he wants to keep on pumping out units. And he did not get there yet. We don't even have uh, armories from his uh, encampments yet. On the western side, looks like uh, Persia is retreating his units. Maybe we will see Floppy upgrading his units. Looks like uh, Nationals are coming up in two turns and he does have uh, line infantry as an upgrade. Or he, did he go for... Uh, wait, wait. He should have... Uh, not uh, line infantry. Uh, he should have infantry, no? He did go for... Um... Oh, he didn't go as far as repair some parts. He just stopped the scientific theory. Okay. You know, uh, he's going repair some parts. He's actually going to go infantry. He's gonna go infantry against um, Chuck. What is Chuck doing? Where is Chuck going? Shipbuilding? Okay. Well, I mean, that's far away on the top three. Does he have line infantry? Yes, he does have line infantry. Not infantry, line infantry. They're like one tech below.
Well, this is a longer pause uh, than I was expecting. Oh, well. I guess it is what it is. Holy Sai Prayer Projects in Tarsus. Uh, they're going to get another religion. I'm actually curious. Is that religion going to go on the other side? Maori did get Zen. They remain sacred place, uh, places with holy order. Aztec divine inspiration divine. Okay. And I do see uh, India did uh, finish up with pagodas. That, that was his third. I'm still very curious how much uh, science is he making from these cities. Okay, that's four. That's three. And uh, it looks like uh, we do have quite a few conversions. So, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Well, at least five signs that I can see. Are these cities converting also? No. This city is going to convert, but when it's going to get the population. Oh, it is already converted, but not three. Never mind. It uh, looks like the parking shots are definitely strong enough to hold the calves. It's uh, more a matter of uh, numbers here than anything else. And uh, since he's going to lose the city of Fatsa Kapotsalko to just uh, sheer loyalty, well, um, that's going to put a bit of a problem on him. He's going to need to retake it and uh, spend quite a bit of health to retake it from uh, the barbarians. The free cities. Why do they call them free cities? Uh, so when line infantry step out of line, they gain plus combat strength. Basically. Exactly, Alex Tufanzo. Basically. They're just not standing in the line anymore. Ooh, rule Valley finishing up uh, next turn. Leonardo da Vinci. No, no, no. It's not uh, the good one. Leonardo da Vinci is going to give him uh, the plus three on each of his workshops. And uh, wait a second. Who did manage to get mausoleum? Did we have any mausoleum enjoyer here? I don't see the extra faith... Uh culture and so on on the tiles so i don't think we have a colosseum um, mausoleum enjoyer do we that would have been amazing to have leonardo with um that but it's not there Uh, Cross-culture dialogue seems like a buzz, to be honest. I wouldn't call Five Science uh, enough to outmatch something like a Pilgrimage or a Tithe. Yes, that is true. That is, uh, that is true. And we didn't have him... I mean, it's good if you get to convert some of your allies as well as uh, your opponents. He didn't manage to actually send any missionaries to the other side to convert a uh, few cities here and there. That's all he needed to do. Convert the Moksha series and then everything else converts uh, passively. But the Moksha city... It is also the city that uh, Maori used to get his uh, religion, so mm, probably he wouldn't be that fond of it. He could just kill Maori religion, extra Rascord. That's also true. Yeah, that's also true. Okay, Potala Palace coming up in three turns here from uh, Kaya Point. We do have Rule Valley in three. Uh, ooh, we also look for University in five. Uh, Josie is still on 258 signs, while uh, Malm is 323, definitely bigger. And I guess I stand corrected. Kree can definitely, if he does have enough time uh, to defend himself and uh, do everything, he can definitely get very, very big. Uh, Filippo also going to help him uh, build Oxford University. Looks like he's going to finish Alhambra for an extra... Um, Military policy slot to use over here. Very, very valuable. Getting um, retainers plus something is going to be amazing. Is it retainers? Wait a second. How is that card called, by the way? Oh, I can't see the governments right now. Is it, uh, is it retainers? I think it's retainers, no? The one that gives you the extra amenity from um, having a unit inside of a city center. Ooh. 
Whoa. Okay, we got a team plus from uh, the Sharks. We need a team plus from uh, Last Day Company. And they're asking for two seconds. They still have an AFK. Uh, I do see this guy, of course, definitely uh, have a lot of damage against the parking shots. Uh, oof. Wait, what? Are, didn't the, the parking shots get... Did they get a minus 5 or a plus 5? They get a plus 5 instead of the, the weaker. Wow. Okay. Well, Kree definitely needs to core this up. And I do see his uh, calves are dying extremely quickly. They're getting one shot by the course of uh, France. Well, let's see if uh, Kree is going to manage to withstand this attack and we do definitely need to see if people is going to manage to push in. Uh, we do have uh, multiple camps that need to cross the river and uh, right now they do have a problem with the encampment that man put up over here to the southeast of Misanabi. Uh, we do have folks for those who are finishing up in 4 and Filippo doesn't have enough movement this turn and now he's going to need to get it uh, soon. We do have a builder here that I'm actually quite curious what uh, Maori is going to do with it. It's not like he can improve that many more resources uh, but I do see he, he actually improved the lumber mill <laughs> whoa he actually improved the lumber mill well potala palace coming up in three here for the uh, maori and uh we do need to see if he's gonna get the opportunity to actually build the statue of liberty he's gonna need civil engineering and he's getting that in two turns while uh, nobody else from the game will have that as uh, early he's gonna definitely have that opportunity and oh whoa 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 i see mausoleum okay i see mausoleum of aldi carnassus this does give him uh, the double culture on the leonardo da vinci he can get the double one amazing plus six on each workshop that is insane uh chemistry also coming up from josie next turn he's gonna get labs alongside uh, everything else while uh, malm is uh, barely getting his celestial navigation i do notice uh, oxford university is still uh, gonna need a little bit of love from filippo and uh well we do have him uh, finishing off with the uh, courses from the north now looking at what's going on here looks like ldk is getting in with a few camps uh, managing to pillage one mine two mines uh and uh, he's gonna get pushed back here that's look like uh, india is gonna get enough units to uh dismantle this attack slowly but surely you know, we do have uh, him also putting down morning camels from the north uh, he does need to finish the ones he already has and of course starts working on the projects in camel training projects coming up while he is right now on uh, 11 great people on great general points at 10 we do have Aztec on 3 Cree on 6 Persia on 1 France is on 10 Gaul is on 5 Mapuche is on 5 and Maori well he doesn't really have any camel does he does he yeah, he does have one. Yeah, he has one encampment. Doesn't seem like uh, Oxford University is going to finish, does it? It is what it is. A Potala Palace is, is going to finish, right? I don't think we've seen him, uh, is, seen it here. And who did manage to get the Diplo? It was Josie that got the Diplo. That's a major advantage here if they do manage to keep uh, this... They're on 7 out of 20. They're going to get 8 out of 20 with uh, Potala. They, he does have a significant opportunity to get the Statue of Liberty. Probably on that uh, oil tile here. You know, from his capital city that will have rural valley production. Well, I say rural valley production. But there are really no mines over there to actually give him the extra production points. He only will have like the 20% in the capital and that's it. Uh, how much is it? Is it 20%? I think it is 20, right? It's 15 or 20%. It should have been bigger than that. Rule Vanny is 20%. Yeah, 20%. I mean, that's still going to be big. Don't get me wrong. That's like 18 points right now for uh, Tehonianga Noyakupe. Hey, I want to click on the city. Hello, bro. Really? Uh, 90 strength. Nine. Yeah. 10% is 9, 20% is 18. 
Okay. It looks like another two calves got taken down. Aztec is running away with the other ones towards the north. Uh, Atzacapotzalco uh, actually is, or Atzacapotzalco is a free city right now. And it looks like it poses a little bit of a problem for LDK. While he's uh, going to need to get that back, he's going to need to spend quite a bit of time to get it back. That city is 62, 62 defense and not even the cannibal can actually do enough damage against it. In, uh, oh, not even taking into account, these line infantry will definitely chew through the camp core line if they want to. Uh, well, I do have to point out, people did retreat his units back to his borders, and he's probably going to be thinking about a later on unit he's going for rifling, and probably going to want to follow up with uh, either tanks or um, helicopters. I would imagine helicopters. Uh, Josie, wait, did he just finish chemistry? He just finished chemistry, and he's going to 210 chicken eats on here from Opango because he did lose. Um, he did lose that, um, whatever it's called, the Oxford University. Filippo did get that love in for Oxford. You do have him also getting industrial zone logistic projects. Uh, he's wanting that uh, extra amenity. He's going to finish Rural Valley next turn. And he did already discover um, the Statue of Liberty. It's just a matter of putting it down somewhere. And with uh, his capital on 95, he's going to get that 120. Yeah, the capital is the best one to make it. He's going to like, what, five turn it, four turn it, Statue of Liberty. Um, Cloud also asking us on YouTube, how does the free city strength get determined? It's uh, just as uh, any other city strength is getting determined by its higher strength, highest strength unit. So that city had line infantry, it had 60 plus or 80 or some, whatever it is. Uh, 60, 60 plus. Because of the line infantry's um, last. I believe it is like what highest unit strength minus something is it minus five no it's not minus five it should be minus nine or ten I think it's minus nine this this doesn't make sense though the line infantry being 65 and this uh, being 62 on the normal series you get like what uh, classical unit is 35 uh, strength like a how would I say a swordsman or a horse 35 36 and then uh, the series minimum is 26 so it's 10 points difference uh you you add strength if you build more districts each district actually means more uh, garrison defense strength Okay, we do have uh, Bombard Corps also uh, uh, starting to appear here. It looks like uh, we got a few uh, quadrims in the water. It doesn't really have anywhere to go with them. I guess uh, Puen Mapu might be a target here from that one uh, tile fish tile. Uh, he would need an armada and quick uh, attack if he actually wants to punch through. Uh, while from the north, looks like LDK's calves are just going to run around um, like broken ducks, but they won't actually get into the cities anymore to pillage or maybe one or two tiles, and then they're going to be um, taken care of. Uh, looks like the attack on france retreating no more no more problems uh, dealt by him against his neighbors that is unfortunate Kree over here is gonna keep on getting his uh, stats <clears throat> and i gotta say a man did jump up to 386 science while he's going through the top three very very quickly he's gonna catch up here on josie uh, josie is also getting his research labs that's a lot more science that's gonna come out also chicken eats is gonna give him a higher culture in a lot of his cities actually wait we do have um how many tiles does he have like one two three four five uh, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen times for uh, sixteen more production sixteen more culture uh, that will be acquired next turn just with chicken eats and without taking into account the other multipliers the bonuses from uh, the happiness the bonuses from um, i would say the city centers and so on the governor bonuses and so on and the free city units are just whatever is the highest discovered uh, unit yes uh, no wait no, it's not discovered it's built it's not discovered it's built it's uh, what do they have actually because it could be uh, they discovered the uh, musket man but they never actually upgraded into musket man they just stayed at swordsman and uh, it will keep keep it on 26 or well around 26 uh, this flood made more damage to uh, India than Aztec did. <laughs> Lol. 
<laughs> Where was it? The flood in uh, what? Uh, oh, this one in Trivandrum. Yeah, yeah, true. Pilish, uh, three tiles instead of two. Well, Aztec just took out uh, Cuirassier and it looks like he's going uh, for that encampment. We can see the city is And let's let's see if it actually goes up two points. It need, it should go up two points. Yeah, there we go. You, you see, you got uh, you got one more district. Boom, another two points. Well, I guess uh, Aztec got himself into a tile that he cannot pillage. And into a position that he uh, can die. Well, unfortunate. Uh, Atsaka Pozarco is still a free city. These line infantry are going to push the Indian units. And it looks like uh, they might actually take down a field cannon here. <laughs> Lol. Okay, France uh, keeps going towards uh, his units. Does look like uh, France uh, will not get pushed there. His caps are 100 strength, not a problem. Persia is going to need to push back goal from uh, the north again. And I do see he's getting uh, more of these uh, line infantry, uh, uh, hard building them moving to the east side. He didn't actually rush uh, replaceable parts, but he's going to get them next. And, and uh, I guess we're going to need to see if uh, he's going to have enough infantry to do the damage against goal. Uh, infantry is actually very, very strong. Very strong. And, uh, they don't have the maneuverability of tanks, but they, they are extremely strong. I think the um, first one that we saw having basically like a, you know, fetish for uh, infantry was Colento, if I'm not mistaken. Colento was the one that uh, got all of this discovered. Uh, is this uh, going to end to in some uh, kind of domination CC? We might see it, yeah. Uh, he could just kill the Maori religion. This flood. Okay, we, we got all of this uh, answered here. Looks like we're waiting for the last uh, turn here. Where am I getting? Oh, I see. Oh, he tried to move out. Aztec is trying to get out with the calf. I guess it is what it is. He did make space for this one to get in, though. This one will uh, will get a few uh, a few pillages. It looks like steel walls are coming out. One cap got taken down. Uh, DK does have another one here. Um, India can actually slap it once, but cannot take it down. And we do need to see if he's going to get new cuirassiers here. He does have a bombard moving from the south. And with the strength of uh, the for 300 fortification, it's much easier for him to actually uh, push back the units from around his cities. He did lose his um, field cannon, though. That's unfortunate. The one next to the city of Agra. It did have a promotion also. I think it was like a 50-50 chance that it would have uh, died anyway to the line infantry, but whatever. Okay. Uh, we do still need a lot of science for people. Barely getting his steel in four turns while man is going to discover chemistry uh, very, very quickly. Actually, much quicker than uh, we were expecting. He's already keeping more science on his side. 408 science on Poundmaker while Josie is on 345. Uh, does seem like he's going to also get his research labs. Is this a question of uh, how many of those specialists are they using? You see, is Maori just not using enough specialists? Because I'm pretty sure he has very strong campuses. I guess one other differentiator would be that uh, Oxford University here that gives uh, so much more science to uh, Malm. It's not in the Pingala city, but uh, still, it gives him uh, so much more science. Uh, in the meantime, we did have also check managing to get to 185 cents and 99 culture, 286 production. He's doing quite well to recover from his initial um, skirmish with Persia and of course the loss of a city center there to the south of Ado Atuka. <laughs> Does seem like he kept on pushing uh, Persia to tell him he's here and uh, we do have floppy with the... Wait a second, he still didn't get... He moved away from uh, infantries. I guess he does want more line infantries. He, 
yeah, yeah, he wants more. He wants more pre-builds. That's why he's moving away. But that's going to eat away at his timing here against uh, Chuck. And Chuck will have the opportunity to, to get his own stronger units out. Well, right now, we do see him going for Steel Walls, rifling in two turns. Nationalism coming up in two turns, in one turn also. And uh, getting a better economy. He's on 58 gold a turn. It uh, doesn't seem like Josie did manage to get more gold, but man did get uh, quite a bit more gold than he had at the beginning of this era, 262 at the moment, while he's in a dark age. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to see them uh, switch their eras in the next one. We're going to see what they're going to end up with. If they're going to go uh, for heroics or if they're going to go for uh, another dark. I don't think they want to, to get another dark, but they might not ha have a cho uh, choice. Okay, well, uh, looks like uh, India is getting pillaged a little bit here by uh, LDK. And we do have Apology struggling to actually get LDK's uh, units away from his borders. While I do notice Kurasir Corps are getting deployed to the south. Uh, looks like Apology is getting ready to push uh, Mapuche. Uh, Mapuche here. Let's actually see his uh, readiness. He has the units on the west side. Doesn't actually have an army to the southwest. And uh, this would be very problematic if we're going to see a tank tanks from uh, Apology starting to get uh, to D-Day the lands of Mapuche. Even if he's going to manage to get steel walls, which he is probably gonna get those tanks and artilleries are gonna eat through these cities quite quickly and uh well we're gonna need to see if his production is gonna be on point he is on 431 points of production very good industrial zone from uh, a lot of cities and getting his coal power plants built that will allow him to uh, replenish his army quite quickly and try to stop the bleed we're gonna need to see if that production is gonna be what's needed uh, if I wanted to get into a playing multiplayer, are those specific mods? Uh, yes. Prohibited? Not really. As in, I guess any mod that would give you advantage versus not um, um, giving the same information to another player <clears throat> would probably be prohibited. Uh, or other external apps that will uh, change the performance of the game, for example. Some people, I don't want to talk in, about it in particular, but uh, some people are doing that um just uh, get the mods just get the specific mods uh, bbg bbm uh, i should say bbs so uh, depending on uh, the server or the game um <clears throat> multiplayer helper and uh, that's about it other people like uh, quite a few people actually want to use the report screen because it's easier they actually get the numbers there they don't need to do the math themselves yeah you know, and the report screen actually comes with uh, policy cards or something like that. They're linked. They don't work without each other. Uh, we do have uh, Mal keeping up with Josie's uh, production capabilities, 564 and 584 here. While uh, Mal is uh, keeping up his lead when it comes to the science. I do notice uh, India will need to make a move. He's first of all taking care of all of the calves uh, that are bothering him right now and we do need to see if he's going to be fast enough to actually pillage the farm so he gets a med pack for this calf core let's see let's see how this goes oh well he moved it out but he can still do it yeah there we go he can still do it there we go okay two units down <clears throat> no pillage here from ldk I would say uh, Apology did successfully defend against his opponent. Uh, okay, where is uh, Floppy? Floppy is still getting those uh, infantry. Another wave of infantry. Oh my god. Okay, another wave. Well, I'm pretty sure at some point Chuck is going to figure it out, right? He's going to see uh, the line infantry in his territory. In his opponent's territory, I mean. And he's going to figure it out. He's going to go for um, infantry. Uh, France finally getting another city to the south and I would imagine he's uh, just gonna get more of these Knights Curaciers to try to get to tanks, try to get to his... Uh, uh oh uh oh I mean, uh, Pike Shot Corps do look angry and sweaty against these French units. Looks like uh, with a triple possible attack on that rainforest, uh, he is... <laughs> People is gonna move his uh, units. Uh, you know what I suggested at the beginning to leave the rainforest there and uh, leave a tile on the rainforest and just have uh, ranged units here. Uh, Banana and the two mines have like three ranged units. Whenever a unit to the uh, come, you know, just casually moved on the rainforest tile, pium, 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 pium. Da, 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 da. you take it down, no? Yeah, you get those free experience points.
Oh, Guard Imperials coming in in four tens, slowly getting built here in uh, people's territory, getting hard built, I would say. You know, while uh, we do have uh, LDK still keeping his army to the west side, he of course lost those units uh, he sent against his opponent and now uh, trying to get uh, bigger, bigger, better, stronger. And we do have him uh, getting another wave of calves, which are probably going to be uh, helicopters uh, soon. We do have him refining in one turn, or well, I say soon, but not still eight turns away. Uh, he needs steel, he needs to get uh, his uh, combustion, and then he needs uh, two other techs. And we do have uh, also explicitly finishing up his coal power plants and be, uh, is able to one turn calves from some of his cities. While I do notice uh, he's uh, finishing up his industrial zones, we definitely need to see... What is he gonna use them for? I would imagine apology shouldn't be that far away from uh, getting gun. Uh, yeah, there we go. So he he will get Buen Mapu with the battleships, double shining that city center, and then bam, the Quinasir walks in and he's gonna make it his home. It is what it is. If he's gonna manage, oh my god, if he's gonna manage to get the canal, this was a, it would be so pog. Is it possible? Oh no, it's not. It's not a floodable tile. Wait, this is uh, this is the one, right? It's not a flattable tile. It is what it is. Okay, moving in, moving in, slow but sure. Uh, these battleships do have three range and they're gonna do the damage there from afar while uh, <clears throat> we do have India still uh, with quite a bit of military next to Madurai. Looks like he's slowly moving into the southwest, not uh, really <clears throat> um, moving quick enough. Do want to double check something? <laughs> Canal needs floodable terrain. No, 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 no. I was uh, thinking maybe he's gonna get like a <laughs> lol. Uh, maybe he's gonna get like a normal one. <laughs> lol. Okay, I'm actually uh, thinking of turning up my uh, highs a little bit. Uh, tell me if you hear me better right now. Or ma no, more naturally, I would say. Uh, Lu Kang also, hello there, sir. How are you doing? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay, there are a few scattered camps here from LDK. He did manage to get a decent fleet uh, to defend himself from a possible attack from India. Uh, looking at his uh, builds, he's getting more spies, he's getting more camps, he's getting more encampment training projects, while uh, next to him he keeps on uh, getting his uh, advantages. Oh my god, look at the, France sp the French spies are actually killing off all of his industrial zones. Look at that, one got taken down, a second one got taken down, a third one is probably going to be taken down and these guys are level 2s, level 1s, so they're sabotaging uh, everything they can get in. Uh, Michael prefers uh, climate or human canal engineering. I mean, one requires work, <laughs> the other one is just happens. You know, just saying, you don't need to spend any energy for it, it just happens. versus my spies dying every game yeah i know how that is i mean you know it is what it is. he did get intelligence agency that's one step forward right you do get a, a bigger chance of um finishing up the missions with intelligence agency rather than not than without i mean anyway let's actually see how this is going to be uh, played out looks like a wall steel walls gun activated here for mapuche is still not going to hold back these uh, battleships though that's only a 60 strength uh, defense strength city it's still going to do quite a bit of damage against it but uh, slowly slowly not as fast as you would like to if uh, we're going to have expert here and upgrade one single tank that is going to be a problem in two turns expert does have combustion and he's going to get a cuirassier there 
you know, I do see him also getting aerodromes. Well, I guess that's not going to help him out that much against uh, Balchis. Well, it is a possibility. Uh, we do have Jose de San Martin also recruited by uh, India. Looks like uh, the multiple encampment training projects that he did uh, does help him out right now. And it will be quite important whoever gets the next uh, generals here. We do have Napoleon Bonaparte uh, for the industrial era and modern one, of course. While Aztec has the most points, he still needs uh, 90 or 80, well, I guess 85. We do have Mapuche also needing a lot. Uh, France needing a lot. Cree needing a lot. Oof. Uh, I'm pretty sure Persia will need it. Persia will definitely need it. But I'm not that convinced he's actually going to have enough production to do the projects. He would need so many projects. He's just on two great general points at 10. I'm actually a bit surprised we only saw like two encampments built here by Persia. But I guess he did manage to get uh, quite a bit of uh, science and stuff done against goal he kept up with uh, goal quite nicely it's not an easy thing to do <laughs> my spies never die i always forget to build them in the first place ah i mean they they can't die if uh, they weren't there in the first place no <laughs> Lol. Well, the Gany needs to GTFO and Apology needs to kill that city quickly. Okay, there we go. Sticking out the steel walls. If uh, the steel walls go down to half, not even the tank will actually help uh, stop that. A plane might. A plane might. Well, actually, a few planes might. Yeah, that city is. Um, Let's see, it's going down quite fast. Anyway, let's see. Let's see if there will be uh, more units being uh, deployed over there. More units are stopped. And uh, we do have, for example, from India, tanks coming in with um, the first upgrades getting into the water. We do have him also getting some artilleries to uh, better uh, to have a better handle on the damage against Mapuche here. While I do see Aztec upgrading some, a single battleship in the... Um, in the lake of Ixtapaluca. That's also the lake uh, connecting Pue and Mapu. Not enough damage though, and that is not a level 5 uh, or level 4 battleship armada to deal the damage from afar. It will stop units from moving here, but it won't stop these battleships, it can't reach them. Oh, there's a safety settler, by the way. Cardiff for uh, people. They did manage to uh, get him uh, safely next to, tuck the, next to uh, Maori. While well, I do notice uh, Maori did manage to get, uh, first of all, Chikanitsa. He got all of those production capabilities everywhere. He's on uh, 546 science and 167 culture at the moment. A little bit higher than Mal, but I want to say it's significant. You know, we do have him uh, placing a defensive spy in his um, industrial zone after he got taken out. And uh, he's getting zoos from all over the place. Is this an amenity? problem on him uh plus three plus three plus three while we do have plus six over here on uh Cree, and he has been like that for quite some time this would definitely make up the difference oh a third industrial zone got taken down aerodromes coming out from Cree. man definitely losing a lot of production from this you know pashka vashis is 99 miki zivwanchik is like barely 74 yeah, uh, this one, Piktoka Hanapi win is 89. He would have been over 100 with all of them if he would have had the, the coal power plants and everything working there. Anyway, multiple aerodromes coming out from Malm. Well, it looks like we might be seeing uh, jet bomber attacks against France here to clean him up and then uh, needs to build up the infrastructure to go either against uh, the West, against Persia, and of course uh, making his way towards Maori or uh, going against uh, India on the East. This, I think this is going to be quite a long game. Quite a long game. <laughs> you use the same strategy, Beasley? Noise. Yeah, there we go. Balash Parmara taking out what it also revealed itself. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure Apology is going to be wary of putting units uh, over there in the north. Oh no, he just put another one. 
I mean, it's just the first one died, bro. You know? Oh, tanks going towards the southern cities. They're gonna find it very hard to actually go against the city centers themselves, but they can definitely pillage the mines and uh, disturb Explis peace. <clears throat> Yeah, we do have a man managing to get the 300 gold per turn, not to mention 600 plus science, while uh, he is the gold provider. Check is down to 34, XP is negative, and LDK is barely on 105. They're holding on on a thread here, and we're going to need to see if they're going to have enough gold to upgrade what they need in the next part of the game. Especially right now, for example, Mapuche would definitely need quite a bit of gold on his side. Uh, on the other side, the Sharks are making the majority of the gold with uh, Josie and uh, looking at the numbers and adding them up, it actually looks like a lot worse than we do see on Last Day Company right now. I guess their pushes are coming, but it's, uh, it's looking a lot worse. Well, these are significantly stronger line infantries. 100, what was that, 20 more strength? Whoa. 24 more strength on these uh, line infantry course versus uh, goal. Wait, where is he going? Where is he going? Anyway, it is what it is. Yeah, there we go. Plane fixes the problem that Cuirassia Cor uh, will need to get out of there on into the water and of course the tank uh, alongside him. And while he's probably going to need to disembark everything here, he's, he can still take uh, Puen Mapu. That's, I don't think that's going to be that major problem. Especially when the wall goes down, he can just focus down the units uh, with his um, battleships from afar and he uh, should have enough damage to take those down. Even if they're turning into... Well, tanks would be a different problem, but... It's, they can still work against tanks. Yeah, Zeus also coming out from India, getting more uh, culture with his uh, archaeologists, also getting more tanks, putting down the water parts for the extra amenities, and uh, getting our museums. Uh, on the other side, Coupe did uh, start up uh, to finish his production, 617 production right now, he's gonna jump up significantly, still did not get statue. I don't see him putting it down in Opango, and this actually makes me um, wonder why. Couldn't he? Oh, he couldn't right in the capital because this is, oh, I see. This is the harbor from uh, Tejonianga Nui Akupe. He couldn't get it on the oil. Or can't you? It needs to be from the same uh, city. It, like the harbor needs to be from the same city. I think so. Like that's a lot of the times the cases. Statue of Liberty. Adjacent to land and a harbor district. It doesn't say that it needs to be uh, the same one. So I think he could have put it on the oil. Maybe he discovered refining. Kick. Does he have uh, quadrim, quadrim, quadrim somewhere? No. No. Quadrim. Oh yeah, he he has refining. So he sees the oil. He cannot build it here. Rip. Ripperoni. It is what it is. He did that to kill a fish and he definitely didn't want to kill a fish. Okay, yeah, there we go. Battleship fleets can definitely do the damage against the tank wars here. It's just a matter of time. There are uh, three units that can keep on uh, shelling those tanks from the coast. And uh, we do need to see if India is going to manage to do something. But I'm pretty sure he will do something against Mapuche. I guess it's uh, the order of uh, how that something actually is. <laughs> No, man, it still keeps up his advantage. 666 science. So, well, well over the numbers that Josie outputs us. 574 with a decent amount of gold generation. Not to mention more than enough uh, production there. We do have him getting his own biplanes out from multiple cities. And working on uh, spies with amphitheaters. Getting his, uh, in, his uh, industrial zones repaired. And, uh, well, I guess, oh my god. People's gonna do it again, guys. He gonna do it again. He's doing it again, guys.
Well, AT Cruz on the defense from Malm. We're going to need to see what people's going to do now that he did manage to get a few guard Imperials that can only defend him. I guess uh, this is a defensive posture. Uh, he did manage to, well, get into the City of Hansa and the pillage it as much as he could while Mapuche did upgrade the tanks here to defend himself to the southwest. Uh, looks like uh, the tanks of India did walk in, roll in, in the Napira map when they're going to start pillaging. <clears throat> We don't have enough uh, range from these battleships to actually do the damage against the Rampira Mapu. But there is a, a artillery core there that will slowly take it down. It uh, looks like uh, the biplane is going to eat away that artillery core uh, with the steel wall attack. We're, I guess we're going to need to see what's going to happen. Would have uh, definitely loved if he would have had these battleships to do the damage there. Not working though. Uh, we do have we do have uh, more production capabilities here on Apology. He's connecting his cities with his uh, military engineers. <clears throat> And I do notice uh, more Persian missionaries. Oh my God! Wait a second. Persia is that's the second religion, right? Persia got another religion. Uh, then got the second religion. What's this? Work ethic. They're getting work ethic for uh, india so he already has zen meditation work uh, he's gonna have work ethic and he has choral music okay so the only one he's missing is feed the world i mean it's fine it is what it is that's gonna make it make apology here quite stronger 332 uh, science with 192 culture he's on uh, 400 production turn with 163 but the gold is becoming a problem uh, we only have uh, like around 270 gold uh, extra for them or a lot or a little bit less than 260 and 270 gold while on the other side we do have uh, 300 plus uh, 360 70 actually Well, I guess we're going to need to see how the Air Force is going to fly over here and where are they going to prioritize getting the shots in. Uh, I do see Mapuche was getting a lot of camps to reposition to stop uh, the, these tanks from getting in there. While it uh, looks like uh, they... Oh my god, Mapuche moved the biplane. Uh-oh, there's a tank army here that will get in. Oh, he just gave up on the city. Never mind. He just gave up on the city. I guess it's fine. He uh, wants to take out one of the tanks, the one that's uh, the weakest. And of course, uh, India does have for mobilization. So he's going to get his uh, army up here. Let's actually see. No? <gasps> what was that? Was that a military? Was that a... That was the general, Jose de San Martin. Okay. Well, that tank got uh, taken down. It looks like uh, the tank army is just going to reposition to the south and get more uh, upgrades going. Uh, also the biplane, I think, uh, well, he mistakenly took a tank army for, a for an unsuspecting target. Artillery gets taken down, XP definitely doesn't want to have that pressure on him. Uh, we do have um, not that many units uh, still available for India to actually use. Uh, Zeus coming up from India, more amenities here, very nice, very nice. Uh, but still it's going to be a few turns until he's going to get that work ethic. Two, four of these missionaries going there. This is going to be very important for his um, religion. That's a lot of That's a lot of production on each of his cities. Well, a lot of Persian units also coming in. We do have Persia, plastics in five turns. Uh, he doesn't have the upgrade button on this line infantry course to get into infantries. We were thinking he's going to do it. Well, it looks like he's not going to do it. He's going for plastics here, going somewhere else. While uh, it does seem like those units, the tanks, all of the tanks that Mapuche upgraded in Mamul Mapu, he actually repositioned to the east to deal with India and uh, left open the tanks that France was um, trying to push. Or, well, oh my god. No, he didn't. There are only three tiles that he would get in through. Oh. Well, I guess he could have used that um, military engineer to get the tunnel here. Does he not see this? He did. He does. He does. There is. Look at that tunnel. Woo, tunnel. Whee. Yeah, yeah. You get in. You get in there. 
Okay, uh, we got also flight coming off from India for, and uh, putting down his units. Atsaka Pochalco, well, never got back, never got taken back. LDK uh, lost interest in that city center. Uh, Mal, I'm going to get advanced flight next turn. Mobilization also coming out next turn. And we're going to see how quickly uh, Apology can actually get to his mobilization. He was the one with the most uh, culture in the game here. Um, still on 203 right now. We do have him on 412 production. Not that big at the moment. And I can't wait to actually see the number numbers after he's gonna get his um, work ethic in all of his cities. A Statue of Liberty in six turns from uh, the city of Opango. Looks like uh, he's gonna try to time it with uh, the World Congress session, so uh, his opponents are not gonna know about these points. We do have uh, multiple tanks starting to get out from Maori, and it looks like this is the getting up for war moment from Maori. That's a lot of tanks that he's gonna put uh, in production. Uh, getting fighters also from multiple cities. Is this gonna be him uh, trying to attack into goal here, deploying the uh, air force against goal? I guess so. Well, Gaul already has steel walls and I'm pretty sure he has the ability when he discovered the steel to try to get some anti-air guns. Yeah, he should also have the production capabilities necessary to get those anti-air guns in good enough time. Uh, factor is coming in. Okay, sure, he doesn't have a lot of um, coal power plants yet, but he's getting there. He's getting there. Also got Gustav Eiffel to help him out. And we're going to need to see who's going to get Einstein, though. Who is going to get Einstein? Gustav, not yet, no, it's not, not yet, yeah, not yet, we still need time, time to get there. Hello, Quirin. Thank you so much for the raid and welcome everybody. We're watching a game from the Civil Fun Squad. That's the Frankoman Community Multiplayer Server for Civilization 6. And uh, right now we are in the semi-finals. They are um, playing a best of three series. This is the first game out of that series. And as you can see on the screen on the top right, you're going to have uh, Last Day Company on the left team with the four leaders here. Uh, Montezuma with uh, Lotaro with uh, Poundmaker and Ambiorix. While on the right side, we do have the Sharks with uh, Coupe, with peop um, people playing uh, Catherine de Medici, Floppy on uh, Nader Shah, and then uh, Pology on Gandhi. Uh, Pablo, many other loaders and welcome indeed. We're going to raid. Hi. Welcome, everybody. Good evening, sirs. Uh, well, it doesn't look like uh, Aztec is going to get that much of a defense here, but he's going for the second wave of pillages. I would imagine uh, we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of helicopters soon. Uh, let's actually see what is he. Synthetic materials in five turns. Okay, four, uh, five to four to five turns uh, here soon, and it looks like uh, the attack from Apology going against India. Well, it might only result into a single city takeover here on the city of uh, Puen Mapu. Oh no, he's not. Apology, you need to click buttons. You need to really click a lot of buttons quickly here to take down that city. That city has a tank inside and as you can see it's significantly uh, stronger. Uh, has a lot more defense uh, versus the battleship fleets right now. Well, I guess uh, India will need some tank cores here after all. Wait, did he just put... Oh no. Yeah, he did just put uh, his artillery in the same place that that uh, battleship armada can shoot at and killed like three other of his units. Anyway, I guess uh, there aren't that many tile choices there to make, so you gotta take some chances. Uh, okay, let's actually see what's going on with the Air Force of uh, Maori. He was putting uh, quite a few fighters in the cities. He's getting observation balloon. Okay, that seems like it might be uh, something more for Persia than for him. Uh, he has a lot of uh, fighters and I'm pretty sure he has quite, uh, he will have quite a few bombers here. Uh, four tanks for the Statue of Liberty from Opango. Getting more, more and more tanks, but the tanks are not going east. The tanks are going west. Aren't they? Wait, no. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. 
Okay, he's doing something here. Doesn't really look like he's gonna do much because this is a big mountain range. He can't really pass through until he, unless he takes Ayutthaya. And Ayutthaya is a people's city state. That's not his. I do have also want to point out in the science screen we do have Apology and uh, Josie. Uh, both sharks actually keeping up with the science city states. And that's actually quite uh, quite troubling though. They don't have more science than last day company. They have like a little bit, but not more, not a lot more. Apology here is going to be in fascism quite quickly. We do have him discovering ideology in the next five turns and getting radio in one. I would imagine this is going to be quite a problem for his opponents. But at the same time, I don't see him having a major defense against what Aztec is going to get against him. Like all of these helicopters can take down so many, so many times so quickly if they get in unimpeded here by India. Um, yes, have a, have a good evening, sir. See ya, bye bye. Okay, uh, Bowman's coming up from Cree. He did actually put uh, quite a few fighters in the south here, starting to put uh, the pressure on France. Uh, while, uh, well, at the moment, he didn't actually go as far as uh, to uh, enter the French, if the French borders. He's definitely going to want more experience on these fighters and uh, try to do the damage there. Uh, Guard Imperials plugging every choke, units from France plugging every choke, it does seem like he kind of bunkered down and uh, lost focus here, didn't really manage to do anything more. Uh, we do have uh, Puen Mapu, okay, losing a tank from its uh, defense, and looks like uh, one of the artillery armies did get taken down there uh, from the north, of course, the um, initial shot from LDK came in and it dropped down one of those artillery corps or armies, I'm not sure which one it was, I think it was an army, uh, I think it was a corps though, not an army. Anyway, still quite a few tiles to, to be ripped apart here, especially the coal mines are going to be important. Apology will need to take those feasts on them and take them away from uh, Mapuche's uh, available coal resources. He is already a lot of um, coal power plants going. If energy goes down, that is going to be a major problem. And I don't think he has another coal mine. That's the only coal mine he has. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, there's another one here in uh, Willy Mapu. Got it. Mm, good. Okay, all power plants coming in. Aerodromes uh, from Mysore. Okay, we got uh, lighthouses. Apology definitely wants more economy. Is um, 57 gold at 10. Well, Floppy did jump up to 143. Uh, he kept on building up his line infantry core, and I do see he's uh, now getting his armor is going. There are uh, quite a few tanks uh, getting upgraded here, but from Chuck, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to have enough strength to go against the Persian line infantry and take them down. We're only a few turns away from the next era, and the uh, since a lot of them were in a dark age this time around uh, or a normal age i would imagine we're gonna see a lot of heroic agers in the next one let's actually see ldk is five points off from a gold and from a heroic xp is three points off from a heroic we got malm getting a heroic we do have chuck uh well i guess uh, he might stay in a normal age or he might go at uh, golden age yeah, we got Josie also getting his uh, Golden Age. Unfortunately, no heroic. He couldn't manage to get the Dark Age. Uh, People going Dark Age again. Floppy going Dark Age again. Apology is going to get his uh, Golden Age. So two Golden Ages versus uh, possibly three heroics with a Golden Age in the fourth, in the fourth uh, session, in the fourth era. Wait, should I call it the 4th or the 5th? Because I never take the Ancient Era into account. Because it doesn't have a, a bonus. It doesn't really have a bonus, right? There's like no Golden Age, Dark Age, nothing bonus over there. There's a no nothing burger. Oh man, poor map over here. It looks like it's unbeatable. These uh, battleship fleets do need to spend a bit too much strength to attack into that city center. And that's the problem when you get the tank strength and try to take those cities down with battleships. You can't get the damage before. I think he got distracted. I think Apology here got distracted with uh, the attack on Nina Piramapu. If he would have kept on uh, doing the damage against uh, this one, the city would have been dead. Anyway, that's just my two cents. It is what it is. He just had to make choices, so he made them. Uh, 
Uh, New examining in five tennis, Pasha Vashik is already working on those. Uh, looks like the French uh, spies are not giving up. They're getting to the level three and they are uh, destroying the production capabilities of Kree every time. And somehow, Malm still manages to get 700 production points. Uh, Josie is on 813 and I do see he has more science with more culture. Not enough gold though, he's uh, down to 252. Now we're we'll going to need to see how he's going to try to use everything he has right now going against gold going against his allies here his opponents uh oh uh oh floppy is out taking chuck whoa line infantry is um oh my god look at it. i mean chuck showing up with a lot of tanks into infantry cores is just a disaster these tanks are taking down getting two shot over here by the line infantry is a floppy whoa i guess this was the best case scenario for floppy like basically chuck moving his army there and i would imagine chuck right now is scrambling to actually get his uh, army back because he's gonna lose all of these units like if he starts starts to trade with uh, floppy he's gonna lose the units all of them and i don't think he can kill a single infantry corps yeah he can't kill a single infantry corps very strong units, man. Very strong units. Okay. Uh, we got Aztec here. Still uh, trying to help defend against the Indian attack. Uh, I can't believe this city actually is too tall for so long in the game. But I got to give it to XP here for doing the correct moves uh, against India. Now yeah, we do have some uh, biplanes also starting to get in the air from uh, India. And at the moment, I don't think he actually knows about what Aztec is going to do. Aztec has uh, three possible helicopters uh, that will... Uh, We'll start pillaging soon. Well, how soon? It's... Uh, wait, he moved away? He moved away to scientific theory? Okay. Is uh, Chuck going to boost him Boost him there, I guess? It is what it is. Anyway, we just switched the era and we're going to have in two minutes a pause for another two minutes. We're going to need to see if this city is actually going to go down here. Uh, does look like he lost its wall defense. And yes, there are uh, tank armies that can attack into it. But no more uh, siege unit that could actually do the damage. Uh, the significant damage. We do need to see if he's going to spend that health there. I don't think so. I find it extremely doubtful he's going to spend the health of the tanks to get the city center. Anyway, we got the uh, fighters in the air. The fighters are actually quite um, successful attacking into those helicopters if uh, they're going to come in near him. But they do need to redeploy to the north to actually fend off attacks. Uh, okay, well, let's see. Era Square, LDK, Heroic Age, Two Arms, Harvest of Steam, Reform the Coinage. Uh, Xplee is still a heroic, he's probably gonna keep the same. Reform the Coinage, Harvest of Steam, and Two Arms from Poundmaker. Uh, we do have him uh, 607 science, 163 culture, and 764 production points here on Poundmaker. Oof. Anyway, uh, look at the tanks. Look what's happening to the tanks, by the way. This is I, I don't think Chuck is believing what he's seeing right now this is this is quite a problem floppy totally totally outmaneuver this like th this is a massive outplay here from floppy don't get me wrong the infantry choice against tanks when he would have he predicted that goal is going to come against him at tanks whoa nice just nice uh do we have uh, extra diplo impl no but there's a spy here that's not doing anything it's a waiting assignment Oh, there's another one here that's doing the listening post. I see. That's only for the missions. He's probably trying to get this. It is a level 2. It will be a level 2. It will get its promotion. Oh my god. Beautiful level 2 from Floppy. Can he kill the tank? Why is he not killing the tanks? Oh, he already moved. With uh, only this one. Okay. Interesting. okay let's see any final attack here against that city center we might actually see the tanks there we go they're attacking and taking it down and uh keeping it by the looks of it uh this is a problem because uh, well mapuche does have a few boats in there uh, okay liege 
Uh, I would say gold. Nobody has enough gold. Uh, you go you i go b there we go okay so two minutes we got two minutes for the pause and we're gonna come back Okay, let's see the attacks. Let's go. Oh, finally, I got some uh, Pepsi in my system here. Let's go. Apology getting uh, not growing. Uh -huh. We do have uh, production coming up minus 50%. Okay, that's... Uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And Josie is going to gain two Diplo. <gasps> He's so close to a Diplo. We do have uh, the Air Force of India getting deployed here in uh, Mapuche's territory. And it looks like slowly but surely he's making his, his way towards uh, the main cities here of Mapuche. That city uh, just got over under from under siege. And we do need to see if um, Apology is going to save that artillery army next time. We do have uh, the battleships that keep on uh, doing the damage. And of course, with the bi with the fighters here, he is gonna do, uh, he's going to take out these biplanes of his opponent. Now, we shouldn't be being too far away from Lotaro getting his own fighters in the air. But he's just getting radio. He's still going to need the um, advanced fight. Okay. Okay, aerodrome being placed down, airstrip actually being placed down here between the mountains. We do have the tanks of gold getting bullied quite hard. It looks like he is one turning tanks from some of his cities to turning them, so he is going to get new ones. Is he going to be fast enough though? These uh, floppy and units will keep on pushing and the machine guns are tearing down the tanks. Look at that, they're tearing the tanks a new one. That's unbelievable. That's amazing damage coming up from uh, Floppy over here against Gore. Let's see what's uh, happening here. France trying to get back. Oh, he's getting in. He actually got in through the southern um, choke point over here. There was a one tile passageway in the water. And he's getting his calves to start pillaging the lands of Mapuche from the south. He has a few mines and a few amenities here. The diamonds, for example. And the mines around it. The uranium tile next to Cherry Mapu. Not to mention the commercial and so on. These are going to be quite a few pillages done against an unsuspecting victim. XP is putting all of his attention towards the north where India is is pushing in with his tank courts and getting um, soon to be helicopters but now we're gonna have ldk come in with his own units and that is gonna be a major problem four of these helicopter armies did get upgraded well this is not gonna help aren't the helicopters um, are they modern or information give me a second uh they're uh, atomic they're atomic not information they're atomic in between so that general doesn't work this uh, Dandara General doesn't work. It's uh, modern max. Okay, I think artillery went down. Both. Uh, so, biplane went down. Artillery went down. No more movement here from the fighters. Mapuche is uh, pillaging his own former lands here from Puen Mapu. That city is going to rebel in two turns anyway. And uh, I don't really see India managing to push uh, significantly before these two turns are finished. We're going to need to see what is he going to do next. Actually, you know what he could do? He might actually take this style. Wait, can he take this style? I think he can, right? This is a tank or with a tank army. No, no, he would need one. Oh my god, he would need another tank army and he doesn't have one. We're ready to go against that uh, one tank. Anyway, camps of people are uh, getting to disembark from the south of the tundra of Mapuche. They're going to get into his style soon. We do need to see what uh, Kree is going to do with his uh, infrastructure. From what I do notice, he's not pulling that many defensive uh, structures here on the west side to try to help out the uh, goal uh, to keep Persia in in check while uh, we do have maori deploying more units and i do notice goal is uh, reacting with his own anti-air gun so he can fend off attacks from uh, the bombers and the fighters of his opponent uh joe c joe c is getting his uh, broadcast centers up a few infantry here and there and i do notice uh, he's uh, sending more missionaries to his ally here you know we did have uh, the missionaries of uh, persia managing to start to get to convert the indian cities with at least they need they just need one single uh one single 
a follower in there and there, he's gonna get work ethic so yeah there we go apology i think he just got work ethic uh, in multiple cities he's 512 production right now it's pretty good production but to be honest so does lsc have pretty good production i wouldn't really say uh, 516 plus 160 is uh, incredible right now it's good but not incredible you know we do have uh, josie still managing to keep the lead when it comes to the science the culture and the production over man uh, but uh, i didn't see nukes we did see statue of liberty finished though yeah there we go it's in opango and that actually puts uh, josie very close to getting the culture victory 14 out of 20 points and looking at the score screen tab here it looks like uh, the moment the uh, last day company does have the advantage when it comes to the Diplo favor points. Uh, there is also a hundred diplo favor to be acquired here from uh, Puen Mapu if uh, Expli does liberate. Uh, sorry, not Expli. Uh, Aztec does liberate that city center and looks like he's preparing to do it with a tank here in the water. Uh, I'm pretty sure there should be enough damage dealt to that city center. Wait, it's flipping. It's flipping. That city is flipping. Low oil on Expli, by the way. Low oil on Expli. Wait, is that an Aztec? Oh my God. Okay, that's a good deny. He, he denied the liberation. That's a hundred diplo points that uh, could have been, but weren't. And tearing down the helicopters of Expli here is going to be painful. We do have Expli getting his hangers and uh, now he's seeing from the south he's getting pillaged. So he's going to need to deploy some units to deal with this threat in the south. While he's upgrading his helicopters, he's spending quite a bit of gold that they uh, don't benefit a lot of. Oh no, they do, they do. They do have Mal on uh, 600 gold at 10 while Josie is only on 400 of his own. It does seem like uh, people's economy did balance out a little bit, but it looks like it balanced out because he doesn't have that many more units. You know, 80 crews coming against him bombers here uh, being deployed by Kree with multiple fighters in the air it looks like he's uh, gonna give a lot of gold and resources to his opponents well they kind of knew this that's why he got a safety center relatively early on Cardiff uh, so he stays alive and keeps on uh, that military alliance between them uh, nukes nukes were built yeah nukes uh, coming in from the lands of Kree and of course uh, I'm pretty sure France is aware of the nukes coming in six tens for the first nuclear device the spaceport also getting built in big Tokahana P win why we do have uh, multiple spies coming out from Maoni these are he's also trying to get his um, spaceports done and I do notice he's discovered jet bombers so uh, he's gonna have a significantly strong unit to go against a uh, goal here and uh, start to take down cities while of course uh, goal is being torn apart by uh, Persia from the north but when the nukes come in this is uh, gonna be a different uh, dynamic uh, clumped up units won't work anymore it's gonna be quite a problem to actually send an army to somebody and uh, get all of the bonuses on them to get uh, not to mention fend off nukes try to uh, get away from nukes uh, looks like uh, India's attack on uh, Mapuche did fizzle down. There isn't that much pressure from India, uh, or that much pressure that India could do here. Uh, yes, he does have the four fighters that are still gonna st uh, take down units. I'm pretty sure they can uh, deal the damage against these uh, helicopters of Mapuche. <clears throat> they are uh, minus five insufficient oil. I do see uh, they did manage to take out that cav. There's another one here that's going to pillage the uranium tile. They should have more than enough uranium, to be honest. Like, man is on 21. That's, that should be more than enough. He doesn't have aluminium, but I guess it's fine. Uh, let's see if he has my minus aluminium. I'm very curious if the fighters and the bombers are going to report minus aluminium. Next turn. Yeah, let's see if he's making any. Yeah, low aluminium. He's on... Uh, how much? How much penalty does he have? Minus seven. Okay, Aztec getting in with his uh, helicopter armies to start pillaging off uh, the Indian territory. And uh, yes, India is uh, going to need to protect his borders here with his flood barriers. Because the water is creeping in and taking over tiles. So we do have him uh, building up his jet bomber count. And uh, yes, the jet bombers are going to work against those uh, fight uh, those uh, helicopters also. Uh, jet bombers deployed, three of them, to attack into the Gallic uh, defenses. And he's slowly working on uh, Bagakum while he is um, well going through 
food directly that uh, anti ergan doesn't seem like at the moment Czech will have enough science to uh, fend this off he's getting composites and mobilization in two uh, while I do see helicopters coming out from multiple Maori series uh, he's gonna start arming them up and uh, making them uh, take over series uh, quicker here you know with the fighters Maori will deal the damage against the tanks of his opponent of uh, Chuck and by the looks of it they don't take as much as you would think from the anti ergan defense Uh, Octaviani, welcome back. LCS needs some AA for India. Yes, they do, but they, they don't really have. You mean uh, against India? You mean against India? Uh, well, um, there are state in the air guns here on Aztec, and the Aztec is protected whenever he's going to have the coastal cities, while uh, Mapuche is kind of far away for India to be effective against him. Uh, wait, Jed Pomer should be able to attack in Apira Mapu, though, from afar. Okay, we got the calves of uh, people getting in. They did manage to pillage uh, the uranium tile and it looks like uh, he's trying to get out of their GTFO to the right side. Exit stage right. How many jet bombers do we have? So two fighters. One, two jet bombers. <clears throat> That's it. Three. Three jet bombers. And I do notice uh, helicopters armies uh, are going to show up from India. So it looks like they're going to push back the Aztec uh, helicopters uh, from his border relatively easily here. Uh, apologies going for his combined arms in two turns. While I do notice uh, we do have also Josie discovering nuclear fusion next turn. He does have very good productive series and still his air force is being prioritized at the moment. Wow, these are some amazing tiles that he cannot use ever. Oh my god, he cannot use ever that tile. Oh well, it is what it is. And unbelievable how much he's getting uh, from the Rainforest flat tiles. These are Rainforest flat tiles, guys, and they're giving him six production each. Well, uh, Lutetia looks like it's uh, taken down. We do have gold moving one helicopter in there, and unfortunately, he's going to push back uh, all of the jet bombers from here. If he gets pillaged and he doesn't have uh, tiles to move them back in, well, that's going to be a wah wah. Uh, how did he actually put them without uh, getting. Anyway, it is what it is. Three jet bombers. It's a major victory here for Chuck. Major victory. And we got the first city torn apart from France. He didn't manage to get enough of these guard imperials to keep on defending. Now they didn't matter. We did have a lot of jet bombers fighters uh, in the air. Those should have uh, dealt enough damage against the French units to uh, secure the victory. <coughs> Okay, so this is kind of a diplomatic race versus a science race. I would imagine um, Kree here is going to try to get to a science victory while he's uh, getting a lot of nukes in the meantime. And maybe some uh, GDRs. It doesn't seem like at the moment Persia is uh, taking Gallic cities, but I guess we're going to need to see when these machine guns are going to come up close. Uh, no, they're not really taking cities, are they? And they will take units though. Like these tanks are going to get uh, significantly damaged by the machine gun cores. Wow. So now the only job of uh, France is to be as annoying as possible to his opponents and uh, try to slow down the takeover of his own empire. You know, we do have uh, Aztec redeploying his army to the west side and uh, will probably want to get some upgrades there. He couldn't actually manage to uh, get that many pillages from India. And now India has the upper hand, especially with a stronger air force. Now, unfortunately, though, this is a major problem. Where, where is this? This is a major problem. This, All of these jet bombers here. They might get just pillaged and will not get anywhere. This is a major problem. Who winning in Sasu? That's a very good question. We actually don't know right now, to be honest. Like we got uh, Josie with uh, 14 out of 20. Possibly he's going to get 15 out of 20 if he does manage to get Noble. And um, with Seasteads, uh, Seasteads, which he does have a lot of science uh, to go with, uh, he might get uh, 16 out of 20. So that would put him four points out. And we don't really have them with enough, uh, air, um, how to say, enough of this diplomatic favor uh, to work with. I need to see if he's going to manage to get that. And yeah, there we go. 
the pillage on the jet bombers that is that is a major problem you see they they're not anywhere they didn't reposition they just got pillaged destroyed <clears throat> Oh man, these these machine guns are tearing up apart uh, the tanks of gold. No questions asked here. The machine guns are doing so much damage. Uh, he would need artillery to uh, Well, I guess he's using the jet bombers. Never mind. He's using the jet bombers of uh, of uh, Maori. Okay, we got another jet bomber here. Another jet bomber. Oh no, a fighter got built there. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's happening here any more movement no indians fighters are meet, meeting the mapuche fighters on the field it doesn't seem like any one of them is winning uh they're not pushing they could take out the battleship though one two three four fighters uh, should be enough to take out the battleship that's uh in the air damage that uh, they could definitely get themselves uh, rid of anyway uh, persia keeps on uh Converting the cities of India for the work ethic and India goes up in uh, production every time this happens. In Apiramapu is also attacked by jet bombers here and of course more jet bombers are on the way getting built. A war department also coming out from Apologies uh, Gavron Plaza while the helicopters of uh, Aztec got pushed back. <clears throat> uh, what are the drones of Maori doing? Uh, drones of Maori. Where are, where are the drones? Of, oh, these ones? Nothing actually right now. They're, they're not doing anything. They're not really giving any, I would say, um, anything. It's two movement when embarked, five bomb combat strength, uh, bombard strength actually, two siege class units, but he doesn't have any next to, and uh, plus one uh, side range if uh, two siege units if they're next to, but as you can see, there are no units. Anyway, we got uh, fighters here, jet fighters coming around from uh, Josie. These are going to be stronger if he wants to take down units. And uh, looks like he is uh, target. And he's making these modern armors as uh, target practice while uh, the city of Bibrax is slowly taken down. Now uh, we do have the machine guns uh, with uh, coupled with uh, the damage of all of those jet bombers um, taking out the strength of Bibrax, allowing Persia to push in. Uh, we did have. France being taken down and there's no way he's gonna stop this from happening he's gonna give a lot of pillages to his uh, opponent here and Malm will start to uh, finish off all of his uh, nuclear devices he's uh, only a few turns away from getting all, um, those uh, three built yeah, he's gonna need to build the infrastructure to actually get to his opponent, but I guess it will happen at some point uh, France did manage to get this airstrip back uh, from uh, from Gaul and it looks like over here Wait, one infant. I think one infant army core actually died. It is what it is. No, jet fighters uh, shot down a tank. These uh, did the jet bombers. I don't think the jet bombers attacked. Okay, they're going for the encampment. They're getting more experience right now. They're trying to get more experience so they can level up, uh, get their health back, and uh, be able to keep on attacking against their anti-air guns with no problems. Okay, two turns for two nukes, then another turn for the third one. The city of Paris is going to be taken down. And I do see uh, Josie's uh, 900 production is definitely keeping up with the needs, but he still doesn't have nukes. He's going to get his uh, spaceport, and I think that's uh, one turn later. No, that's actually two turns later than uh, Picto Kahana Piwin is going to finish its spaceport. Uh, I guess it's fine. Uh, and uh, with the He's going to go robotics in two turns. He's going to have GDRs in two turns. Do they have the gold? No. No. I was uh, think oh, I was thinking. But wait, we're in the 100%. Oh my god. We're done 100% uh, production. No, minus 50. Sorry. Minus 50% production. Um, oh my god, guys. He's going to have enough time to minus 50 production cause GDRs all over the place. Uh, can you force newly taken territory to rebel so you can get uh, diplo points? Uh, you, you can't really make it, uh, how to say, you can't really farm diplo points. Yeah, Mishui, hello there, sir. One nook, three turns, we're getting there. Yes. 
Uh, so in the tournaments, uh, there are rules uh, preventing you from, uh, for example, putting a city state, we call it in negative loyalty, uh, as in uh, you put it so far away from your territory that you know that it's going to flip every time it um, uh, is in your grasp. So what you do is put a city down, get a few builders, like three, four builders, you improve everything around it, you let it uh, flip to three cities, you pillage everything around it, then you take it away, you build, um, you rebuild everything there and then you pillage it you let it flip you pillage it again it's actually it it was used um as a strategy in like uh, cwc season three or something or four um and then uh, we banned it it was one game one game they used it and we banned it because it's way too much it's so much so much gold that you get for free Uh, there are some niche scenarios in which you can quote unquote find diplo points but it needs to be the mistake of your opponent so for example if you're fighting for a uh, for a city center and he keeps on taking it and doesn't raise it and he gives you the opportunity to, to keep on liberating it i mean that's kind of on him isn't it Okay, we got uh, some damage being done over here. Looks like the Indian fighters are managing to uh, do significant damage against the Inapire map as well as the uh, fighter screen of his opponent. Uh, we do have uh, helicopter armies coming in in the water and uh, two of them are going to start uh, moving in towards the shores of Mapuche. He definitely needs to uh, take care of all of those other things there and I do see he deployed another two jet bombers to the southwest and uh, while he has uh, another two, three here in Mumbai. Uh, looks like another city of Mapuche is gonna go down. So while they're slowly taking down uh, France, there it looks like India slowly taking down uh, Mapuche. Well, Mapuche is not out of uh, the game yet. The people definitely is uh, quite far uh, from uh, having enough science, enough culture to actually be competitive. XP still has gold pertain, still has a good amount of science and a decent amount of production. He can put up quite a fight here against uh, India. Uh, did the uh, Chuck get a safety settler? No, no. I don't think he wants to get a safety settler, to be honest. I think he, they are uh, considering they, this game is uh, going to be over when the nukes from um, Kree start to fall. And I think the biggest question is how quickly can we have GDRs from uh, Josie run all over the map? So he's uh, basically shift entering production here in his uh, one, two, three, four series. He's gonna get GDRs at the same time as he's getting the projects for space. GDRs don't care about nukes. They don't care. They, they just don't care about nukes. You need like what? Three nukes? Three? No. What is it? Two thermos for a GDR? You're, you're never gonna get the two thermos to attack a GDR. Imagine spending 12 turns of production to kill a unit that's three turns of pro production worth. That just doesn't make sense. Okay, okay, we got uh, some fighter attacks here. They still didn't take out that battleship, but now there's an anti air gun there, so I guess they can't. They did uh, manage to do damage against the city center, and I guess it's a big question if uh, this helicopter is going to have enough uh, speed to get in there and take that city away from his opponent. He does have low aluminium, unfortunately. Uh, but this, oh my god, is just one tile off. It is one tile off. Uh, two, four, five. Wait, it has six movement, no? Oh, it's five movement. Never mind. It is what it is. Well, looks like uh, he's forcing his way through the south here. And uh, I do see Apologies Battleship. Uh, well, if he could have gotten the hit on that Mapuche helicopter arm, it would have been amazing. Mapuche did manage to save that city uh, once more. And we do need to see what's going on here. Uh, looks like uh, Persia is retreating his units now with uh, jet fighters coming in from Crete. These uh, units are uh, quite vulnerable to the Air Force. That's one unit that Gold did not manage to get. So it looks like he's fine on that sense. So while Josie is uh, going to get his units up, looks like he's switching to uh, nuclear power in his capital. And uh, wait a second. He's not. Did he not finish? He did finish, right? He's not getting GDRs. Okay. 
I honestly don't think he has uh, any other chance than GDRs over here. As in, um, Kree is too well protected and uh, I think he has a lot more trade draws from his uh, allies uh, to him because he has uh, two big allies next to him uh, sending him trade routes uh, that uh, will make him have this series very 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 productive very productive and it doesn't look like the spies are getting uh, to keep uh, the production away yeah, yeah, i say that but then i do see these series are actually very 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 um uh, they're finding it very hard to actually get their uh, industrial zones to keep their industrial zones unbelievable what these spies did over here they kept Kree from these uh, three industrial zones i think he repaired them like three times till now uh nanotechnology in two turns from uh, josie he's getting fascism also in two turns that's gonna be quite fast versus his uh, opponents and even allies and there we go three turns for uh, gdrs two turning guys how many tens do we have? 12 more tens. So he could get uh, 6 GDRs just from Enguaragia. Uh, D-Shark winning space race. LCS will nuke. You think so? You think uh, he's gonna... I don't know if he's gonna win uh, the space race though. Uh, the giant death robot basically. The, the robot. The big robot. It's coming up in two turns. You're gonna see it. This one giant death robot you know those uh where wait, 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 i don't remember the, um, the name of the movie but there was a movie with like very big robots fighting each other basically that's the movie that that's the robot here wait was it pacific rim yeah pacific rim uh how do you stop gdrs with uh, other gdrs or thermonukes a lot of thermonukes a lot of thermonukes but basically other gdrs are, is the most effective uh, way a lot of other gdrs like you need to match the numbers and match the technology and technological level of the gdr uh, i guess that there, there is a window of opportunity when the gdr is basically a level uh, zero or one uh, you get the jet fighters with enough damage to attack into it like if they have fascism uh, but uh, other than that it doesn't really do much Wait, is India going to take another city? He's going to take another city. He's going to take a city from Aztec. Two cities got taken down. He's carving a hole over here into his uh, opponent's empires. We got also the city of Chaco that is uh, getting taken down by these uh, jet bombers. He's repositioning a few more in the airstrips here and getting an army and more and more, more and more of these uh, helicopter cores. While I do notice uh, the same thing happening here in Chris territory. He's getting his own GDRs and putting in war department, uh, but he's not going to have fascism as quickly as his opponent wait he did it no he does have fascism never mind he did manage to get it oh my he did manage to get more culture now nice 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 i actually totally um missed that he did manage to get uh, the last time i checked actually he was lower culture than uh, josie oh well it is what it is uh Malm is on two cities more than josie a bit surprising but not so much no he didn't really have good cities inland Mm, I mean, he could have still placed like two of them, to be honest. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he could have still placed one here and one like here somewhere, and they would have been uh, good cities. Wow, there's a Tiki Hut in the Tundra. Oh my god, what are these guys doing, man? Look at these guys just sitting on flat land between two salt mines that i guess it's gonna help them because they're gonna get the fish with the salt and, sh and stuff like that but oh my god man they're just sitting here over here for thousands and thousands of years they just were content on the methods they had and the um, hardships of their environment they just wanted to sit around the fire every day and uh, enjoy the salt first project finishing up from Taomutu for a space project actually finishing up from Taomutu while I do notice uh, the Gallic defense is um, actually going on the counter offensive right now with the jet uh, fighters air force uh, showing up from uh, Kree uh, we do need to see if Poesha is going to get his anti-air guns uh, quickly in the air by the looks of it he's going to have a few units that are uh, 
are gonna be damaged here yeah there we go he's putting them uh, in the encampments and in the um, city centers and getting the entire guns in there so he uh, doesn't have that big of an issue uh, i don't think we have jet bombers though from a Cree. Uh, the majority of the jet bombers were here and it will take him quite a bit of time to get uh, out there while Aztec is sending his uh, helicopters against his opponent while well, he's gonna be pushed back by uh, gdrs quite quickly Looks like uh, Gaul is trying to get in there, uh, trying to pillage the jet bomber site, the airstrip, where he's not managing to push through the defense that Maori and um, Nadershad did put up over here. Uh, what do we have here? It looks like the city of Chalco is going to be next up on the chopping block. We do need the jet bombers to actually start attacking into it. Uh, multiple fighters did get deployed. One single jet bomber attack is available. And uh, there we go. That's it. That's it. He's getting in there. He can't take it this time. He needs to wait another turn. Yeah, he cannot take it this turn. But he can take a lot of units from... He doesn't even care. Like, with the helicopter armies, he, he's just not caring about these uh, line infantry of Aztec. Or the musket men, or the crossbows, or whatever. He's just not caring. We do have the first GDRs from Malm going on the east side. And they're going to be spotted here by the Indian uh, helicopter army. We do need to see what's going on so where wait wait, wait 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 i want to see a jet fighter here oh wow minus 10 is sufficient <clears throat> on him rip okay six turns for moon landing in uh, the city of taumutu that's 130 production in there multiple gdr is coming out next turn i do see one two getting out this one uh, stop building one i don't see it anywhere and uh let's see on the east hmm. he didn't manage to get uh, railroads actually this is a bit uh, surprising did we have tunnels at least no <clears throat> uh, the military engineers need to build the railroads and i would i was actually expecting him to use tunnels to move his units he has this one for example that could get there quite easily mm. he can't really get there oh well uh blocking the choke in the south looks like he's seeing what's going on over there he has his uh, jet bombers on the way doing the damage against these uh, Gallic units and they're also going to do the damage against the Aztecs and upcoming helicopter armies. Uh, Gandhi is spreading peace. Yes, all over the place. Uh, maybe they froze to death. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, literally frozen in place with whatever they were doing, you know? Uh, like, one of them was eating, the other one was on the toilet, and he was, like, hanging, hanging like that over there. And, you know, like, uh, everybody froze in place. That's it. Another one was cutting the fish, and instead of, like, cutting, he, like, uh, with, with the hammer, he, with the chop pack, he's, like, halfway there. You can see the frustration on his face. Oh my god, man. Have you seen? Um, uh, did you guys see? What, what was it? What was it? Um, I think it was a GJ Abrams uh, series, if I'm not mistaken. One of his count jewels, the fringe. Did you see fringe? You know, those guys that were uh, being kept in uh, the special, whatever it was. Uh, what was it? There was uh, they had a gas. To try to prevent well <laughs> breaches of uh, multi-spatial something something uh, the multi multiple dimensions uh getting into one and uh, whenever they were putting that basically what it did it froze the people like it just froze them as they were they just froze did you, did you see that did you see the did you see fringe also salt is saying and then that hut will never reveal the secrets of thermonukes to the player visiting and that's why that's why they were seeing such peaceful people over there they just ran out of any kind of challenge i guess salty knows they had no challenge they knew everything already man their big brain it is one of this man yeah see that's because they ate so much fish yeah 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 okay we got uh kree here revealing his gdrs to uh india 
And looks like uh, we got quite a few of our helicopter armies coming out from India. He's going to keep on going to chew through his opponent's cities. He got another one. And uh, we do have three more remaining for Aztec. Just uh, three, four more cities remaining for Aztec. I don't think he has a safety settler out, but I guess he doesn't care at this point. You know, we do have a few more uh, pillages being done. Of course, Mapuche is getting in with his helicopter armies, trying to uh, take out as many of these Indian troops, or at least um, confront them, keep them on their toes. While uh, the GDR will get to one shot, these helicopters, no problems. Yeah, uh, we do have the first projects uh, also, two turns away from finishing in... Um, Mount's territory while his opponent did already finish his uh, first project he's working on the second one on the moon landing uh, Josie gonna uh, gonna get uh, his war department also next turn and I do notice uh, he is gonna need to put this in the front line quite quickly uh, major problem without the infrastructure he needs to actually do quite a few turns to move these on the front line he would have needed so much his infrastructure right now. These cannot jump. When, well, they wouldn't have jumped so far anyway. <clears throat> uh, Gandhi's idea of peace is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> He has a totally different idea. Huh? Uh, this is getting really scary for La State Company, like they shot ahead in tech and uh, science uh, projects while India is uh, slowly creeping towards Cree. Yes, but so is Cree creeping towards India. So what's going to happen here? Cree is going to put a city and he's going to start uh, deploying either jet bombers or get a military engineer to build uh, one of those, um, um, how to say, nuclear silos for him. And he's going to start nuking and taking cities from India. That's what's going to happen. India is going to need to get a city out on the other side, probably uh, try to get a safety settle somewhere around here next to um, uh, France. That would only buy him maybe 10 turns maybe 10 turns i think it's like between five and seven actually like in reality but maybe let's call it a maybe these gdrs move very quickly through the water as well as um at the land so you you can see how quickly they can actually get on the other side if they need to uh, we do have uh, Kree also managing to take out uh, quite a few cities here and looking this is also going to be very important if they manage to roll the points right now for in the next world congress uh, for um the josie if they manage to roll the points for josie this is gonna be major major but i find it doubtful because i do see the diplomatic favor between them there is quite a bit of a this uh, difference and lsc does have uh, the upper hand maybe we will see them uh, getting some something here but i doubt it at this point we'll see with new information what comes up uh, Maori sending the first GDR actually to the north and it looks like he's going to start uh, doing the damage against the Gallic cities first. Uh, he's going to end up fighting also the Kree GDRs that are being sent to the west side directly. Uh, Aztec helis are on French uh, France escape. <clears throat> yes, uh, but we got the GDRs there. It's fine. Yeah, these are not going to do anything. That's an 89 defense strength city with steel walls. You, you can't take it. I don't think even with the helicopter armies, so they would do enough damage. Especially because they have insufficient oil resource. Uh, does he have actually... I don't think he has... Oh, he does have two arms. At least he has that extra plus 10. Yeah, he does have two arms. Well, that's a helicopter that... Uh, Maori did manage to uh, see what's going on here and it looks like he's taking out the Aztec helicopters way before they get in. Uh, also getting these uh, GDRs over there, uh, smashing through the units. And now uh, he's two turns off from launching the moon landing. And I do notice Matt did not finish his first project yet. So there's uh, quite a full project difference between them. But do need to see what kind of uh, scientists they got. Oh my god. Uh, he got Alfred Noble by the way guys. He got Noble for the extra Diplo point. That's 15 points. That's going to be 15 points when he activates him. And it looks like he's not activating him right now. Interesting. Wait, did he buy him? No, no, he's still here. <clears throat> and he got Margaret Mead for the extra science and culture. That's like, what, a thousand? Must be activated on no hostile foreign civilization or city-state campus. Okay, that's fine. Just We just get 
he just gets it in Persia's territory. That's a thousand science and a thousand the culture that he's gonna get over here. That's gonna boost him quite a bit, quite quickly towards the uh, seasteads. <clears throat> he just needs to get three more points from this next World Congress. If he would get four, that would be amazing. But I think he only needs three. Well, wait. He's on 15, 16 will be seasteads. No, he would need four. Yeah, he would need four, sorry. He would need four. And so he needs uh, two options, two options. Uh, the last one and another one. That's uh, very hard to achieve. Uh, tech lead, yeah. Uh, let's see, technology 64 here. Josie is on 69, he's five texts ahead. In the total tab, we do have uh, only a 2,000 point lead between, uh, yeah, 2,000, uh, less than 2,000, 1,800 point lead uh, between Josie and uh, Malm in the science. While I do notice they're very close in the culture, very close. Okay, what's going on here? We got GDRs getting to the lands of India. They're going to start uh, taking over cities here. Uh, we got quite a few helicopter army just uh, buying time as much as as much as they can. Uh, spy, more spies coming in. Ataka Potsalko is going to rebel in very slowly. And I do see bombers. Yeah, there we go. First nukes going to come out soon. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be India <clears throat> that's going to get nuked. Well, that was easy, getting two shot, taking down quite a few units with a single click of a mouse there. Where's the bomber? And oh, okay, there we go. Ooh, that's a really awkward bomber. Boom, city of Calcutta got taken down. We're going to need to see a unit uh, go in there and taking it, but it looks like India is going to quickly lose his empire here. Can't do anything about it. What he did do is uh, send his settler towards the south. He's going to settle in the next four tens, five tens, and take the place of the great founders of the Tundra. Okay, we got to name those guys. Guys, guys, we, we got to name these guys. What name should we put on these guys? that know everything they're in the tundra they had nukes from the beginning of the game man even before these other nations came into fruition these guys man they're the original ancestors bro they're the ancients they know <laughs> gandhi spreading peace everywhere yes sprinkling everywhere uh gandhi doing what's uh, best yes basically you have to nuke them back to turn one yes so what is the gdr a transfer transformers uh, nah because those turn into trucks and stuff no they're not really transformers these, these don't turn into anything they're just big bullies L look at this big bullies with big guns look at the gun it's such a weird gun what is that um uh, what is this is this a rail gun is this is not a rail gun something else whatever okay bibrax is still alive looks like Cree is uh, st Still not engaging all of the units of uh, Maori. Uh, in the south we do have another city actually being put down from France yeah, Marseille in the south, and yes, Maori does have uh, two, four, five GDRs just in the south. Six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, he has nine GDRs already? Man, we didn't even finish. Oh my god, he's still two turning them. He's, he still is two turning them, boys. Uh, those are their guns, okay. Gucci Messiah, thank you so much, sir. So you see those are they I uh, actually they don't look like rail guns, but I'm pretty sure it is what it is. It's uh, graphics, but it, it is what it is. Well these GDRs don't have uh, don't have the rail guns. Wait, where are the GDRs with the rail guns? These guys? The nasty ones. Yeah. yeah.
No, another nuke on the planes of uh, on the jet fighters of uh, apology over here i don't think he actually nuked the city right he just nuked the tiles around it and uh, looking at this we do have a helicopter army coming up from delhi next end and uh, it doesn't look like at the moment bam is gonna have oh no he does have another bomb uh i don't think he has enough uh, distance here two four six eight no it does yeah it does he can actually reach uh, mysore also 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Just shoot the Colosseum. Just shoot the Colosseum and take down the Colosseum. Okay, looks like uh, the attack of France over here got clean. Oh, France of um, Montezuma. That was Montezuma so from so far away. Uh, we do have uh, Kree also putting up the defense against uh, India, uh, keeping his uh, units away from the cities of uh, Aztec. While Aztec is putting a few more defensive units, the parachute fleets in the water, in the puddle he's in. And we do have uh, almost all of the GDRs of Malm actually going towards the Indian territory and carving that uh, territory down while uh, he is scrambling to get his production capabilities up in the air. Looks like France is going to work his spy magic to this rock rocketry. And it does seem like um, there's a significant chance Josie here is gonna get space I think it's a very very big chance Josie is gonna get space with and I gotta say it's all up to the two city France France is doing an amazingly annoying job against Cree with these spies he has four spies Pillaging, destroying, taking our production capabilities and uh, just leveling up, feasting on the lands of Kree. Uh, why does he have five GDRs in the south? Yes, he's defending his ally city. So basically, whenever in a 4v4 setup or at least a 2v2 setup, you don't want to keep the military alliances alive. So you get an extra plus five on your units against your opponent. If uh, there are three players on a team, you cannot couple the military alliance uh, together like you you can't make it between three players you need uh, to have um, a paired number two four six and so on so uh, as you can uh, imagine they need to stay alive as much as possible even with one city it's very valuable for their allies to get that um, bonus uh, there are two tiki huts wait there are two tiki they are wait where's the oh there is another one Oh, there is another one. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I guess these guys uh, wanted to uh, be here as well. It is one of this. Yeah. I don't know what to say about these guys. They they must have had like both uh, guys. I know what happened. I don't know what happened. Like before the first empires got over here, there was a massive apocalypse, you know, and there, there were like the earth was kind of split in two, and these guys just, you know, are the survivors of uh, those massive empires the back before empires that just turned into 60 gold for Ahmedabad for India yeah I mean uh, isn't that worth all of the oh we got the uh, by the way of operation Ivy that's gonna be the big boy nukes over here coming up from Moscow too Can they take capitals? I don't think they can get here, right? Yeah, whatever they do, they can't really get here. Mars Colony is coming up in uh, three turns. Josie is going to get uh, more and more and more production and science. He's on 724, 7 and 1,000 science per turn with uh, <laughs> advanced cells. We're getting in two turns. Battery cells or what, fuel cells or whatever. It is that one. Uh, CCO time. I mean, I'm pe I, I don't think they're going to CC. I think they're going to try until the last second to uh, disrupt the science victory and uh, look at that we do have uh, Kree actually managing to catch up he is on oh wait no that's moon landing lol this is mars colony right he's a uh, one project and a turn away uh wait taumutu is 168 production and uh, this city is 119 production and of course that's before the spy actually tries to disrupt rocketry that's only a level one spy against a kree spy that's counter spying i don't know i guess we'll see uh, if it's successful or not it is kind of easy to if, try to pro, uh, try to um, predict what these spies can do uh, you can just help them so much and that's about it 
uh, you basically can only help increase the chances but not guarantee the missions that's the that's what i wanted to say no we do, uh, we do have quite a few missile cruisers and the missile cruisers do the damage against the kree but he doesn't have a lot of armadas around and that is the problem if you would have had like uh, six armadas uh, six missile cruiser armadas i'm pretty sure it would have been so dangerous for these uh, gdrs to just walk freely <clears throat> Uh, Mal need to get those nukes in the air. He's getting them. Whoop, whoop. He's getting them in there, man. Yeah, he's getting that. But he only has one. What does he want? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's keeping it for either Mysore or Delhi. And uh, looks like India is getting back his city in Agra. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. And uh, the second these uh, GDRs are uh, getting out there, he's just uh, getting them back. And uh, that's what I was saying earlier. With enough GDRs, you can actually take down... Uh, with enough sorry jet fighters you can do the damage against the gdrs but the um, problem is you actually need to have enough and that is a lot of jet fighters okay another uh, two series are probably gonna go down well yes you did get agra that's just one tap away from getting it um, taken back we do have Aztec not doing much. Five tons for moon landing. Doesn't seem like it moved the needle. Uh, we do have Maori three tons away from Mars colony. And the one, another very important thing is what's going to happen with the engineers and the scientists. <clears throat> Maybe we will have uh, something like Korolev show up. Uh, so they boost significantly his uh, ability to get those projects. It's like what? 750 production points? Is Even if it's half, it's a lot. It's 620. Oh, 360 i mean whoa that's a lot that's a lot am i safe missed that one in india yeah 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 he's uh, he's getting them look at that he got one two nukes over here against india but he stopped producing them he wants to go for the big nukes which uh, do need another two turns to complete uh the advantage of the big boy nukes is the fact that uh, you can actually shoot them far away from the gdrs to still affect the gdrs but not be defended by the gdrs the gdrs and the, usually how the anti-air gun works is applies a net of defense so one tile apart from uh, the city center while in the first ring of a unit no i mean in the first ring of a unit not apart from uh, never mind in the first ring of a unit and um the anti-air gun will react to whatever attacks whatever in, uh, air um, unit attacks these tiles you know with um with a special nuke with the second nuke you can actually send that two tiles out and it will still affect the gdr you still need like what two thermos three thermos to actually take out the gdr uh, level four uh mix zero four hello there sir and welcome uh this shark could also try uh sneaky gdr liberating wetty uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is Chingweti? Where is Chingweti? Oh my god. Where is, where is... I mean, I would definitely like it, but where is Chingweti? Mm. No. Am I not seeing... I'm not seeing it. I, I'm actually not seeing it. I'm sorry. Where is Chingweti? Gold Top City. Gold Top City. Oh, this one. Yeah, but it's protected by Kree. Yes, uh, Kree has like three GDRs around that city center. Yeah, that's uh, four GDRs. That's not going to happen. I, I know it would have been amazing, but I guess um, uh, Persia and Maori uh, were on point with this. They realized they're not going to get there. Okay, where are all of the GDRs of Maori going? They're going back into the city centers to try to protect uh, from... Oh, 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 I see. Mapuche, they're sending everything against him. Okay, all, all of the tanks, all of the helicopters, uh, he was trying to defend himself now. Well, it looks like uh, they're going to leave uh, India a little bit uh, here and the Battle of In the meantime, we do have uh, the GDRs, even the GDRs of Malm going into the water, scrambling to get to the cities of Maori, while Maori is still two turning gd guys this guy man two turning gdrs from multiple cities this 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 is insane i mean they put the, the oh my god they got the world congress like that right they got the world congress with minus 50 production oh my god man <clears throat>
Then I gotta say MVP people is still MVP people. It, yeah, it's MVP people, man. You you can't you can't go around them. Okay, Josie is six, 15 out of 20 points. Did he actually activate? He still has Noble. So he's actually on 16 out of 20. He's not showing up his cards. Check this out. He, I really like this, by the way, from Josie. He knows it's not going to affect at all if he activates or doesn't activate the Noble. But it will affect uh, the impression Elastic Company have uh, about his points and his capabilities. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, how the did that happen? He didn't get an engineer. Oh, you think he actually chopped? No, wait, he chopped all of his land? Oh, he had these chops. Yeah, he, he didn't even... He chopped four, five, six. Oh, my God. He chopped everything, boys. Oh, my God. Cool whip. Yeah. And now he's chopping all of his land. He's basically demolishing everything to get the victory. I guess it makes sense. You know, that moment when uh, it is what it is. I don't think he has many more chops here, right? Yeah, and that, um, well, it's going to take a while to actually get all of the projects in. It, we're going to need to see if uh, his opponents are going to get to him uh, before that. But unbelievable. I was like, oh my god, he got Korra level something. I was just talking about him, you know. But no, he actually, look at that. He's re-improving the tiles, boys. Oh, yes, beautiful, beautiful play from Josie. Got so much out of it. So much out of it. Unbelievable. Yay, yay. I really like. I really, really like. Well, Mashar by looks of it is uh, going to be in trouble here. We do have the GDRs of Maori that are um, trading punches with the GDRs of Kree. But uh, they might actually need to... Oh, he's just standing there to recover the city. He's letting them get the city as enter. Or at least I think so. Uh, capital city from Danny. Okay, can he get a sneaky GDR to get that city back? Just one. Uh, that city is not <clears throat> gonna be in the water. Okay, we got India here also with uh, quite a bit of damage. Oh my God, so many, so many Mapuche helicopters everywhere. So many traders everywhere. They're getting uh, slowly, slowly uh, taken down. Two tiny missile cruiser armada. Wait, did he finish the spaceport, right? Wait, oh my god. Okay, cybernetics uh, next turn. He shouldn't be that far away from getting his um, outward expedition technology. So he starts uh, putting the projects in. I don't think he has the projects in. He would have probably used them already. And I gotta say, missile cruiser armada defense is gonna be quite nice over here against nukes. Uh, we're gonna need to see how many of those uh, he can actually get around. I also wanna say, if you wanna defend against the uh, thermal nukes, you kinda need to space out your air anti air defense defenses strong enough and the defenses two tiles apart and that is basically what uh, well not really two tiles but uh, as close as possible you can see uh, the gdrs are making a line of defense this line of ntr defense actually spreads from this look look at my mouse it goes like this and then it goes like this and uh, wraps around and comes back around and all of this is uh, nuke protected basically yeah so is uh, i mean you can consider this as well like it, it wraps around like this also. It's pretty good. Uh, when in science victory, uh, not far away. Not far away, I would say. I mean, we do have, uh, wait, wait what, what do we have here? Science, science, science. So we got the fourth uh, project in, so he just needs to get uh, going. That's like what, at least a minimum 25 tens? I mean, it's not going to happen 25 tens. I'm pretty sure the projects are going to get uh, much faster. Anyway, we got to pause for two minutes and uh, we're going to see what's happening here after the two minutes. And who's going to get the space victory? This is uh, very, 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 very big from uh, D Sharks. Recon Leech Leech. Okay. Record you, you, I go, B. Okay, two minutes and we're coming back. Uh, world projects are going to be like four times now, man.
public, a public stand bathroom, man. Anyway, we got, uh, let's see, multiple, GD, uh, multiple uh, space ports scanning out. The GDRs are in their defensive locations. He's uh, replanting the woods there to get the back the production. <clears throat> and uh, some of the culture and the faith here from his mares. I don't see him uh, getting. Uh, who's this? This is uh, Togo. Okay, we got Togo over here for uh, more loyalty. And uh, I do see the GDRs are starting to get close to each other here. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Wait. They should be. Wait, they can't fight in the water? Oh, kick W. It is what it is. Uh, we do have Mashad being taken out, and uh, I guess uh, it will be liberated over here in just a few seconds. I'm pretty sure he's going to want to um, last move it so he can get the 100 Diplo. It's too. Oh, he lost the 2 Diplo. Okay, so this is not going through. This is not going through. He's 15. He's down. He's uh, actually on the same point he was, right? We're still with Noble. So he's 16 out of 20. But they have a lot of uh, Diplo favor right now. They made their opponents use all of their Diplo favor. And what does have extra production now? Uh, Apology 21st. Okay. Ranged again plus 5. So I guess the machine guns are going to be amazing. Um... Oh well, it is what it is. Wait, where's the new from? Where's the GDR from this one? That's a ten turning a missile cruiser armada is definitely not uh, the production we were expecting there. Uh, projects are gonna be like uh, four turns now. Let's see. Let's see uh, the projects. Let's see when. Uh, there we go. Next turn. Uh, LDK is asking for a relobby next. Wait. What? Okay. Oh, they have problem with um, the shortcuts. They have problems with the shortcuts. And also, it's not a railgun, guys. It's a particle beam cannon on the on the GDR, by the way. It's a particle beam cannon, which does definitely makes more sense with uh, what it looks like. Like uh, The railgun should be like a long-tipped uh, gun, like uh, you would see a normal uh, gun on a, how to say, um, on a turret of a battleship, on a turret of a tank. Got a quick relobby. Uh, is this science versus diplo no this is just science versus science versus diplo uh well, i should say science no science domination versus uh, science slash diplo that's uh, that's the game yeah uh, when is the science victory still a good question open question over here i will wait what Maybe, uh, let me see, maybe I'm uh, trying to join through a different link. Let me get another link. I'm pretty sure I'm uh, refreshing that, but maybe he's still in the game or something. Like he went to FK, I don't know. I hope not. Let me open up another profile here soon. There we go. There we go. Uh, you mean uh, uh, science versus conquest? Yeah, basically that's that's what it uh, boils down to. I don't think the other player uh, like Malm has uh, the ability to get the science victory at the same time, like be competitive when it comes to the production because of France. France uh, taking out his production capabilities actually, I think, cuts in half the production he could be at right now. That's so much, pro uh, so much more production from those industrial zones. He has three of them, three of them. Not to mention if you would have used like minus vertical integration and stuff like that. It would have been a massive. Let's get the um, rejoin here. Maybe we're missing uh, to see a few players.
Yeah, we're just waiting for Leech. And I guess they split to connect, but it's fine. Ah, there we go. Leech is connecting. Well, just waiting for people to ready up and uh, we're going. There we go. We're going. So we're very, very close, right? Already the last uh, space uh, mission has been finished. Uh, the last, two, the second to last space uh, mission has been finished. We're just waiting for the space um, to the so to say the spacecraft to actually get to its uh, location the auto expedition and uh, we do need to see when he's going to get the project which is this turn i believe he gets uh, he starts to get this turn the project he's going to start making them and the question is how fast he can do them and from how many cities i think he only has like two or three spaceports alive right now uh, as in uh, fully built that he can use to get those uh, last one i'm double loading what New frontiers of discovery expand our understanding. From the time I'm going to reconnect. To the majesty of outer space. Mysteries long it's tolerated fine. are closer than ever to revealing their deepest secrets beyond what we can easily see. Give me a second because I need to uh, close this. this knowledge. There we go. It just got stuck. I don't think I've seen more than like six GDRs coming up from in uh, from um, Cree directly going against uh, Coupe on the seas there. There were a lot of helicopters, but I don't think the helicopters will do anything. They're basically one shot to uh, one of those GDRs. Oh man, this is taking quite a bit of time to uh, connect to players. Did they re-lobby or something? Oh, they re -lobbied. Never mind. No. Oh, did we get somebody else to host? I think they might have switched host. And I'm pretty sure I wasn't the only one that double loaded. If uh, they relobbied, I wasn't the only one that double loaded. Okay, and let's uh, rejoin the game for good measure. Really, bro.
Uh, when Gold lost that city, I knew this would be a long game. Oh, yeah. The first city. Oh, my God. You knew from then? I mean, yeah. I, I could say, yeah, uh, when I saw Pangea stand at Ridges. I actually saw it. Yeah. I ate some chicken earlier. I saw the bones in the chicken. Made a little bit of, uh, you know, feng shui over there on the chicken. And he revealed it. Today, Michael is going to have a very long stream. D-Shark al uh, almost gonna get space, maybe Chris gonna get space, we don't know, that bone was not uh, really, uh, you know, on the on the side, it was not uh, showing us the way. Okay, <clears throat> loading back in. Really hope uh, we have more than zero MS to everybody, but I uh, think so. I did reconnect once at least. Hello. Okay, loading in. Wait, is this going to be another time that I... Uh, let me actually take a look at my uh, task manager here. Oh, this time around we actually loaded in noise. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so I wanted to count the GDRs. Then I one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, three of them, four of them are still working on India. Only one, two, three, four in the water, five in the water. Did I see a six one? No, five in the water. So, okay, I was very close to the numbers. And uh, we do have one, two, three here from uh, Josie. <clears throat> and he's going to get uh, a fourth one here. These are level fours versus level ones of Kree. Level four GDRs against level ones, guys. This is not a fair fight. Okay, let's see what uh, they're gonna do. I'm pretty sure we're gonna start seeing the, the production, uh, the how to say, uh, the projects over here in the series of uh, Maori. <clears throat> And we do need to see him uh, finishing up his other space force. There we go. He's one turning pro uh, projects. He's one turning projects, guys. Very nice. Does he have more chops? I think he... Uh, no, yeah, I think he kind of chopped everything he could. Or does he have more chops in, in Garawakia? Because he does have five charge builders here. Wait. I really hope he's not going to get that weak... Weak production food from the rainforest does he even have it yeah he does have a chop here he's 48 production whoa oh wait there was no gdr there how was it there was no no gdr there Oh, he moved this one to Mashad. Oh my god, tactical bomb coming up from that. That is big. I mean, that's even a small... That's not even a big nuke. That's just a tiny nuke that got through. That is a major problem. And that actually destroyed the spaceport. He's going to need to um, repair it. That is a major problem. One single city to do the projects it might not be enough. We do have him uh, three turning the projects right now. Oh, he chopped. He chopped. I see. He chopped at least one project. Okay, let's see how quickly is he going to be uh, soon. Uh, got some more chops here by the looks of it. He desperately needs to get the missile cruiser armadas. And of course, uh, more GDRs. India cities are kind of paper here for these GDRs, but at the same time, it's not like there are a lot of them, and they might not, you know, they might just not have uh, enough time. They need to get into the water as many as possible to overwhelm uh, Maori, and Maori has so many of them anyway. 
At this three turns to get to the Lagrange laser station, that seemed like a, a way too much for me. I'm not sure what happened, how did it get down to three turns from one turn, but I did, that is a major problem. He needs to uh, really get them much, much faster. Like one turning them was pretty fine here. What did he lose that he... Uh, he's still 142 protect. That cannot be a three turns. That must be a visual bug. This cannot be three turns. Uh, was it Magnus? Well, I mean, it's still Magnus in there, yeah. Uh, what's Diplo like? It's uh, 15 out of uh, 20 still. Yeah, 15 out of 20 for Josie, but I gotta mention he still has a Noble that he never activated. So he's basically on 16 out of 20 if he wants to. Uh, he still doesn't have Seasteads, though. He shouldn't be far away from getting them. Josie is on future, future tech, so that would put him uh, 17 out of 20. That would put him just uh, from a single option, but he still needs 19 turns to survive. And I'm not sure if he's gonna get the 19 turns to survive. I mean, he needs to finish the game in the next seven. If he doesn't finish the game in the next seven, uh, Kree should be able to overwhelm him. Well, with the prerequisite that uh, wait. Uh, we're gonna have actually Kree keeping on the pro the project and the pressure on his opponent, but I think uh, Chuck will also keep up the pressure there, and the helicopters of. Um, Mapuche, there should be way too many units even for those uh, GDRs if coupled together. There we go. Where are the, there we go, we got all of these helicopter armies uh, getting close to Maori. Maori is uh, getting back his GDRs, uh, starting to um, get them uh, close up together. And I do notice he lost a GDR. Whoa, did he actually lose a GDR? Oh no, he moved it back to Engaroa here. Okay, I see. He, uh, he actually uh, shifted them away in Engaroja yeah, to uh, try to stop any kind of pillage and uh, taking out these uh, Gallic units uh, trying to take out his city. Uh, he needs to repair the spaceport. First of all, get that uh, radiation offers there and then uh, re uh, repair the spaceport. While well, at the moment he doesn't care as much as uh, he we would think about that uh, galley capital he couldn't manage to get the 100 diplo favor points from it on the last one but they still have uh, more than enough diplo favor if they're staying alive and oh my god it is actually three turns oh my god it is actually three turns oh uh, that's gonna be forever in a day he, he should be on like what two no, not even two points he should be on like uh, one point right yeah okay two points two light years uh, per turn i guess he did finish a project from taumutu He never finished one from uh, Engar Wahia. And this was full of chops. This city was full of chops. Uh, can we see the strategic resources? Yes, sir. There we go. Uh, QD12. Hello, there, sir, and welcome. Uh, Magnus Tedros from uh, New York City. Uh, I mean, he only has a uh, trader from there. That shouldn't be that big of a difference, Shaitan. Anyway, and we do have a lot of uh, Persian trade routes in the water, like going through the oceans. Uh, I do see Persia is putting some destroyers to uh, body block these uh, Kree GDRs. Well, we do have uh, some missile cruisers also getting, uh, getting in. Okay, repair all the defenses project coming up next turn. He's gonna get uh, more health. Four GDRs should be fine, but we're going to see what is he gonna do to defend against these, though. Man. Yeah, 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 there we go. Malm is uh, pushing in with so many GDRs against him. He has his own, but it's gonna be quite tricky. Ooh, very tricky. Okay, Jet Bomber's defense here, G more GDRs, looks like nothing's happening in the middle, might actually be uh, Gold that's taking out that uh, machine gun core. Uh, Mashad also has four GDRs. Three SDSD has joined the round table. Ooh, thank you so much, uh, QD. Hello there, sir, and welcome. Thank you for the follow. 
Okay, we got the uh, steel walls back up. Not that it matters that much, especially to the GDRs, but we're going to need to see. And of course, uh, we're going to need to see him try to stop these other GDRs from getting into his uh, borders. He's not doing that. He's really not doing that. He's letting them just pass by and take pot shots at his, at his uh, GDRs from the north. While they are getting uh, closer and closer. By the way, I gotta say, they, they only need to take the cap. That's it. They only need to take the cap. They already have uh, three capitals. This one, Mashad. They have uh, Delhi. And they have Pari. They only need one. And they only need this one. Tejonianga Nuyakupe. That's it. And it doesn't look like that Space Victory is going to come before this. It's two light years at 10. He would need at least 15 turns to actually get there. He's getting another project next turn. And by the looks of it, he doesn't have uh, the city of uh, Motopohue uh, able to start the projects himself. And as you can see, he's going to still need uh, two more turns to get there. He's at least, at least eight turns more, actually. I think at least 10 turns from a victory. Because of the nuke here one mistake i gotta say this was one mistake because he did have a gdr but he needed to move it to the north and he only needed two more turns to get the missile cruiser armada and get the defensive capabilities anti-air defensive capabilities in the city that he needed and look at that they found exactly the wrong spot that I want to say the exact good spot that he's uh, he was not defending to uh, take that city down And wait, is he actually? Oh, oh. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, GDRs uh, getting close up and personal here. Looks like these GDRs, of, uh, uh, like the extra things on Josie, don't really matter, do they? He has mobility, who cares? Uh, reinforced armor plating? I mean, uh, it looks like GDRs don't care about that. <laughs> Lol. Lol. Wait, does this even work? The reinforced plating? Because the GDR is definitely a land unit and it's a... Uh, oh, Maori has insufficient uranium. Because I do see it appearing there, plus 10. The uh, insufficient uranium is keeping him low. Okay. Well, I I gotta mention I, at this point we do have uh, Maori defending Engarawahia, which yes it's a city with a spaceport, but the target mission of Cree is not that city center. It will be the capital city of Cree. Wait, they're kind of getting into a kill box here. Well, okay, let's see. Let's see them uh, start to attack. Bam, bam. Mm, bam, bam. What's the first uh, ther thermonuke? Three turns, six. Okay, three turns. Three turns is the first thermonuke. And I do see more. Oh my god, Mars Colony. Barely Mars Colony. That's the third project. Uh, we got Mumbai taken back. Looks like a Kree is sending a nuclear submarine. It's not an armada, but he's uh, still sending it to the front line. Can he actually... Maybe he... No. Maybe he has like an admiral or something to armada it up. But it doesn't look like he has any admiral there. Uh, anyway, now we got India also sending some helicopter armies. All of his units to start protecting the lands of Maori. Maori, it did need to move um, the entire defense from Taumutu. And uh, by the looks of it, he is uh, going to need to trade a lot of shots against the Kree GDRs. I think he did manage to take one down though. That's pretty good. Well, that is a major problem. Minus 12 insufficient uranium. This is what's killing him right now. The insufficient uranium. His GDRs, even if he has enough of them, they just can't do the damage anymore. They they lost power. They lost their edge. A 12-point difference in the same tech unit is just deadly. Yeah. I think last take company against quite a few odds. I gotta say, D-Sharks put a big fight over here. Very big fight. But I think last take company just secured victory. 
Was this hang matana got taken over? Cree has five GDRs here, two, four, six, eight, nine on the way. Oh, 10, 11 on the way. Noise. So, like 15, 16 GDRs. What is this game, man? Six, man. Only one player has 16 GDRs. And the other one has probably another 16. Yeah? Jacob knows. Uranium difference. Let's see, can win. Yeah. Woo, woo. They're basically getting those points in. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, are you one of the high rollers? <laughs> did you did you put the least amount of points over there, or what did you do? Kick. Can't see. Oh, well, it is what it is. Okay, that's uh, city got taken and deleted. And now we do need to see uh, Joe City position uh, back to his uh, capital city to protect it from his opponent. But so many GDRs are coming in for the fight. He got a little bit of uh, health back from destroying that uh, helicopter. And by the looks of it, uh, well, he can probably take, do the, enough damage to take down one of the GDRs of Kree, but not all of them. Okay, let's see the big battle unfolding next to Tejo Nyanga Nuya Kupe. While uh, I do see uh, the terrestrial laser stations is still working there. Uh, finally, Motopohue did finish the spaceport, so he... Oh, wait. No. <gasps> Industrial zone got pillaged. Is that... Is that flooded? No. No, it's not flooded. It's actually just pillaged. Okay. Okay, that was uh, one of the spies here. Okay, looks like uh, one of the GDRs of Kree is getting bullied, slowly but surely, getting shot by most of uh, most of these uh, GDRs. But again, without uranium, G G these GDRs just don't do much against um, Miles' unit. That's a uh, uranium diff. It is what it is. Uh, could he have gotten more uranium? Like, is there more uranium here? No. Oh, oh no. He did settle uh, this one. I was uh, wondering when... But he did settle it earlier, this one. That's uranium. That's one single uranium tile. No. Well, I guess in the next uh, BBG we will have uh, more uranium uh, from the airports. Not sure if you uh, did see the patch nose video, but uh, there will be more uranium, plus one uranium coming up from each airport in the next BBG. That's going to be a lot more tanks and planes flying around everywhere. Uh, tanks, uh, sorry, GDRs and planes flying around everywhere. Not to mention a lot of potential for nukes. Wait, can he get his capital back? Can uh, Apology actually get the uh, Delhi back? This would be quite funny if he gets his Delhi back. <laughs> Lol. Anyway, these cities are going to start to flip slowly. We're going to need to see when. By the looks of Masha in five tens. He's trying to uh, let it uh, be there. Okay, GDR is moving in from the north, GDR is moving in from the west. We uh, cannot actually have Maori deploy all of his GDRs to uh, try to fend off attacks from Teho Niaga no Yakupe, because otherwise he's going to lose uh, the jewel, the crown jewel here, Taomutu and the Motopohue, which were trying to get the Lagrange laser stations. He is... Oh my god. Four light years a turn. Wait, did he actually chop so many of them that he actually um, got to the victory? Is he going to get it? Is this complete because it kind of looks complete to be honest i was wait a second i was expecting him to uh, not get it is he gonna get it next turn he might get it next turn where did he get all of this uh oh my god man did he get all of them in the uh, i would say in the city of motopohue after he got it no that can't be he chopped like two three okay he chopped like two three tiles and i don't think he chopped them with um he, yeah he did, definitely didn't chop them with magnus i guess it was enough and he's gonna one turn another one next turn, okay? So or uh, maybe we did. Ca oh, we did have so many of these units getting in there. Does he have a thermal? Where's the thermal? No, he doesn't. Man, didn't. Oh my God! Is the next turn he's gonna get the thermal, right? Yeah, next turn. 
This is unbelievable. We oh my D Beasley is gonna probably gonna rage. He's gonna rage. D Beasley, Dan. Oh my god, man. Oh my god, man. <laughs> I don't know how should I feel about more dukes. I mean it's more uh, fireworks. It looks like they're attacking with everything they have for the capital city and they're trying to carve a pathway towards um towards that capital city uh, quite a few gdrs are around and they can do a lot of damage against these uh, maori gdrs but of, of course um, they will need to spend a lot of shots against him and that takes time okay one more project next turn gonna finish but this should be it this kind of should be it it's either next turn or the turn after that then but next turn of course the capital city of tehoniaga noyakupe might be uh, taken down Okay, looks like uh, Kree lost the GDR. <clears throat> giant robots versus giant robots, yes. Okay, is this the victory or is it not the victory? No, it's not the victory. Okay, next, next. I was thinking like it's so fast, five light years a turn. It's just about... Oh, no, he got his capital back. He got his capital back. Apology got his capital back. And there is a GDR here that could actually get there. Let's see. If, uh, yeah, he's probably going to need to take it. There are two GDRs here. And, of course, with the rare rose built, uh, there's enough um, enough infrastructure to move quickly. He just needs to actually see that. Okay, GDR here is going to need to be replaced. There we go. He's just buying time. That's all he's doing right now. Buying time. Five light years a turn. Okay. One GDR. One less GDR there. But uh, looks like... It looks like oh, with all of the Kree GDRs, he can only take one GDR down. Well, maybe this one, like the second one, because it's very, very low HP. Yeah, there we go. But he has a problem to take uh, two down and also move against the city. We do have uh, one, two, three, four jet fighters. Uh, these stars to the east are a little bit, um, I would say, uncovered here. Would have been nice to have another two jet fighters to deploy there, but I guess it's not happening. Yeah, uh, it is what it is. Two more projects coming in in two turns. I gotta say, this is uh, usually quite annoying to me that uh, we don't have a clear representation of uh, when the space victory will happen. This is very important information and I think it should have been uh, shared over here. Instead of the whatever text to next build, whatever. And you think it's two turns? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, well, I was thinking two turns from the last turn. So I'm thinking actually next turn might, this might happen. Because I, didn't he finish another project and he would be on six? I'm pretty sure he passed, uh, how to say, uh, what, 17 points right here? This is like 17 points. Mm. I play poker every day, so losing a bet doesn't bother me. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. I mean, you do what you need to do, man. I had a friend actually, well, I met somebody from uh, Germany that uh, made quite a fortune from actually playing um, uh, poker. Unbelievable. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. yeah. The guy was from Hamburg. And I, yeah, there we go. It's not this turn. Looks like uh, Cool Whip over here is saying two turns. Well, we might have it two turns. I mean, next turn. It is what it is. Uh, LDK is saying unstack. What? Stack what? Unstack what? Uh, they got Telly back and now Manmi is going to keep one of his GDRs there. Where the Sudalak camp? Uh, the... Oh, oh, is stack uh, near the camp or next to the camp? Yeah, there we go. He did manage to get two more jet fighters. He just uh, locked down his capital. Uh, there was, there is a trick here, as in, as you can, 
you can punch through this but not quickly enough you need the thermonux you need at least three thermos to punch through that i think actually the least amount is two thermos not three but anyway who's counting uh play poker uh, uh, yeah. yeah that's a good question jacob do you do it for a living or do you do it, do it for fun Uh, do deploy planes die to nukes? Yes. Yes, they do die to nukes. Yes. That's why I said you need the uh, three thermos. The first one is to delete the planes. The second one is to delete the GDRs. And then the third one is uh, to uh, delete the city center. You basically carve a pathway slowly but surely. I, I'm not sure if the GDR is actually dying to thermos. I know they like at least the level two the, do, but I'm not sure if the level four. Does it matter if they're level four and they get an attack by G, by thermos? Come on, throw the thermo. Just throw it in there. Just throw it in there like the bowling ball, man. Just see. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's throwing it. Where is it? Where's the beautiful thermonuke from the north? Ah, uh, mm. I mean, not that tile, bro. Not that tile. Anyway, let's see if it's uh, next turn. Because uh, this is a turn. No, not even this turn. I don't think he can, they can actually do this turn, right? As in, uh, they can't take the city even if it is this turn. Let's see, school whip, right? Is this this is the victory? Josie! Josie! From the dust. He got it! Unbelievable effort from Josie on Coupe getting this base victory with 20 plus GDRs coming on him. Thermonukes and a lot of helicopters were just sprinkled in. He got a victory. Unbelievable, man. He did it. And of course, his allies did help him out a lot, staying alive over there. Um, India did carve a, a, how to say, a way through his opponent's cities over here into Mapuche and Aztec. We did have uh, Nader Shah taking a city early on from Gaul. Quite a few things. Unbelievable. Just GG well played. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. Uh, with uh, I'm waiting for them to actually join the same uh, lobby, uh, the same uh, voice comms, so we can uh, get some post-game chat going. It is kind of late for them and for me as well, so I'm not sure if uh, we're going to hear from them a lot, but I do hope we're going to hear some. I don't have to point out... Um, Obviously, this is the francophone community, so mo most, if not like all of the talking, will be done in French. Um, I guess an alternative to uh, hearing the, um, um, I would say, uh, the post game chat in French is uh, to uh, try to go uh, send you to the stream of Liege. But anyway, let's let's go in. GG, well played. GG. GG. No oh, man, that was. That was close. That was close. Yes. That's it, pretty sad because uh, we, we think there is a huge uh, spawn diff and we are so close to him. Yes. Yes, yes. Very sad. Yeah, I mean, to, G to G be G honest, Josie, when he watch. chopped the projects, like the last project, that was the... If he didn't chop the last project, that he wouldn't have stood a chance. Ah, bon, GG les gars. Désolé, désolé, moi je tout parle plus, plus trop fort non plus. J'ai gueulé un peu, je pense que je vais me faire allumer par les voisins. Enfin, <rire> C'était une superbe gap. Bien joué à, à vous, aux deux équipes. Est-ce que vous voulez débrief un petit peu Ou euh, on garde ça pour la fin du BO3, etc. etc. Non, on peut un peu. Un peu, un peu. Ouais, enfin, c'est ceux qui peuvent aller dormir. Ils peuvent aller dormir. Bon, bah, qu'est-ce que t'as pensé de ta game, LDK <rire> oh, la, la France au milieu de nous tous, euh, pff, bon, j'ai vu plus fun quoi. <rire> ouais, c'était un super spawn, super positionnement ouais, de la part de Deep Shark. Ah, ouais. ça nous a mis trop mal cette France. En fait, on était en mode, on se doutait qu'il allait sûrement voir un mec, on était là en mode, on priait pour que ce soit pas la France au milieu. Et là, mal, il fait, c'est la France. 
<rire> bon, le, le, le Bias Rivière qui a bien été respecté, qui a spawn au milieu des quatre adversaires et qui a eu la possibilité bah, de mettre de la pression sur celui qui voulait au final dans la game. Mais vous avez super bien réagi au final. Même lors du push là avec Coursi, avec le plus 12 machin sur même, bah, il, a super bien, il a super bien réagi. On aurait bien aimé que Tarif apprenne la front un peu plus rapidement et le DK, mais même, je trouve que c'est très compliqué de le faire, de réussir ouais. à prendre cette rivière et de réussir à défendre. Euh, Man n'était pas du tout en retard par rapport au Mari en termes de backlane, justement, euh, durant la game, alors qu'il y a eu des productions militaires, justement, qui ont été faites en grand nombre pour pouvoir se défendre de tout ça, et qu'il y avait eu un play vraiment très axé sur « on essaye de ralentir Man dans la game avec les coursiers, les cavaleries et après les espions ». 3, 4, 5 espions, je crois, à la fin de la game. Enfin, c'était ouais, un truc. C'était pas très bon. Ça, heureusement. Mais uh, what the fuck, the spies it was... I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, it was so clutch in the game, and I think it was one of the little things in the game, even on the city states, where there was like maybe four spies uh, in Geneva, in Nalanda, in uh, several city states uh, that were doing great job. Je me reparle en français, je sais pas pourquoi, je commence. Voilà. <rire> euh, je vais faire euh, je suis en train de commentateur voilà. sportif. Euh, non, mais je sais, bon, non, ça va. Euh, mais les espions, là, le travail, par exemple, de Pico dans la game avec Fir Firouzé, je crois qu'il s'appelle comme ça, euh, qui a réussi à enlever les deux ananis, c'était incroyable. Même qui a réussi à récupérer après Genève avec la même chose. On n'a pas vu depuis longtemps. Ok, guys, so let's send you to lead the stream because I, I really don't want to interrupt him. You see him, if he gets distracted, he feels uh, obligated to actually speak in English a little bit, and it's all like full. We got like, I don't know, like 700 people in, in the French stream over there. So I do feel like it is very important for him to speak in French and get the trans, uh, like, leave the English a little bit on the sideline. Anyway, thank you so much for everything. Uh, much appreciated for, of course, uh, the support of the stream we did have uh, today in the first um, um, best of three, um, in the first game of the best of three series. It is between Last Take Company and um, D Shark. We did have the D Sharks winning a turn 125 with the space victory. Let's see what's going to happen in the sixth one, uh, in the second one, and we're going to need to see. Um when that's going to be scheduled you can we have another game tomorrow it's going to be a fun game actually uh let's uh esperluet or something or something <laughs> um we do have them uh, playing uh, tomorrow 1930 gmt they did ask them if uh, they could get some casters for the game they were quite excited uh, to um, show up uh, show off their skills over there so we got to see what's going on i uh, usually don't want to miss uh, one of these uh, streams uh, so tomorrow 1900 gmt we're gonna have another one i'm gonna put it up over there in um uh, i want to say in discord and in uh twitch uh, thank you so much for everything don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course follow over there on twitch uh, hopefully we're gonna see each other uh, in the comment section and on discord um we do have uh, still the satisfactory challenge going on and uh, we're keeping hard on that to uh, try to add more beautifying things on the map not to mention more uh, production capabilities have a good evening everybody bye bye, -bye. and let's uh, take a look what leech has to say bye, -bye.